You can see the red back there. Oh, man. All right. Well, we are live. I said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put out uh, Twitter things. <laughs> Let people know. I just realized I can have like music going on over here and that would be absolutely okay because everything's muted on my end except my mic. Yeah, unless your mic picks it up and it, plays it through yeah. Discord. Yeah, I doubt that's going to happen considering it'd be going directly into my uh, headset and that's completely separate from my mic. There you go. All right. Hi every hi everyone. Hello everybody. Here Hello. we go. Team hi, Silent guys. presents Hacking Silent Hill 2 with Deep Game Research, aka Neko Run. And now I'm gonna feel like Mormon, just be like, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, you broke the game. Already? Man. Yeah, that's what we're that's what we're doing today, Damien. The yeah, 100% do what that we're doing. That's literally my entire Silent Hill experience now. Yeah. So should I have the minimap on or not? I mean, I can. Take I, I'd one say, second. like, wait. Yeah, hold, hold off for, on for that. For now, you know, uh, if in fact, if you want to restart, if you can restart, that yeah, way we can, the, we can go from the very beginning. Uh, yeah, back to the very beginning. For right now, as said, people are still kind of showing up. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, give people a few minutes to file on in. Oh yeah, and get and get comfortable. There's lazy tiger. Definitely lazy. not the uh, the slickest presentation. <laughs> it doesn't need to be. That's it doesn't thing. need to be. This is the hacking stream. <laughs> this is we're breaking it apart. This, this is <laughs> this is Silent Hill standard definition collection. All right, now, SD collection. God, this. Ground texture looks so weird out here. And Bane, right. you are looking at a broken Silent Hill 2. And for everybody who's here uh, in chat, alerts are disabled. I appreciate all the support. Uh, exclamation point alerts. You can see there's a link. You should definitely go follow Neko Run. Go follow the rest of the members of Team Silent here. And exclamation point Neko is also a link to Neko's YouTube. By the way, this is all just one giant map. I don't even know why there's loading. Okay, let's go back to the title screen. <laughs> just went right to the fence. Yeah, that's great. You guys are <laughs> way behind. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> and let's see. Let me also pull up some silent heel music. DJ, what does DJ Bobby Rick say? Some or what do they say? Some tunes to heal by or some shit? Something like that, yeah. Some tunes to heal by. Oh yeah, he says. He says a lot of stuff. He does. The this the music to heal by, yeah. Man. This that one was... goes out. Oh man, I can't remember that whole that whole bit. <laughs> Lost soul on a stroll. Lost soul on a stroll. <laughs> Yeah, it was like uh, somebody in a hospital, and he's like, yeah, this is your music to heal by. And then it's Satchmo. <laughs> okay, so here's... Everybody knows. Oh my god, there's two James. The what? double James. Yeah, that's how the most double games... James. That's how most games of that era, and still a lot of games, do reflections. Yeah, this is one of the things I love about non static camera angles like you can see things like this mm. all right so skip that also this looks really really weird without and i'm just going to do the car um looks really weird without a static camera angle good we want it to be weird yeah this is that stream this is the one yep we're going to get weird tonight. Mm -hmm. 
See, the thing about having no collision on is you have to hit the exact point to be able to get the map and things like that. Yeah, in this area, you can't progress without the map. It'll be like, nope, you got to go back and get that. And for those of you wondering, uh, Max Lobes and Ravenheart will be uh, with us momentarily. So they will be joining us soon. But we have uh, Nub Zombie, UFO Techie, and Neko Ryan. And we everybody. sure do. Good God, I'm Believe so it. glad. That, I'm so glad the. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm, I'm, that's gonna I, happen a lot. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm really glad they touched this up in like the enhanced version on the Silent Hill 2 um, PC version. Like the enhanced version, you could like not see any of these watermarks. Or yeah, water yeah. Marks, so, marks. so you know, like uh, how how all that was done, right? Uh, the exporting of the texture and everything like that. Well, the the texture in the original, like the one that we're we're looking at there, is you know various photographs just edited together of of the the real life lake, um, in Keswick. And what they did for the enhanced edition was they took other newer photos, better quality photos of the same lake in Keswick and basically did the same thing that Team Silent did where they edited them together, but they cleaned up all those lines and made it look like one more congruent image. But they basically did the same thing just with newer photos. And without giant brush marks everywhere. Yeah. (laughs) Big (laughs) obvious brush marks everywhere. I love this view. I really do. I was going to say, you can see some, yeah, really far out there. Hmm. Without the fog. Let me see one thing. Uh, It sounds a little robot-y. I just listen. I just listen to audio. It sounds fine. Yeah, Yeah, I hear it. It seems okay to me. Yeah. There's a little bit of music on now in the background too. Let me know if that's all robot music. Boop, beep, boop. Robot music. Yeah. I don't like techno. You would if you had robot ears. It's a Mortal oh. Kombat 3 remix. Yeah, I can't do that right now. I try to put on first person camera and Ooh. controls. Yeah. Uh. Even this, this looks so cool. Just <laughs> James doing yeah, a fall animation the on this path. Pathway. Like it's, <laughs> it's it's just like one big curve. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. Never thought I could have so free. So glad I didn't have to sing that. <laughs> we could have seen. Uh, well, Nightwish has a song called "Walking in the Air" that I like to sing from time to time. Yeah, it's a cover of the Snowman song, right? Could have made you sing that. I'm not going to do it because it's loud, but this isn't my channel. So I'm not going to be ridiculous. Do you have the falsetto to do that? Because we yeah. don't do anything ridiculous on my channel. There's no, no fun allowed on my channel. Say, we're walking in the air. Like that. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm eating, but I'm eating chocolate, so that doesn't work right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a whole lot I can do on that. Yeah, I couldn't do and that. Beef all, jerky. So. <laughs> I had to go to the gas station before this started, so uh, sorry, diet. Oh well. Okay, I've got to figure out like how to get back down on the ground. So just give me a moment. Uh, uh, oh, it's all good. And everybody watching, let me know if the audio and video is all okay. If you can see all the game footage, fine. Uh, if you can hear all of us okay, if you can hear the music okay, if anything seems too quiet, too loud, sounds like a robot, let me know. Okay, it's both quiet, too loud, and sounds like a robot. Someone just DM'd me and said, my mic sounds weird and cutting in and out. Does anyone agree with that? It sounds fine to me. Okay. Yeah, that sounds fine. Sorry, anonymous person. I mean, we are on Discord. I mean, it's just a Discord call, so uh, every once in a while, Discord is a little weird. It'll cut a little bit or uh, do some some weird stuff. 
but it sounds okay to me so far. James is okay. floating around. <laughs> I'm going to have great. to restart this map because I cannot get him down there where he's supposed to be. That's Someone fine. In chat. This, is, in chat. this is what we're here to see. <laughs> Someone said, I think Enigma and Neko are a little robot -y. Weird. I said, I'm not hearing that Yay. at all. I'm so glad I found that now. Let me, back, let me, see. let me, I'll exit the call and then come back. We'll see if that fixes it. Everyone sounds fine to you? Most people are saying it sounds great. I think it's okay. All maybe right. it's, maybe it's them. Freaks. Freaks. Everyone sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Okay, good. I have gravity on now. Yay, no more floating. <laughs> always sucks when you turn off gravity and you don't know how to turn it back on. I know. I run into that problem all the time in my daily life. Hate it. Well, I guess <laughs> at this point, welcome everybody. We're still waiting on a couple people. Maxie will be here. And Raven will be here a little bit later on, but... Uh, there, yeah, there's a possibility Raven Hart may be dealing with internet problems. Yeah. Because uh, he ran into some issues again this morning, so... Uh, He's back. That's yeah. right. He's back in internet jail. I saw his tweet. Yeah. And for all we know, Maxi might be as well, because they're both on the same ISP. Their problems have been well documented, so. <clears throat> Alright. That's so wild. You can see everything load without the fog. It just th That simple stuff even entertains me. Yeah, just being able to, to see the stuff with the fog. And yes, I can, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to ignore them. We're going to ignore them completely. <laughs> not really. So so a big part of this is also going to be while, you know, we're not focusing so much on uh, the game or the story like we have for our past playthroughs. This is something very new for all of us. Um, so we're going to be going through with Neko Run playing and hacking the game. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, by the way, Neko. Yeah. I'm sorry it's taken this long. We've been talking about doing this for months and months now. And, uh, you know, we just had so many other things kind of on different burners. And then we had like AGDQ and all that stuff going. But uh, it's glad to finally have you joining us here and hacking some Silent Hill for us. Really do yeah. appreciate you joining us. I mean, it's no problem, guys. I understand what it's like to have a busy schedule and... I've been dying to get on here with you guys forever, so I'm just glad here to we... have, I'm glad to be on here with you guys. Here we are. And yeah, oh, if anybody oh. has like suggestions or things in chat for for anything uh, while we're going through and hacking things, uh, I mean, okay. Neko, you can kind of give a breakdown of like what's within your capabilities, what all hacks and things you have applied here. Well, right now I'm trying to break the camera and I'm not that way. Oh, <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my. Okay. So well, what's going on here is I actually that's so do cool. have the, I have the camera disabled. I'm an, I'm an idiot guys. I, I commented it out. I commented it out and the game was like, what are you doing? Okay. And it, so, yeah, it heard you and it was like, no, no. Yeah, I frequently talk to Silent Hill 2, and it talks back, which has me a little worried. We all know games listen nowadays, like Doki Doki Literature Club, so this yep. happens. Not Doki's best girl. What? Ugh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to start this war. All so right. already, somebody somebody wants to see inside Pyramid Head's uh, helmet, Man, yeah. and somebody Just... wants to zoom in on Maria's butt. So That's not shocking in either case. When we get there... <laughs> yep, and someone's going to want me to zoom in on Pyramid Head's butt, too. So. Yeah, Possibly. yeah, that's probably, you know, well worth exploring. <laughs> give it time. That's give the real time. issue here, so. That's All what right, we're so here what for. I have to do, uh, what I have to do to enable the free camera is I actually have a completely separate, like a PNATCH file, which is PCSX2's cheat file, and I have to enable it and disable it through there and restart the save state in order for it to take effect. So if you see me just pause randomly, it's probably because I'm doing something in the background to make it not crash or glitch up like it did a minute ago. 
Yeah. Nothing's in the helmet, though. Oh yeah, we know that. Um, I don't. But I don't think it. I don't think anything's in the car either. Yeah, like there's nothing in the car. Yeah. Uh, um, a lot of these things, like if you've seen uh, Neko Run's channel or if you've seen uh, She Says His channel, Boundary Break, um, a lot of these things that we're going to be going over have definitely gone, you know, been done, been looked at before. But this is an opportunity to look at it live, you know, so that people can actually see what is or is not in a lot of these these places. One thing that's always bothered me is the color of the soil behind those trees, because the player's never going to see that, and it's like a reddish maroon color, and it's always bothered me for some reason. It's like cranberry sauce. <laughs> yeah, someone in the back the there is cranberry sauce all over the floors. <laughs> Um, also, I am the one that made that camera for She Says, even though that was like my first, that was actually my first camera I made for, uh, for the show specifically, and that's what got me in She Says talking in the first place, even though he really didn't know how to work the camera, he did a pretty good job with it, but there's some parts of the episode where you can literally see the camera fighting back and it's trying to snap back. <laughs> it's trying to fix so, itself. It's like, <laughs> so, so let's, let's start with that. Cause as I said, there's, there's going to be lots of questions and, and lots of stuff. Cause um, we were talking about this before we started the stream and everything, but I, I don't know the first thing about hacking games. You know, I've, I've done a little bit of like cheat engine and there used to be a program years and years and years ago for Silent Hill PC uh, games called SH Fly, which is one of my first experiences using any kind of like a free cam type thing. Um, outside of that, I have no clue. So like you're, you're mentioning like you made a camera for somebody like what exactly like where do you start with that? What what goes into kind of like breaking apart a game and f even figuring out how to make a camera, like a free camera or anything like that? Well, first you have to find the camera addresses. Um, that really depends on the game. 95% of the time they're stored as floats. Uh, you can just use Cheat Engine to search for the camera values. Um, that's the easiest way to find the camera. Of course, this game had to be stubborn. Like. When I was first making the camera, you can go right here and the camera would suddenly flip around backwards and start going the other way, opposite of James. So there was quite a few bugs that I actually had to go back in and hand fix pretty much. Um, but for every game, it's a bit different. You have to, uh, we had to find the floats for the camera. And I actually use a script that was created by Abyssus and He's a really great guy. I highly recommend checking into his videos. He does a lot of um, arcade game hacks. And he he actually made the free cam script and I've adapted it and kind of morphed it into my own little personal tool over the years that I've been using it. Uh, but pretty much what you do is you take the addresses, you put up you just plug them into that script and it works sometimes and then sometimes you have to go back and why it's not so. interesting and you also have to uh, you have to go into the games code this is for PCSX2 um, exclusively pretty much like you have to go into I think it's the debug settings and actually bring up all of the opcodes and find what is writing to the camera in the game and you just pretty much put that down in a notepad for later. And after you find out what what writes to the game's camera, you just knock it out. Like you uh, you put NOP, which stands for no operation. That way the game cannot write to the camera and you activate the script and suddenly the camera is movable. You can just go anywhere you want with it. I mean, you, you explain that very well and make it sound very easy, but like from from my standpoint of like not knowing anything about this, I'm just like, wow, that's that seems uh, complex. Well, I mean, 
it does seem a little complex, but to be honest with you, after you get started with it and you actually go and look at, like, I could actually break it down right now and give a tutorial of how to find the camera values and everything. Yeah, but... <laughs> I was I was gonna ask if it was like one of those things where once you do it a few times, it's kind of like, oh, okay, where it doesn't really become a whole lot. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, oh, that's it's cool. It's pretty much just repetition. You have to um, keep doing it over and over, and pretty soon it's. It's really like nothing. So um, I know you've done some like uh, some hacks for two, some hacks for three, some stuff for downpour. Um, which which game like out of the Silent Hill games would you say you put the, the most time into like finding things or hacking things? Silent Hill 2 by far. Um, by far. Took, by far. It took eight months just to disable the fog. Damn. Like, wow, really? I, as Jesus. I said, it it sounds simple and I mean it definitely is once you get down to it. But... I mean hijinks did it pretty well. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> they did a great job. That was unintentional. <laughs> I was gonna say they didn't even mean to and they did a great job. Oh boy. Oh but granted, Konami kind of botched that whole thing by giving them a alpha code pretty much. Yeah, well, like a, Konami yeah. didn't help the situation. <laughs> And they told them that it was like the final code. I think that one developer was like, yeah, we were under the impression this was the final game code. And we found out very quickly that it was not. Although now yeah. there's there's been a lot more recent uh, interviews and stuff with uh, Guy Sihi, Jeremy Blaustein, and um, a lot more of the people kind of involved behind things, Tom Hewlett. And, uh, you know, people have been talking a bit more about now everybody's saying how common of a business practice it is like japan never keeps source codes well sometimes they do sometimes they don't I mean, like sometimes they get lost i mean i i mean i can kind of understand that in the early 2000s because at that time you know there were no remakes or remasters so maybe it was like why do we need to keep this exactly stuff? As, long as, as long as it's on that disc with that you know, mentality like, well, yeah uh with that mentality i mean it makes sense because for that time it's like yeah we the game is done it's out there why why would the studio hang on to that other stuff you know they would delete it and move on to whatever their their next project was right pretty much well, yeah I, I mean sometimes they kept it around like with kingdom hearts they definitely had that stuff archived and then they lost it yeah i heard um, it was a similar issue with kingdom hearts one when they were remaking that yeah that was pretty funny I think they lost it in like a flood or the earthquake in Japan. Like they lost the source code to Kingdom Hearts One, and I was like, "Well, that sucks." Yeah, so. yeah. It's it's really sad to to learn about the things that got lost during development. Um, like some of the devs have mentioned in interviews that uh, like the 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 Eddie sequence where he's like vomiting and stuff was apparently originally done. Uh, uh, a lot more intense and yeah. they had like an electrical storm that uh what just happened like fried their <laughs> their drives uh -oh. whoa <laughs> is this oh, our first oh, crash oh, oh did it not crash it, it just reset crash. it just reset it, guys i know what happened here. you hit a loading zone and it brought you back to the bathroom <laughs> so what happened neko what's going on okay this like the bathroom Neely's bar or bar Neely's and the camper all share room two. Like they're just in separate sections of room two. So when I hit the loading zone, for some reason, the game was like, you know what? Let's just send him back to the bathroom. Because it's all part of the same room. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm wondering where it's going to take me now. It's probably going to. Oh, now you're going to leave whoa. the bathroom and it crashes. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Uh oh, it's wait a minute. It's replaying the opening cutscene like I'm. What? Okay. All right. All right. So I could just Here we are. reload. <laughs> I want to go through the intro again. Okay. So I don't know what happened there. I mean, I know what happened there, but I don't know why that happened there. <laughs> do, do you find that happens a lot when you're hacking stuff? That was the very first time. That 
<laughs> well, He's got, well, we've got the GDQ thing going on. Never seen it before until well, now. Well, that's good. I, I hope we can we can have some yeah, that's some not unintentional be things. <laughs> I hope not. Okay, so just for fun, I'm going to do something here. If it lets me. <laughs> I say if it lets me because I'm... There we go. And by the way, shout outs to Alcamilla Hospital there in chat. Thank you for uh, all the work you put into your website. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. There's a speed running for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the slide run. Oh, this is great. Yeah, those totally rules. Oh, what happened to the fog? Why is it back? <laughs> Look at uh -oh. him go! The fog's back! Oh, man. Oh, okay. boy. Well, now I've got to kill the fog again, because when it reset the, to the wrong room, it just completely killed all of my codes. Because, of course, it did. Well, luckily, you can use a dev command to save wherever you want, right? Well, I mean, I could. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's PCSX2. <laughs> you can save state, right? Okay, got rid of the background fog. Now let's just get rid of the foreground fog. For some reason, I had to layer it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, back to the slide run. <laughs> wow, and there it goes. And it crashed. <laughs> oh, boy. And there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting on it. Yep, crash. Guys, don't All click right. on that link in chat. That is a bot, and I got it taken care of. But do not click anything. If you guys see anything in chat that says, what is this, and a JPEG link, oh, do boy. not click it. That is a bot. I've got them. Yeah, oh. good to see that again. Oh, yeah, those are coming back. Right, the game crashes, and now we got bots. All right, cool. I like that. <laughs> uh, can Friday I blame night. the bot for crashing it? I mean, would that work? Yeah, we can blame the bots. We'll blame the bot. Mm -hmm. All right. It was a bot's fault, guys. It was, it was totally not me accidentally just running through something that's not meant it to be It was this Yahekolek bot name. Wow. And nice name. Uh, KP is asking if this is the PC version. No, this is PlayStation 2 version through PCSX2. Mm-hmm. And it's also the original version. This is the greatest hit, so it does not have the Maria scenario. Oh, okay. No Maria yeah. scenario, no UFO ending. Nope, none of that. Like, I just um, literally started with the base version because I figured it had the most cut content in it. And I was actually incredibly wrong with that because there's no debug rooms in here and there's only one in uh, Great Assist version. Huh. <clears throat> and the player can never get to it, of course. But Okay, I'm going to try to speed up James' walking cycle again. And hopefully this time it doesn't crash because usually it doesn't. Let me just stop him completely. Not about this. I should actually just go in here and nah, this is much easier. Okay. 1.5 is his walk speed. So you, you said Silent Hill 2 was uh the one that you've you've put the most time into. Uh, was this also the first one? The first Silent Hill game, anyway, that you hacked? Yeah, it was, actually. Um, I didn't really start hacking the other ones until after the Boundary Break episode. Like, I, I played around with them, but I didn't really do anything too serious until after the Boundary Break episode. I'm not even going to touch the controller. <laughs> he's just going? <laughs> he's just going. He's sliding. Hey, he's got butter shoes. That's so funny. Okay, so once I get back, I'm actually just going to go directly to the apartment so that doesn't happen again where it loads me into the wrong room. It's funny oh, that the God. game crashed specifically at that point too. <laughs> when I very first started speedrunning Silent Hill 2 for PC, uh, my computer was absolute garbage to where it struggled running even Silent Hill 2. And uh, I would consistently either crash or uh, lose, like, have such a big frame rate dip 
at that point where the truck loads in, where uh, along this path where it just crashed before. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's a, like a, a common difficult spot for the game to load. Well, the, the one I've had the most problem with, I mean, I've had a lot of problems in spot specifically with the camera, um, but there's also a spot right before you get to uh, the lying figure cutscene uh, where the game, it reloads James's model for some reason. And if the right model is not there, it'll just crash. The I've tried to, like, I a while back I was working on something that I was calling Project Butterfly. It was a, pretty much a playable Maria mod. Okay. And I would get all the way to that. What in the world? It's the same spot. It crashed again in the same spot. Yeah, that was the same yeah. spot. Right I said this, this spot. This spot right here is where I used to uh, run into a lot of issues when I very first started speedrunning the PC version, which is weird enough. Okay, well, I don't know why. That's really strange. All right, so what I can do is, I mean, I can just go, like this whole section until I get to the apartment with no hacks, except for like fog list and stuff like that, of course, um, just to see if I can get by without it crashing. Sure, whatever you got to do. Yeah. Let me, let me try this again because do, do the thing. <laughs> anyway, with Project Butterfly, like you could get all the way up to the Maria cutscene and it would work perfectly fine. Uh, like all of James's weapons worked with her and everything. And you would get right into that cutscene, and I would actually have to manually move the player around the trigger to get it to not crash. Because it always crashed every summer. I mean, Alcamilla, I do have a hack that I can turn on if it's not bright enough for you. Oh no, they they were making an <laughs> HD collection joke. Yeah, no, I was just <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I was just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, Alcamilla, there's uh, shout outs to also uh, Rodolfo Nunez, who's done uh, a lot of hacking work on the Silent Hill games. Uh, he did uh, made the, the model swap mod for Silent Hill 4. H <clears throat> HD collection is OK, is it? Is it? <laughs> is it OK? I don't think it is. Play the I mean, enhanced play the enhanced edition on PC, then then get back to me. The textures. I will give them that the textures look much better. Like at least the character model textures look much better than HPC. <laughs> that's, it. that's all I'll give them. There we go. Much brighter. Lord. I want to enjoy that. <laughs> uh oh, I'm waiting on it. Oh there we oh wow, look at that. Yeah, D time. That, that is sense now. Oh, look, Lovely everything looks. Scroll. Oh, that that cranberry sauce is cranberrier now. It's very red out there. Cranberrier. That's cranberrier. I like to I like to make up words. Yeah, it works for me. It's fine. Like I people say, I hope you're doing well, and I always say, I hope you're doing weller. We just make up words or gooder. You're better than good. You're gooder. We just make up words. That's okay. Right, Karisu? You love those. I love right here. You can see all the tires and the school buses and, and crap over there on the right. Yeah, you, you can, can really never see that. Really get a much better look at a lot of these details and stuff and that are like off a, to the side. Like a, yeah, it's like a whole little sewer, like a, a, a open sewer system down there, a drainage system that you can't really see. Look at those cars. A Ford Bronco and everything. Oh, T Chen with the raid. Welcome, T Chen. Yep, thank you, T-Chen. <laughs> and again, everybody uh, coming through. Uh, alerts are disabled for the stream just because uh, it gets a little bit hectic with everybody talking and uh, then to have alerts and stuff going off on top of all that. Um, but we do still see it all. I do appreciate the support and make sure you're supporting Neko Run. Uh, you can type exclamation point Neko. Get a link to Neko's channel as well. Uh, Neko's Twitch and YouTube channels. And you can type exclamation point team. Make sure you're following everybody else on Team Silent here. 
All right, everyone cross their fingers because I'm getting ready to go through the part that froze. Yeah. Like three times I'm crossing. Now. I'm crossing everything. <laughs> if it just crashes this time, I'm just going to have to like go out of bounds and walk around it. Like just bypass it, yeah. Hey, that sounds fun too. All right, here we go. Drum roll, please. All right. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. This is my mantra. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Okay, we're by it. Okay. Yeah, it didn't crash. Yes. You know, for real, if you like replace the skybox with some generic clouds, like this would just be daytime mod. It would be so good. Oh, and replace the music with something more cheerful. <laughs> that would be that would be great. We should make like the uh, the James and Mary are there on vacation mod. Oh, and, yeah, and the town go. is just normal, no fog, nice day. Have like uh, Mary's yeah. model following James around, like Maria's model normally does. We can call it the special the special place mod because yeah. that's a special place. I, that's what I want to play. The game where they just have a nice day in Silent Hill. We could make it a role-playing game. Give them dialogue choices, <laughs> like a like a dating <laughs> sim. Yes. No. <laughs> oh yes, James Sunderland date, dating sim. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Let's just stop. <laughs> Let's just stop right there. Uh, no. We just we just gave out the plot for Honey Pop too. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. NDA. NDA. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad you did mention uh, Maria following you because I did find her a uh, spawn toggle so I can make her follow me throughout the entire game if I wanted to. Oh, really? Nice. It's a really weird one, too, because it's set to like a default of 32 and anything higher than 32, she she's in the game world or anything below 32, the game just crashes. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, why would you crash anything below 32? I don't know. They, I guess, they didn't anticipate people <laughs> picking things apart and doing what you do. But that's that's part of the fun of it. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it all the way. Actually, I think I can do it now. I'm just gonna create a save state right now because I made it past that part. I want to turn all the hacks back on. Uh, let's see. Get that draw distance back up. All right. I also have a flag toggle here that'll make none of the enemies respond to me. Like, I can just walk by them and they won't even know I'm there. Doing that in the pyramid head fight in the apartment is really kind of funny. Because he will literally just walk around in circles like he has no idea what's going on. <laughs> I've had it I've had it actually bug out on uh, the final pyramid head fight with the two of them where normally they like walk over to a an ending position and then that last cutscene triggers where they kill themselves. Um, and I guess the way they were positioned or or something about their walk cycle didn't work where one of the pyramid heads walked over to where he was supposed to be, and then the other one was just walking in circles indefinitely. <laughs> yep. Um, it wasn't detecting that you were there. That's exactly what was going on, like, bugged out. Crazy. Well, that's that's so weird. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go back. I'm going to let that van despawn again. Also, I got to say, this looks... It's uncanny how good this all looks in, like, with this brightness. Like, everything yeah. just looks so... It's, it's completely normal. There's, like, I don't know. I guess I expect it to look a little, like, more off-palette or something. Or maybe washed out, kind of. But it looks, yeah, exactly. It, it looks sharp. Like, it look looks at the really windows. good, yeah. Like, the windows are... You can tell what, that the little grating behind one of the panels there, and then the ones where there's not a grating, it's, it's different. You can actually see it. There's actually uh, some windows that have textures behind them and everything like that, and you normally can't even see it. Oh yeah, mm. I remember seeing that um, in. Um, I think that was the Silent Hill Three boundary break video, going behind the uh, the metal uh, curtain, not metal curtains. What are they called? The the shutters in the mall, where there's some shutters and stuff that are blocking windows, and there's like entire window displays behind them that 
the player would never ever see. Yeah, like I love seeing things like that. Me and myself, I didn't even know that existed. I made the camera and I didn't know that it existed. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, there's a lot of detail in these places, like you you would just walk right by. Oh yeah. Stuff like the billboards and things up there on like the the side of the building and it's like, yeah, you're never really up there. You don't really have a reason to look up there, but there's there's just all this stuff. Also, I'm not going into Neely's bar this time. I learned from my mistakes. <laughs> Does it normally crash in there? No, it just... Or it just resets, right? You said yeah. it kind of re Yeah, it shoots you back to the beginning, yeah. And that's because they all share the same room. Hey, there's and... the uh, dance company and stuff on your left. That's a string I of buildings that, yeah. that's uh, actually still there in San Bruno. Oh, really? Yeah, this whole left side of the street. A lot of these uh, building fronts and stuff, they're they're actual places uh, that you can, you can still see in San Bruno. Oh, cool. I want to go to Gig Silent Fresh. Giga computer. <laughs> I wonder what Giga computer is. Silent Fresh. Silent, Silent Fresh. I love how fresh. cleanly you can see all the signs and stuff too, like this. Yeah, and like Techie said, the brightness didn't really like. Silent wash Hill it Fresh out. meats. You can see it. Silent Font Hill Fresh meats. Fresh meats. I mean, I can make it washed out if you want to. I mean, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Like, you can. Silent Hill Tavern. There we go. You can do whatever you want to this game. I like how there's the Silent Hill Tavern and like Neely's Bar, like pretty close. This is this is the party the party street in Silent the Hill. The party the party party block. Yeah. Downtown Silent Hill. Get out of here, bug. I, I realize I have a free camera. I'm just trying to see if... Oh, wow, that thing almost sprayed me. That's not good. There we go. Now I'm in the apartment, finally. That's a, ni that's a nice look at the apartment from the outside. You can see, like, the whole building. Once again, I do not know why they have a load in there. Like, there's literally nothing changed from the time you walk from that they, side they side. did a lot of that in the beginning like i remember like the the save point you get like, i think it's the second one you come up to before you get the first weapon you go in that little uh that graded door fence and then there's a loading screen for that and it's, it just seems a little so, weird <laughs> so obviously they just had console speed runners in mind Clearly, so that yeah. they had places where they could zone and then zone back again and reset their stamina bar clearly oh. they knew it they they knew what people were gonna do they knew I was gonna speed run <laughs> Silent Hill Four. They knew they knew everything in that game. They're like, "Nah, we're gonna stop this guy in his tracks." Hey, I mean, you you, you got to wonder how much stuff the the programmers do anticipate when it comes to hacking or breaking these games. When you look at something like Homecoming, where you sequence break and skip a, a ton of stuff, and it just gives you what you're supposed to have in your inventory. Like this yeah. game does not do that whatsoever. If you sequence break this and skip anything, like. Oh, I never picked up uh, uh, a melee weapon. If you go all the way to the well, you're just stuck in the well with no way out. Like, it doesn't just give you one because you're supposed Quit to have it at camera. that point. Quit fighting me. The camera's fighting me. I'm, I'm over here battling it out, trying to figure out. Oh, you're good. I can see it fighting you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, shh, yeah, going crazy. I'm really curious as to why it's fighting me, though. Because I have the camera disabled. It should not be fighting me. In I mean, body. vibrating through chain link fences is pretty normal, but I have been running a lot of homecoming lately, so. I'm pretty sure the only Silent Hill game I've ever really sped run was uh, well, homecoming, of course, just to get through with it. And um... <laughs> there you <Yeah>. go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Love that description. I, I could not. I couldn't really get into homecoming. I tried to do some of the boundary break techniques and stuff with like the gun and everything. Yeah. And I would just immediately fall to my death every time. And I'm like, all right. Well, That's what happens <laughs> for most walls that you try to clip through. There's no floor. So you just fall through to a death plane. 
Why yeah, I think that's something they started adding that? later. Like, Homecoming has a death plane. Um, Amnesia has a death plane. And those are notorious for, like, out of bounds clips, so. It's PT helpful. has a death plane. Oh, yeah. If you if you go out of bounds uh, in PT, Lisa just kills you. Like, the death plane I'm is cool Lisa like killing that. you. Really? Yeah. I never yeah. knew that. Shoutouts to yeah, Plywood that. for finding that. Of course. I saw, uh,. Lance McDonald. Oh my um, god. This is so Man cool. Dragon. Uh, this Man is what it feels like to be Juice Twitter. going down a garbage chute. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> juice simulation. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, Man Fight Dragon. Uh, Lance McDonald, I think his name. Um, I know his first name is Lance. Second name, or last name, not so sure. But anyway, um, he's been actually hacking into PT recently and he hacked into the final room. Oh yeah. Uh, um the room that was supposed to be nothing but for that scene. And it was actually turned out all in engine. Which I found really neat. Um, he just opened the door and walked outside. Oh yeah. So KP asks uh since this is the PS2 version uh, why is the aspect ratio changed? Do you have that done as just uh, a personal preference, or does it have anything to do with like making the hacks more stable or anything? That's more or less personal preference. Um, I do have the widescreen uh, hack on, and I have it set to widescreen. It's just because I like to actually plug uh, my computer to my TV and play the games from time to time, and I mean, four by three on a four K TV looks awful. So. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. I feel you there. That's that's why it's nice seeing stuff like the uh, all the work put into the enhanced edition for Silent Hill Two. Like, uh, I I hope the other games for PC like it'd be amazing if three, four, and even Homecoming could get uh, that same kind of treatment. Because the enhanced edition is really, really good. It looks so great when you're looking would, at it like on a TV and everything. Yeah. <sighs> the thing with four, they just need to, I don't know if there's any technical way of doing it, but they need to get the uh, those missing hauntings in the PC version. If they oh, did, that would be I would awesome. totally play that. That'd be my go-to version because it's it's the Xbox version other than those hauntings missing. E so. And I... I don't know, again, I, I don't know the first thing about hacking and modding. I imagine Me neither. trying to mod in, you know, hauntings would probably There's be really There's damn hard. Um, but it's weird because we don't even know why those hauntings were cut from the PC <clears throat> version of Silent Hill 4 in the first place. Like, I can't imagine there's a technical reason behind it. Me personally, I don't think they're even cut. I think somebody forgot to set the toggle to grab them to. You think they're because, literally like they're so they, still there in the files they're, and they're just not. Uh, they're just not. Yeah. Not activating. <clears throat> because with Silent Hill Four, like it has a random number generator, and it, that's for each individual playthrough. That way, you get different hauntings on playthrough. And I think someone just forgot to throw those toggles into the number generator. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me too much. Uh, a, a, a while back, there was actually uh, some some forum interaction with one of the people from Creature Lads who did the PC port of Silent Hill 2. And they were talking about the like insanely short uh, like deadline they had for for making that PC port. So they had to cut a lot of corners, which is why things like... Uh, quick saving and and quick weapon swapping is not implemented very cleanly there's lots it breaks lots of other things in the game which is great for the oh, speed run but <laughs> because sometimes like the camera likes to freak out because i've got it always behind james ha ha like you can see out of bounds and everything was so wild. I know this isn't really hacking centric, but when I was doing the enhanced edition, we were watching the trailers on the PC version, and we were watching the E3 trailers. And this part of the game has like it has all the audio echoed, like it's in an actual hallway. But in the game, it's not really echoed all that much. Just interesting. Thank you, whoever gave me that sub. Yeah. 
an anonymous gifter? It was anonymous. Anonymous is here. Anonymous attacked me last night. <clears throat> anonymous is lurking. Yeah, thank you so much, Anonymous, and thank you, Noir. Again, <laughs> I do appreciate all the support, everybody, but alerts are disabled for the stream. Just gets a little too hectic when you got, like, six people talking and alerts going off left and right. Uh, Bulldozer, Maxi, and Ravenheart will hopefully be able to join us a little bit later. Um, they may be having some internet issues, so we'll we'll see. Let's see here. Oh, oh wait! What was that? Speak hey. of the devil. <laughs> yeah, speak of the devil, right? I'm here. Bulldozer, you summoned him. <laughs> you gotta Hello. go. Yo, Sorry, what's up, I'm Maxi? Late. Hello, everybody. Hey, you're just in time to see uh, Triangle Face. So somebody wanted to see. <laughs> oh yeah. I was gonna go say hey. <laughs> yeah. So there he is. So would you be able to... Yeah, I was going to say, you could just walk right through, right? Um, oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Oh, wow. This is what we're hearing. Oh, it's a solid model. <laughs> yeah. yeah he saw it. Like it. Does it have collision? Like, if you yep. hit him? Yes. Yeah, can you attack him? Let's see. It goes right through him. Oh, it just goes through him? Okay. I mean, okay. he has collision. He just doesn't have a hitbox. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's so cool. He is sharing the red. Oh, light that's now. so cool! You can see the lighting effect <laughs> yeah, the uh, actually gets on James too. It's it's not like directly it's like the on. It's, yeah, it's like the light is emanating from him. That's so cool. You can never really like get close enough to him to see the way that lighting effect works. So that's what's inside of the pyramid head. It's just red light. Just, re just, just a red, red light bulb light from from Corsair. Yep, he's gonna be RGB in the next version. It's not even <laughs> on the back of him though. Like it's only on that one side. So, I don't think it's inside of him. I I literally think it's just one it's slice of a map set to display that lighting effect. Okay. Because I mean, if it was inside of him, it would definitely be shining out of all sides of him. Why can't I get back through? Okay. <laughs> That's, That's like... so great. Just walking through the wall around <laughs> the gates and stuff. That's like I was telling uh, Nub before the stream started. Like, hacking isn't a definitive science. Like, that's why I have so many crashes and I'm like, wait, what? Because... Yeah. Make sure to save often. Oh my god, who could have done this? <laughs> Wait. Oh, I did have the light on. I'm smart. Oh. Covered oh, I mean, I've, I've, I've done that in, like, actual speedruns and stuff, where I'm like, <laughs> why can't I pick this up? Why can't I pick this up? And then I'm like, oh, my light's off. And I'm really surprised no one has even said anything about the draw distance in these hallways because usually you cannot see yeah. there's like a black line <laughs> that stops Yeah, it. That's actually the same fog as you see in the um, overworld. They just completely turned it black and left it setting in certain places. Huh. But otherwise it's, um, it's the same effect? It's the same fog? It's the exact same fog. It, they just made it completely black and made it phase out uh, once you get close enough to it. That's really interesting. That's another thing that I like kind of seeing is how Team Silent was really creative working around their their limitations as far as draw distance and everything they wanted to convey for, for their, you know, the hardware they were working on. I wonder if Muse is watching. Um... Yeah, this is one of the rooms that uh, the game use. If you haven't watched her Silent Hill Symbolism, I highly recommend it. Um, but she was wanting me to actually take a better look at this room for her and like take a look at what's on the walls and everything. Oh, for sure. And this, this is actually also the room where I noticed it the most in the Boundary Break video. 
because he tried to get this scene right here and yeah. zoom the camera out and the camera was fighting tooth and yeah. nail. I was like, no. <laughs> but even even with all that struggling with the camera, it was really cool seeing that there is like a model key like inside this there. hole. Yeah, I believe it's still there too. Fucking yeah, Oh, still yeah, there. yeah. You can uh you can kind of see it there when you're when you're rotating it. Yeah, it's still in there. You can see the gleam off of it. Which yeah, yeah, really you can strange. see it in there. <laughs> because right, right the in the very back. Pick up, only items you could pick up have that gleam off of it, like when the flashlight hits it. And that's kind of strange because you can never actually see that gleam on that item. Because yeah, it, it makes me wonder if maybe at, at some point they had planned on having more of a an angle where you could see into the hole more. And, you know, maybe just ultimately decided, hey, it's better if you if you don't see exactly what's in there. Leave a little more to the imagination. Okay, I'm really hoping this doesn't crash, but I'm going to try. Uh, KP asks, uh, would these hacks work on an actual PS2? I know a lot of the stuff that you've worked on predominantly was through emulators. Have you ever done anything with actual uh, hardware or anything like that there we go um yeah actually i have um i started out by hacking actual hardware and i moved on because viewing the memory is way easier in an emulator because i tried to do it with a ps2 like an actual ps2 using um well my ps2's actually got free mcboot on it or something like that yeah and I used um, a memory viewer with that because you have to you have to dump the RAM and then you have to compare it and everything else. Cheat Engine is way simpler than that because you don't have to take out the USB, put it in the computer, compare and compare the entire time. So I have done it on the PS2. Um, my hacks do work on the PS2. Um, as long as they are not dynamic, like um, with fog, sometimes it'll try to change, um, and you'll see the fog pop back in on the PS2. Yeah. But as long as they're not dynamic, it works perfectly fine. And also, my downpour hacks do work on the PS3. Like I, I made sure of that. Hmm. So there's a free camera of downpour on the PS3, and you can play as the boogie the entire game. Except Look at that RNG. To... <laughs> oh, wow. That, that's it's really so good. good. <laughs> that's great RNG. What the? F wow. It's always when we're not doing actual attempts. Dude, when it's I, never when I did actual attempts, when I did my enhanced edition playthrough, it was just that good. I was just like, wow, speedrunners are going to be cursing this right now. It was it was just like that almost. I do not have any sound, so I cannot hear the click. So I really hope I just not. It's nine ten. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's ten past you nine. You had it. Yeah, like just get it on the I two, and it. you're on it. <laughs> you had it, then it like moved to the left, but uh, but yeah, you can just put it anywhere on the two, and it'll it'll work. It doesn't have to be like a pixel perfect thing. Nah. Also, what were you guys talking about with the RNG bed run? So this clock, um, the starting position of the hands is always randomized. So the solution for it is always 10 past nine, uh, regardless of difficulty or you know anything like that. But uh, for the sake of speed running, yeah, the starting position of the hands is always randomized. So the amount of time it takes you to rotate them from starting position to 10 past nine, you got very lucky there where it takes you like two seconds, not even, you know, just to rotate it a little bit to the left and get to 10 past nine. Sometimes it'll spawn on, like, the exact opposite side of the clock, you know? And you have yeah, to rotate it, like, that. all the way around. Okay, so, well, now it's time to make a, a mod that makes that static, so it's always where it needs to be. Maria, get out of the way. <laughs> Maria, please. Uh-oh. Maria, what are you doing here? Maria plus. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure someone asked where they can see the hacks, and I'm not sure if they were talking about the downpour hacks. 
Uh, if you're talking about the downpour hacks, I actually have a quote unquote April Fool's video where I showed playing as the boogeyman in uh, downpour uh, during the intro. Oh, that would be actually, an awesome mod too. It's actually up on my channel. It's um, it was just seriously an April Fool's thing, like uh, because I was I told one of my friends I was going to upload a completely separate video, and it was that one, and it was a inside joke. No one else got it, but uh, she laughed really hard about it. That's anyway. fine, because like even <laughs> even your joke videos show off some really impressive stuff. Like I said, seeing that little bit of. Uh, bogeyman being played like outside of the ending in downpour uh immediately i was just like oh man that would be so sick i would love to do bogeyman bogeyman runs of of that whole game um yeah for sure same thing with your purple lighting for silent hill 2 i i would absolutely <laughs> love the whole game done with that filter <laughs> yeah i've just got to figure out how to make that a permanent thing like i mean i can make the lighting that way but i couldn't music track on a constant loop or else it would be like silent hill 2 vape mode yeah that's that's <laughs> exactly it that's what we need i mean codename gamma made a vape mode for sonic mania so silent what? hill 2 vapor vapor wave mode would be absolutely amazing Also, I'm wondering what happened to my lighting because for some reason it's really dank. Uh, KP says uh, the directions to your hacks aren't out, just videos. So do you do any sort of uh, tutorials or upload like, uh, do you keep like a text document of your process when hacking if other people are interested in like doing the same thing or anything like that? Well, usually what I do is like someone's interested in hacking, uh, they'll usually just message me and I'll help them out. I'll get them started with it. Um, I really don't do tutorial videos because I'm not the kind of person who likes to put together a tutorial video. Um, I don't know how to more precisely. Like I'm not a really good teacher when it comes to watching videos. I would rather just be like, okay, do this, 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 and then you can figure out the rest okay. um, because I mean, that's the way I learned and that's the way the people who teach me how to do things teach me. So, yeah. And I know that that's something that you've talked about on like Twitter and stuff in the past uh, that I know you, you feel pretty strongly about as far as like teaching, you know, or, or ha getting other people into uh, hacking and things like that. Yeah. Like, what started all of that is actually me trying to learn how to do things and nobody wanting to help me like the gaming the game hacking scene has actually changed quite a bit um but back when i was first learning no one would teach anyone how to do anything like <laughs> you, yeah. you had you had the people people in the higher echelons of gaming that are game hacking that were revered by the community wouldn't teach anybody anything um so i mean after i learned i just i can't stand to see where people won't teach other people things like they'd rather do it for them and not explain how it's done or not do anything like the uh pin mo the pin post i had on my um i'm sure i'm forgetting to do something here uh but the pin post i had on my Twitter for the longest time, I just changed it, was actually about someone who went to the Cheat Engine website, which as I said, they've changed recently. Um, and they were just asking a question. It was like a very simple question and asking how to do it. And no one replied for like three and a half months or something like that. And mm -hmm. then the person who replied just left a here and left a cheat table with it already done uh, and, <laughs> and they, mean, so they did it yeah and i mean to be honest it, it kind of pissed me off like i tried to reach out, help them like learn how to do it and everything else but i never uh-oh you still with us uh-oh uh-oh did we lose him neko 
Yeah, I hear you now. Discord freaking out. There you go. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Like, Discord went to... Oh, well. Anyway, as I was saying, like, it really kind of drove me crazy. And I, I tried to reach out to the guy and could never respond. And it, it kind of made me even more aware that people try to get into game hacking and they never do because people won't be willing to teach them. Yeah. So they just give up. That's interesting. I've never even really thought about that aspect of uh, that, like a, of the hacking scene or just stuff like that, where people would kind of keep things to themselves. You kind of get that a little bit in speed running. I, I get a sense of where some people aren't really the, the quickest to contribute information, especially if they find a strategy first. But that's not even something that would have even crossed my mind for the hacking scene. So that that's that's a very interesting insight to hear that that goes on there, too. Where it's kind of like, oh, well, this is my stuff. Yeah. I, you know, it's like, oh, I discovered this smiley face. You know, that yeah. little meme. It's, it's kind of like that same mentality. That's interesting. I never yeah, even would have even thought about that. Exactly. I, I wouldn't think of that applying to, like, the, the hacking community. But I, I guess everybody could, could kind of take that mentality with anything. As I said, I, I'm more familiar seeing it in the speedrunning community where, yeah, people figure things out and, and stuff out. And they're like, nope, if you want to... If you want to do what I do, you figure it out on your own. <laughs> and I don't, I don't get that at all. Like the um, the new guy that started coming around Silent Hill Four, the funky orange guy, funky when he started orange. popping up, I, I, I watched his uh, before he got world record. I, I watched his PBs, and I was like, oh hey, I hit, I hit him up in the. You guys can see it in the speedrunning channel. I was like, oh hey, uh, you know, it's like. When you're going down the staircase, just run straight down the middle. Don't like go to the right. You'll get there quicker. You know, stuff like that. It doesn't ever cross my mind to withhold information. So that just that just blows my mind that that would even happen in a in a hacking scene because hacking is not a competitive scene. It's just that's crazy yeah. to me. Yeah, you would it think this would be something a bit more open between between people. It actually gets very very. Um, Especially with like new games that come out, there's always a race to see who's going yeah, they, to have like the best hacks for it and everything. Yeah, they want to be the first one. Yeah, I get yeah, that. First person to do a free cam and first person to, you know, have no clip go out of bounds type stuff. I, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, and and things must be so different now, with kind of the relevance of of YouTube and Twitch where more than just making something that'll be shared on like because if it would have been done 10 years ago this would be the type of random stuff that like oh i found out this and someone drops a link on like what they did on like a silent hill forum you know but now people i think are a little more defensive of it because they're like oh i want to keep this for myself because i can make the first out of bounds video uh yeah, put yeah, it up yeah. on my youtube and whatever. i was gonna say youtube it's like yeah oh i can be the first one on youtube with this and get ad revenue and blah 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 stuff like and that that's so that crazy with me to no end I, I mean i have friends that do that can't stand it I, i'm just like why yeah i mean i get the ad revenue thing but you're you're actually hurting the community at large by just withholding all of that yeah. Just so you could be the first yeah. person. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. I've never even thought about that. Because Nub's right. Like, 15 years ago, it would have just been like, oh, look what I found. And you go, the first thing you do is go to a forum and just throw it up there and just be like, hey, check this out. Yep. You know? And it's one but of those, now it's just like, ooh. And it's one of those things, too, where, like, so just, just want to talk about game hacking kind of in a general sense, how it adds a lot to the, the overall community's knowledge of a game. Um, cause you think about all the things in, in the Silent Hill series that if not for people hacking the games, breaking the cameras, looking at game files that we just simply would not know. Um, people who mm -hmm. found like the UFO item icons for Silent Hill four, Yeah, you know, it's exactly. like if it weren't for, for people hacking games, that stuff wouldn't have been found out. There'd be less information out there in general for, for people to know about the game. For Silent Hill 2, there's things like the uh, the X'd out uh, text for like the Blood Swamp note and uh, things like that, where it's only in the game files. So it it's a really relevant part of the gaming scene now more so than ever, I would say. 
uh, where where hacking can really reveal a lot of interesting information uh, about games that you really would not find otherwise. Yeah, I mean, I I completely agree. Like hacking, the hacking and modding scene keeps games alive well past when they would normally drop off the earth and no one talk about them anymore. And I mean, this goes like further than just the Silent Hill uh, series. Like even like Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, those games are literally kept alive by the modding. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I mean, I, I, I can't really explain what I'm trying to say here. It's just... No, I know what you mean, though. Like, you, you, you look at how big of a community there still is around things like uh, Morrowind or, or, you know, anything out there where, yeah, it's because of modders and it's because of hackers that people are still as invested in those games, you know, as they are, uh, if there hadn't been that sort of modding and hacking scene around it. I'm going to try something here. Um, just bear with me. This might just... Okay, there we go. There's that. There's that. Prime example of modding keeping shit alive, Doom. Yeah. It's, there we go. It's 2019, and I still see like current mods and things for the original doom also what is happening in Uh-oh. this corridor <laughs> <laughs> the sun is shining you turn the lights look on out. there we go <laughs> look how colorful look at the is. reflections in the water and stuff it yeah looks i was so about good. to mention that the reflections are crazy okay now we that actually have a, a a non my eyes kind of view of it <laughs> Dude, the daytime eyes. mod yeah, the windows are open. I mean, there kind of are no windows. Well, That's why it's there, so dark normally. <laughs> we can't pretend. If, if there were windows. They flick the light on. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm just going to leave that enabled. If it crashes, it crashes. I already made a back save. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's great. You can see, like... Uh the mirrored version of the hallway underneath to make the reflection. So like when yeah. you, when you went to the side of the wall there, uh, put the camera sort of outside of the, uh, the wall, you could see the, the reversed hallway underneath the upside down. It's our stranger things mod. <laughs> Everyone says that's a great show, but I've never seen it. I've watched the first episode and I just never, it, I didn't like, it didn't like turn me off. I just never really got around to watching anymore. I don't really watch a lot of TV shows or things like that. <laughs> Stranger Hills. Stranger Hills. <laughs> Silent I, Things. I like that. Oh, yeah, Silent Things. Something Silent that never things. happens at Silent Hill. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so what the hell was I doing? <laughs> I don't what know. What are you doing? Um, you turned the lights on. I turned the lights on. I believe I was to go. Where is Angela? Because I got to get that last coin. I forgot where Angela is. Uh, You want to go downstairs? Oh, yeah. That might help. It's, uh, yeah, next to the open room where the trash chute is. It's always that door where the stairwell is. All right, so there it is. Next, I like I I love the layout of the apartments because they confused me for so long. Like when I was pl- just playing this game casually, and the more you play it, you start to notice like, oh, there's like a big lit up exit sign next to the important stairwell door, and there's lots of things in the environment to sort of show you where to go without just like here's a big fat map marker of like where to go, you know. Okay, well, I'm being completely camera blocked by a... <laughs> the camera was completely blocked by the clock. Oh, look, there's little shelves in there. See, I'm, wow. See, I'm easy to impress. Like, <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm just like, like, that's crazy. Hey, there's a closet door that never opens. Hey, there's little shelves in there. That's awesome. Because you wouldn't think there would be anything in there. You'd think it'd just be a void. Exactly. Because there's well, nothing I mean, accessible. 
<laughs> there's an interior to some of these. Because we, I, I, <laughs> like for me, I tend to think of games in that that regard where y you would imagine there's only the, uh, there's only the minimum amount, like what the player sees and interacts with is all that has yeah. to be there. But there's so much more going on outside of like what the player can see and interact with. Oh God, here we go with the uh, two Jameses again. Okay, I'm gonna go walk through walls again. This is so cool. I love the double ourselves. James. The double, yep, the double double. Also, behind this door, <laughs> there's literally a hallway and a double door because it's a reflection. <laughs> 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 Oh wow, yeah. We get like a little set. Oh wow. Oh we because get both parts of the animation. Yeah. So yeah, I guess because when uh Angela turns and leaves, you see a little bit of the outside hallway, so they needed that floor to be there. Cause that's where the door opens to when she leaves uh in the cutscene. It's actually on both sides. I'm really curious about these pictures, though, and I about forgot the prisoner coin. I've done that before. I was actually live streaming it on my channel and completely forgot the prisoner coin and was running around like, what did I forget? What did I forget? Dude, like, I don't speed run these games at all, but I play them probably about once every two months or so, and I, I even still get turned around in the apartments from time to time. It's it, it, it's such a pure feeling, to be honest. It's like, oh gosh, I don't really know exactly what to do. It's like it's almost like I don't want to know, because you always <laughs> want to go back and have your first experience again and wipe your brain and have the, the first time playthrough again, so that's why I don't play PT all that much. Like I play it maybe two or three times a year, because I don't ever really want to get used to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I played PT so many times, and it, I never get used to it. That game's scary as hell <laughs> yeah it it is truly like that is the thing that has scared me the most in video games ever is pt period you can laugh at it all you want but nothing terrorizes me as much as pt ever did period end of story i've never actually played pt you need I, to <laughs> i didn't have a ps4 when it came out and Konami jerked it away from us before yeah, it. neither neither did I. I. I didn't get a chance to actually play PT until uh, until last year, where uh, a friend of mine, uh, shout outs to J Rock the God, Mister God, helped me out with uh, copying the the data over onto my PS4 and doing all that stuff, so that I could get it. Yeah, I um. I had my PS4 homebrewed for like a year and I was planning on downloading it and playing it. But every time I was going to, I always seemed to get sidetracked by doing something else. Like every single time. It happens. The sidetrack is real. Especially in the <clears throat> hacking scene. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And then I'll be like, okay, I'm bored and go do something else. Yeah. <laughs> I know it all too well. Ooh. I like the, <laughs> yeah, the lighting change with the light, the flashlight going off and on. Okay, so. It, I, it, this is on easy. Don't laugh at me. I just did this because of the stream. But um, I cannot remember this riddle. It's, I think it's the old man, the snake. Is it, the, uh, uh, you're doing normal riddle? Uh, no, I think it's easy riddle. Uh, I, think I it's actually don't remember riddle. the easy solution off the top of my head. Rip. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm just going to try this. I mean, you could read it. You could read it real quick. And I'll remember. I'm not even sure how to do that right now. I'm just 
Yes, yes, Dragon Web. This is the stream with the Got Nova. It. That's me. Yep. We're here. Nice. <laughs> I was just looking at my notes. Yeah. I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, I. it's funny because the the majority of s stuff that i do on silent hill 2 as far as like running it is usually the normal category so i just do normal normal that's what i'm like most familiar with is is the normal riddles yeah like i just do hard when i do it i gave up on easy so long ago i just do it on easy because usually I and i really don't want it laughing the hell out of me multiple times while i'm trying to work oh yeah yeah for sure um, line house, line house, line house. Makes you feel old knowing PT was that long ago, though. Yeah. It's it's still crazy to me that we just celebrated 20 years of Silent Hill. Yep. Wild. Which, which by the way, I think today, tomorrow, is, is like the actual 20-year release because everything on like wikis and stuff said January 31st but like nobody actually got the game then yeah it didn't game it didn't actually release until later in February despite a game lot of sources saying January 1st game releases back then were different i'll tell you that they just the stores just they just sold them when they got them. There was mm -hmm. no like advertised date. It was just like, well, whenever we get them. Yeah, because there's like, <laughs> there's like the actual Konami like license release paperwork and stuff for the like first release, date. and it's dated like February something. Yeah. Um. It says the initial release date. Oh, uh, we're talking about Silent Hill One, Damien. Yeah. Also, just, don't we... worry about what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Oh, this is day. this is the whisper room, right? Yeah, this is the yeah. whispers room. Okay. Yeah, which I learned earlier. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, yeah. That talking about mind. Talking about that a little bit earlier. The the whisper that comes up here. That the the audio for the whisper. Uh, that there's 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 still a lot of, uh, incorrect information and stuff out there. But because uh, yeah, people yeah. people speculate that the whisper is saying different things and. There's all these different theories on like what it is that's being said and who's saying it. And um, I want to say it was Jeremy, Jeremy Blaustein. Somebody in an interview at one point had mentioned the whisper uh, where it was just <laughs> one of the voice actors in the booth, presumably Guy Sihi, kind of whispering to, to himself and, and talking to himself, giving him notes like while he's reading lines it's not him actually reading a line they didn't give him like a whisper and say like read this in a whisper voice it was just extra audio from while he was recording and uh yamaoka took it cut up little individual syllables and sounds from each thing that was being said and uh stitched it all together to make nonsense the only so, uh, full word is at the very end of the whisper that says uh, the word mistake I'm gonna die. <laughs> I've no, got I've got the giant's knife and I'm just walking around with it. You'll be yeah, just chilling. I think I forgot to pick up the key. <laughs> Which is beautiful. That's that okay. Back to the line here. house. It's just sitting there. It's on the pillow. Oh, I actually got it. I it just Oh, I've got my brightness up right now and I didn't notice I didn't have the... F That's two times I've done that. I'm not used to having to have a flashlight on to interact with doors. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, KP's asking, how did, is there a way anyone knew that no one had it on the 31st? Or were you just going based on that uh, documentation, that shipping documentation? It's a combination of things where... Um... Whitney, uh, a lot of people know. Oh, Whitney Chavis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, who's, oh no, who's no, been no, no, a, no, no, a really re oh. prevalent part of the uh, Silent Hill community for a long time. Oh, shit. Um, started bringing it up on Twitter recently, 
and it's try. the it's the kind of thing where a lot of fans have been sort of recalling when they got the game and basically uh. nobody out there can show that they got this game in January of or not this game but Silent Hill 1 in January of 99 like nobody but there's lots of documentation of yeah. people getting it later in February despite and, and a lot of sources online saying that the release date for Silent Hill 1 was January 31st 99 so again I feel like it's just release information on games and stuff was not as accurate not as good back then and to be fair that that is the date that has always been around like i remember the old uh game uh that used to be video games.com and they always had that as the release date uh, even in the early 2000s they always had it listed as january 31st and looking at a uh and this is how non-believable that date is looking back at a calendar january 31st 1999 was a sunday there ain't no game coming out on a sunday so I don't know where that date specifically comes from, but that's the date that we have accepted. So that's what it is. But I'm looking at a 1999 calendar right now. January 31st was a Sunday in 1999. So, yeah, <laughs> there's no video game. Unless it's Nintendo, there's no video game coming out on a Sunday. But video game releases were weird back then, so. Okay, well... I've got to figure see, out exactly what's going on with this camera because I want to. But we, but we told you you didn't die. <laughs> like I'm gonna die. Didn't oh, I? I'm really surprised. Whoa, whoa, that whoa. Didn't die. We got, we got inside James's face a little. Holy Christ! <laughs> um, just give me a second. I'm having to go and kill some things in the background. <laughs> Take all the time you need. Feels like someone's groping around inside my skull. Groping around inside my skull, yeah. You okay. have become the save point. <laughs> this is why I don't use 2D controls in the first person mod, because of this. <laughs> However, if I go in here and turn on 3D controls. Yeah. 3D controls are abomination. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, now I have complete control, and I can go complete three James. Also, um, ignore James's eyelids, because they're getting ready to disappear in a second. Yeah, just ignore them, yeah. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, nice. Game's tripping out over there. Uh, Damien asking about Pyramid Head's sword. So that's not a hack or a mod. You can, I mean, having it at this point in the game is is a hack. Yeah. Um, but you you can pick up Pyramid Head's sword uh, in the labyrinth on uh, on a playthrough without uh, without any other. I don't think there's any. Yeah, there's no like other thing you have to do. It's always there. You just have to go pick it up in the labyrinth. Know where it is. Oh, nice. I love when the game does that. Oh, I figured it out. I'm, I I love when I do that. I I figured things out, and then I'm like, oh no, that makes sense. And then I realize, brilliant, because I, where I usually keep it, it wasn't there, and I was like, why is it still just popping like that? And then I see that I didn't get rid of all of the code, so. It shouldn't be popping anymore unless something happens. It will. All right, so James doesn't have any visibility. We are in first person. And if you change this, there we go. Freeze that. Now there shouldn't be any. <laughs> it's so funny. Be. Just just from this <laughs> angle and the building and everything, it, it feels very much like Silent Hill 4 looking out the window. Except you can actually walk around. It's so good. Still need to get that VR mode. Yeah, right. Oh, my oh God. man. <laughs> I would love to play Silent Hill 2 in VR. Yeah, the cutscenes are a little trippy like this because the camera doesn't. 
I've officially killed the camera pretty much. Oh. Okay. Good stuff. It's still impressive that you can see like the attacks and stuff. Like you can see your plank and all that. So it really, it really does feel like this was actually developed this way, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I believe Silent Hill One. I'm not entirely sure, but it's been so long since I played it. It actually had a first person mode, so maybe. So like here, can you, can oh, yeah, you yeah, actually the, like, like keep going upstairs? Like, can you clip through that that top part of the fence? Oh yeah, I mean I could. Um, there's nothing up there, but uh, sure. Give me one second. I've got to resurrect the camera. Because if I don't, then actually, you know what? Let's just go through it. And see what. Let's happens. just Why see not? what happens. Yeah, let's just see what happens. <laughs> I bet it's a game crash. The worst thing can happen is a game crash, and I've already made a backup save as soon as I walked out, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> All right, so let me find the collision. That's not it. Okay, there we go. And to be honest, James is probably just going to immediately be affected by gravity, and I'm going to fall. Because I just always thought this was a, a weird, weirdly placed staircase, like with the the building layout and everything. And I was like, if this wasn't blocked off, what would it actually connect to? Um, gravity is not affecting me here, so... Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm kind of curious now. I'm just going to keep playing until I mean, the that's, game crashes. How about that? That already is really cool, <laughs> just being able to see the... The big hole in the ground. Yeah. yeah. The sinkhole. It's pretty wild how much they can get away with not modeling for these games. Yeah. Like this and, you know, any other games where you go out of bounds, it's amazing how much stuff you like, how many holes there are if you just go like just just a slightly out of where they want you to go. Oh, and I can't get back through now. That's that's beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> OK, we're just going to be floating in the air now. Yeah, we're <laughs> walking fine. in the air again. This, this is our life. We didn't get used to it. We're just going to float over to Rosewater Park, I guess. I mean, I can, but I'm not sure how the game is going to react. Yeah, that, like, <laughs> cutscene for the billboard. Okay, let's pick up the speed here. Pop in. Oh, I'm okay. I was just like, is it going to trigger the cutscene? Oh, I'm back on the ground. Oh, it resets you. That is. Oh, really that's cool. that's really cool. Seeing the above shot of the park. The game just resets your position. Wow. Because <clears throat> it it does force like an animation there where where James walks up. In in the speed run, you can actually well, it doesn't really matter either way. You can just skip it. But if if you want to, you can quick save during that uh, sequence <laughs> on PC and just run uh, sort of blindly. The camera stays focused on the sign for Rosewater Park. And uh, as you run forward, the the game is just deloading everything behind you. So one of the few times where, like, for the speed run, you can kind of see how everything is, is popping in around James. And if you pull the camera away from that, you can see... Just sort of like how far you need to get before uh, you're out of like render distance, things like that. Yeah. Um, about this park, there's like literally only one thing I've ever hacked in this park. And that would be this. Um, I've actually found the address that controls that model. and I mean, it wasn't anything special. Like I changed it to a health changed it to instead of one it was two boxes of bullets but um, i bet like since i've gotten way better at hacking since then i bet i can actually like change it into something completely crazy see that like, would yeah. be really interesting because again that that would build towards like a like essentially an item randomizer uh type yeah. of mod which would again 
any sort of mods and stuff for these games is is amazing to me. It, it surprises me how little overall there is for these games when you look at some some other games and series by comparison. You look at how many things there are for like Resident Evil. Resident Evil is a big one, yeah. The game crashed again, guys. Again? Uh oh. <laughs> Mary? Oh. Oh, uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> Did it not? It. It is it looked trying? like it crashed. It just okay, okay. Looks like the game <laughs> made me lie. <laughs> oh, hey, no, it's it, it just needed a, good, a second. That's a good lie. Yeah. Okay, there we go. More first-person mode. Look at all of that water. But now Maria's there, and you can look at her in first person, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Even though Maria was there in the apartments. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this first person mod would work better in cutscenes, but I've only got it to work reasonably well in gameplay. And the reason why the camera suddenly snaps like, when I look away and then I look back that's just the way James's head automatically looks at things uh, to oh, tell wow. the player that there's something there. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and um, I can disable that if I wanted to, but I choose not to because it's really difficult to pick up like a health drink or something like that when you're just staring straight at a wall. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not really a version enabled and then without it enabled just so there can be a healthy variety. Automatically look at the mannequin. Maybe I should go out over here. Or maybe not. This game doesn't like me sometimes. <laughs> it makes me think it freezes and then doesn't freeze. I mean, that, that seems to just kind of be Silent Hill too. Because <laughs> I know... At least as far as the PC version goes, there's there's lots of moments where it's like, I wish this game liked me more. Would cooperate better. Yeah, for sure. I have those thoughts all the time. Not just with Silent Hill, like with nearly every game I hack, because sometimes you'll get a uh, sometimes you'll get a game that will literally just crash for no reason. Like I was hacking uh, Tomb Raider 2013 last night. I was trying to find the rain. That way I can disable it and enable it whenever I need to. And Maria, how did you get out here? Oh, look at that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was trying to find that last night and I didn't have any kind of hacks, like any kind of hacks at all turned on. And I just loaded my save at walk well, two feet and it crashed. And I was like, what? I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would it crash when nothing was happening? So, yeah, I'm used to games crashing on me. <laughs> what What is, out of the Silent Hill games that you've hacked, what would you say is, like, the, the least stable, like, the least friendly for hacking? Silent Hill 4. 4? Silent Hill 4, easily. Um, especially with the camera. That game has, like, I believe three or four cameras in it. Um, instead of just using a camera, like, this game has one camera. It's used for both the cutscenes and the gameplay. That's why when I'm in first person, the camera freaks out during uh, in-engine cutscenes. Uh, but with Silent Hill 4, you have the windows. Uh, the windows are their own separate camera. In the apartments, his own separate camera. Third person modes, his own separate camera, and um, the the peephole and door share a camera. So to be able to make a oh my god oh 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 didn't like that it didn't like that. <laughs> um, to be able to make a free camera for it, I literally have to find all of the floats for all of the different cameras, and oh. it's like three or four times the amount of work as like Silent Hill 2 or 3. Uh, yeah, okay. And that game loves to crash. And it's not set up at all like the other Silent Hill game. 
memory wise, I mean. It's it's interesting too, because I mean, most people like even just from a casual perspective, it's it's easy to tell Silent Hill Four is a very different game from the first three games. But it's interesting to see like more of an inside look of it that it's it's even down to the way that it's put together is is so different. Yeah, like if you why is it? Oh, I'm not sure why it freaks out when I try to get near that. I think the camera is trying to force a... Um, there's normally an camera. overhead angle. Uh, That's why. Yeah, there's normally like it cuts to that overhead shot when you get close to that car. So I guess it's it's freaking out trying to snap the camera to that. Yeah, that, that's really strange. And why are those blue? <laughs> why? What? <laughs> why are those blue? All the shadows are blue. Yeah, HD collection blue gonna... mode. Oh, okay. Um, I'm. I feel like I'm watching like a, <laughs> like a retro wave video. Oh, right it's now. it's it's slowly turning into the vapor wave mod. Slowly. <laughs> 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 I mean, this is awesome looking. Oh, cool. Okay. It changed the color of the things on, like, the bowling alley and stuff, too. That's really strange. I'll have to look into that more later. Oh, God, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to try not to give everyone a seizure who's watching <laughs> this right now. Silent um, Hill 2 Blood Dragon. It's a... I would play that. Yeah, seriously, lie. like a super neon Blood Dragon mod. Uh, let's see. James' visibility. This needs to go to zero because we're... Uh, okay. When you're outside, it's one. When you're inside, it's zero. And when you're like this, the game wants to spawn you out there for some reason, and I'm like... No. <clears throat> let's see. Did you find the lady you're looking for? What was her name? Mary? Okay, let's see. Oh my god, Eddie's animation. He looks dead. He just <laughs> looks dead. <laughs> it's it's funny because sometimes uh in in like certain versions, um his animation will desync with the pizza slice. So like he'll put his hand down oh, yeah. and the pizza slice will float up to his mouth. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Getting to see like the, the end of the bowling alley and stuff closer since it's such a far angle by default. And there's actually yeah, it's a real a bowling alley. Here. There's actually a room over here too. That is that actually like a separate room, or is it re reflecting? It's a separate room. Like you only get to see part of it. Oh wow! Um, yeah. I guess they just wanted something there to be behind the boards. If I can get collision to turn off again, I'll walk through here. Okay. Yeah, it's like um. A continuation of sorts. Oh yeah. That's really cool. And I'm not gonna lie, seeing that pizza over there makes me want a slice of pizza. Right. <laughs> I've had pizza like two times this week and I would love another slice of pizza. That's because I saw pizza. <laughs> Wrong version for eyeball teeth, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do not make fun of Maria for her eyeball teeth. Okay? <laughs> not her fault. Oh, God. We're inside James's head again. It's not her fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. We need to get rid of the eyeball and James. 
Okay. Um, for some reason, that wants to keep fighting me. I'll get rid of it. I'll take it out back in a minute. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. What? It's so funny. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm looking at LSD emulator right now or Silent Hill 2. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> okay, so I'm literally trying to... I'm looking through my table right now. Table is massive, so it's taking me a minute. Maria, stop calling... Causing, oh, James, what in the world? Okay. So, <laughs> so while you're going for this, uh, you, you mentioned looking at a table and like, what? Um, oh, guys. Ah. James is... <laughs> Holy! He's having a time it's a, right now. It's those old golden eye corruptions. Yeah, that I it's used to those watch. golden eye corruptions. <laughs> Get down! Yeah, um, Get down! I can, I can move around like this too. <laughs> oh my god! Now that is a real space. Yes. <laughs> oh god! I just want to play the whole game like that. Maria is hideously unimpressed. I, I have like no control. I can only move. Back. Oh man! We need, we need initial D. <laughs> Imagine if the plank had a hitbox. Oh man! If it was just flailing around, actually hitting stuff like that. Yeah, actually pinging things. Nobody would be safe. <laughs> Nobody. Maria would probably be back? dead. The, the controls keep changing on me. Oh, where are you going? Okay, I'm back to normal now. Okay, except my stick is probably still tweaking out over here. Um, You're still on 3D controls, right? Yeah. So, so yeah, it's trying to pull up the... Oh, oh that... Hey, uh, there's my stick. <laughs> it's invisible now. <laughs> except it's not. It's probably over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna link the uh, the Goldeneye video in the chat just so people know what I'm talking about. Oh, I sure. I kind of want to watch it again, to be honest. <laughs> it made me remember it. Okay, uh, well, um, I'm gonna continue here. <laughs> oh Not exactly God. sure what's going on with the... it. It reminds me a little bit of uh, the the Silent Hill Four uh, Rodolfo's <laughs> Rodolfo's mod uh, model swap for uh, Silent Hill Four. Because if you swap out uh, Henry's model for someone else, they don't have animations for holding the gun. So when you're running around, like the gun just floats next to you. Um, oh, yeah. Guys, I might have broke this a little bit harder than I intended. Uh oh. I mean, uh, that's good. Um, oh, well, uh, uh. for some reason, the game is still reading James's head position is the stick oh so that's how the first person mode works like i lock onto james's head and just make his head disappear so you're it's pretty much like a first person uh, like a first person shooter they'll just make the player's head disappear and that's how you do a first person shooter right but um yeah that's pretty much what i do except for some reason the game is making the stick james's head we yeah um, we are become stick. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to guess where the bowling alley is and try to walk back inside. Um, turn the camera and okay. Mm. I love that the stick moves with James, even though. Okay, let's walk back in here and see if the game fixes itself. Okay, looks like it fixed itself. Um, maybe. Um, uh, let's. See. If I can go back in first-person mode. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It, it's it's still catching up for us. Uh, well, you're gonna see James's oh. next stretched into oblivion. Oh, oh, oh that's, boy. That's his neck? <laughs> that's Look at his that neck. neck. <laughs> that's his <laughs> neck, like, stretched out. <laughs> <to the player. laughs> 
the room spawn. Oh, okay. Well, oh, um. <laughs> Oh, oh God! That's <laughs> that was something else I wanted. Uh, I saw that you did with uh, Silent Hill Three when when you made Giant Heather. Oh yeah! And uh, in the process of doing that, like you made her very tall and skinny first, where it was just like her <laughs> these big long stretched legs, like going up out of the view of the camera. It's not frozen. Oh wait, wait! What's going on? <laughs> Please oh. tell me we can just walk around with like a giant extended neck. Oh, giraffe oh, mode. That, that's that's not good, guys. Uh oh. <laughs> that's not his neck either. Mm. I thought it was, but that is not. Oh his neck. yeah, I see it now. Oh um, goodness, that is it's his. Like a Picasso, damn. That is his mustache uh, that he didn't have before. It looks like that what? is his entire body. This distorted. is art. This yeah. <laughs> Game, games are art ladies and gentlemen take a screenshot of this and send it to Ito get down <laughs> I'm just going to go as far as I can and we've we've gone too far alright yeah, so let's I'm going to it. speed the camera up and see how far we can go oh my god it's, okay that texture oh. is officially stretched to the sky. <laughs> it's like slowed down now. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've officially went completely outside of the draw distance and James is still going on. So <laughs> I think it's about time for a reset. <laughs> about that time. It's all fun and games until you stretch James into whatever that was. Whatever yeah. that is, yeah. Whatever whatever that is. He's he's the real abstract daddy. <laughs> oh <wow>. yeah. <laughs> the, that's perfect. Don't even have to add. Alright, so now let's not do that. Oh, okay. What is even happening? I walk out and the game just decides to be 30 shades of white. Oh, yeah. It sure is. Wow. There we go. <laughs> okay. We're back to normal. Okay, back to normal. Uh, we Not don't for know how long. Uh, MP, we don't know about Ravenheart. He might be having some internet problems right now because he was having problems this morning. So yeah. we honestly haven't heard from him. So I'm just going to assume his internet is bonked out right now, which is unfortunate. But he's been dealing... <laughs> Ravenheart's been having a lot of internet problems lately. <laughs> I'm sorry that that <laughs> made me lose it. We stared too long into the James. We We <laughs> went too far. We went way too far. We crossed uh, the line. Yeah, the game we, pushed us back out. It's like no, no, no. Stared into fun. the James Abyss. Yep, way too much fun. All right, so <laughs> I guess I'm just going to try not to break the game again until I get past that part. That's <laughs> yeah. the be that's the best goal. <laughs> Just don't break the game. That is pretty much impossible for me, but I would try. Yeah, that's yeah. like it. I mean, nature. that's what we're here for. We're we're yeah. here to see this broken. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Like I, before I even started hacking, like I made my Twitch channel, and I played through the, um, I played through Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, and I had so many glitches happen to me that no one has ever seen before. Yeah, and. I, I was like, this stuff only happens to me. Like, I would yeah. try to jump on a platform and fall through the platform and to my death. Yeah. And uh, Sonic Generations, I was running through like this part where a boulder is supposed to hit you, and I clipped through the boulder to my death. So wow. it's like, so it's like you're destined for the for this kind of stuff almost. Yeah, I cannot. You can't not avoid it. Games. It's your destiny. The hack life chose you, is what it you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> It chose you. You didn't choose it. Mm, let's see. Oh, that's great. 
Uh, could you look at uh, Jack's Inn, uh, the the hotel? Oh yeah, sure. One second. Uh, that mannequin is just. It's wrecking Maria now. right now. She'll be fine. Yeah, she's getting bonked in the back <laughs> of the head. She, she's all right though. She's all right. Okay. Got to get back to homework. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Alcamilla. And again, everybody, uh, definitely huge shout out to Alcamilla Hospital, who runs right uh, yeah. alcamillahospital.net, a yep. great source for lots and lots of interesting Silent Hill information. Very, very nice to see uh, to see you on Twitch now, by the way. I know yes. you've been in my channel a bit lately, and it's uh, it, it's it's an honor. I do appreciate it. We're, we're glad to see you on Twitch. Yeah, and again, thank you for coming by. I have been on that website a lot. <laughs> Me too. Uh, a lot. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time there as well. That was also my first time uh, playing the uh, play novel was through the Alcamilla Hospital uh, browser-based translation, which is amazing, by the way. <laughs> Maybe not for uh, its accuracy, but it definitely provided a unique experience for my first playthrough of that. Yeah, for the experience, without a doubt. <laughs> All right, now the camera has finally stopped fighting me. Um, here we go. But yeah, I was just kind of curious. I love, this is like one of my favorite areas in the town. Uh, I Hold like the second. layout of Jackson. I gotta get a simple monster I'm gonna die over here. All it needs is a big spooky house in the <clears> background <throat> and it feels like, uh, it feels like the Bates Motel. Oh, I love, <laughs> I love Zyko and I love Hmm. Let's see. Nope. No letter from a dead wife or anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> what a concept that would be. Um, let's see. is there anything in particular you want me to just No, mostly like kind of... that that overhead shot and stuff of of the inn was great. And I mean, I I kind of assumed there wouldn't be anything rendered in inside any of the buildings since you don't see through any of the windows and stuff but then again as said there's been stranger things uh discovered behind walls you wouldn't think there would be anything so yeah okay well i'm going really slow now didn't but you know <laughs> when when you do that the game okay there we go perfect speed now I can actually pan through this without it just being like a blur. Also, I love the atmospheric lighting. It completely changes during this part of the game. Yeah, it starts. This is the part where I think it starts getting darker. Mm -hmm. it's sort of the sun is setting a little bit. And then when you get out of the uh, the hospital, I think it's completely dark. Yeah, and that's... Um, that's actually nothing but a little talk. Like, oh, yeah. The game literally calls upon a... It's literally just one or zero. <laughs> if it's, yeah. If it's nighttime, it's one. All the zero daytime, and none of them work. Um, I've... <laughs> there's, no, I, I, there's no ground texture in front of the doors. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, because, I mean, you normally wouldn't even walk yeah. all the way up there. But there's, but they still have like the number on the door, yeah, and things like that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's very, it, they are very thorough when it comes to the doors. But getting to the doors, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> but could you imagine like someone just walking up here and there'd be no? F yeah, no yeah. ground. It's it's oh. under construction. <laughs> yeah, just wear a hard hat. All right, let's see. Um, it's it's the hallway connecting uh, the hotel and the convention center, AGDQ. Yeah. I mean, those stairs are blocked off. The creepy dungeon, yeah. So it's, it's they're like consistent. Oh, that's, that's got to stop. That's annoying. I can't stand when the camera does that. 
it's trying to pretty much force static angles again and yeah as soon as it does that again i'm going to pop it because i've already got my debugger in the background i'm just waiting for it to try it again right so i i actually started to to mention that earlier and then stuff started getting crazy and i kind of lost my train of thought um <laughs> That's so, all of us. so when when you're doing these kind of hacks and stuff, like uh, you've definitely got a lot of software and stuff running on top of the the emulator, the game itself. Um, so, so what do you typically use uh, when you're doing these kind of hacked playthroughs or or hacking in general? Like, what software do you typically get or use for doing a lot of that? Um, I use. <clears throat> well, it's actually the. PCSX2 debugger is built in. I use that. I use uh, I use Cheat Engine a lot. And when I'm messing around with PC games and even sometimes the um, PS2 games, I use Ida Pro. That's um, a separate debugging software that will actually break down the machine code into assembly. And I can just go to work from there trying to find things. Um, that's usually just for PCs though. There's like PS2 discs uh, for disassembling PS2 um, files and everything to actually find what you're looking for. But it usually just stays between Cheat Engine, PS2 discs, Ida Pro, um, the in-game debugger, and I think I've already said Cheat Engine, but yeah, Cheat Engine. Okay. Because, yeah, you, you, you'd mentioned earlier, like, you were looking over a table and that it was, like, a very large table. So I assume you're doing most of that through uh, Cheat Engine? Yeah, I find um, most of them straight through Cheat Engine. And I will, I can modify them through Cheat Engine, but a lot of the times, I mean, you've seen it happen during the stream. Like, the values do not stay where I want them to and they'll snap back. Okay. So I actually have to bring up the... PS, uh, PCSX2 debugger and I put a trace on that address to see what it's trying to write to that way as soon as it pings it it'll freeze the game show me exactly what it's writing to and I can pretty much kill that operation so it won't be writing to it anymore oh okay Like this, you see what's happening here. Like the, um, there's a render, the render distance right now is trying to snap between what it's supposed to be, which is yeah. 69, and what I want it to be, which is 71, which is the maximum that the engine can take. So I would actually just grab the address. I mean, I'm not showing the address for obvious reasons, um, but I would just go over here, throw it in the bug debug window you'll see the game freeze in a second as soon as it pings it and then I can just knob it hit run another one pings until pretty much it stopped writing and I would go back and find exactly what put it in a notepad and make a an actual pnatch from it that way next time yeah, I believe really cool. I, I believe I did not there okay the game's running again yeah it's like I, it's uh, probably not <laughs> crashed but we'll see yeah it wasn't crashed it was just me forgetting that I have to hit run again and it happens to the best of us I mean there's there's so much kind of going on like you were kind of given a breakdown before we started the stream of like everything you need to have open uh to to be able to do all this especially live yeah like right now i have cheat engine open i have my actual streaming software which is stream uh stream labs obs i have the um i have pcs i cannot english pcxx2 um <laughs> debug open in the background and i also have a notepad open in the background that way i could toggle uh various codes on and off when i need to lock the camera oh okay 
with very, very limited <laughs> screen space. All right, so... Again, I definitely appreciate all the, uh, the effort you go into to, to be able to show all this. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty amazing. I really, I'm curious. This is the actual room where the uh, debug room is in the Maria scenario. I'm uh -huh. not sure if that if that section of the room, like that zone of the room, is actually in this version. I need to. If I yeah. did that right now, it would be a yeah. That's an interesting thought. I never really thought about that. I mean, it's the same room. Yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering if they only put it in the director's cut that's an interesting question there's no yeah i've never thought about that can we see mary um sure um later when we see her <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or i guess can you um i mean i could always go room at any point that i wanted to and i mean she wouldn't be there obviously because she's a completely separate entity in the game yeah right um but i mean what i could do is i could try to freeze time during the cutscenes and take a look i mean i can't guarantee anything because i time hacking yeah Okay, Laura, we both know you were not there before. Yeah, it's like she's very clearly <laughs> not there. Just got to spawn her in for that. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, can you go behind the fence here? Oh, yeah. Um, Get a little better look at this uh, fenced off parking lot area of the hospital. One, two, click, and I'm back. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, getting ready to share with you the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, the Silent Hill 2 ambulance ending, everybody. Yeah. Also, I'm quite confused about this because... Hey, it's, it's almost like Harry's Jeep. Kinda. A little too big, though. You can see straight through these windows. <laughs> yeah. Really it's like a <laughs> one-sided texture. <laughs> yeah, that's really crazy. Seeing it from this side. I love how Maria's just sitting out there like, oh, he'll be dying in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's not allowed. She's like, oh, he does this all the time. Let him get it out of his system. He'll be done in a minute. I'm pretty that's sure awesome. that's the only time she's ever sat and waited for me to do anything. <laughs> Normally she'll just clip right through and follow me, and I'm like, all right. She's like, James is on his bullshit again. And I'm already in my mind. I'm sitting here going, okay, what was the code for that door again? <laughs> yeah, right. For the. Uh, I see Oracle Nav. Is that Brookhaven? Dante? Yeah, we're on Brookhaven, and that map is washed out because of the brightness. Okay, so um, let me brighten it up in here. Any higher than 63 is just going to be way too bright. So. Actually, 63 might be bright. Who knows? Yeah, turning all the lights on. Alright, 
so go in here. Um, and I was honestly expecting the safe point to be on the wall. Because my most recent playthrough of Brookhaven was in Korea. Okay, well, um, can't remember. Can I put Maria in the room before? Or. Maria in the room before what? Before I go down and get, like, the purple bull key and everything. Uh. Oh, like, if you, if you want to just take her to oh, third, what, third what? floor. Why is that texture back there? What even is that texture? Camera, stop. Okay, I'm just gonna do oh, yeah. this. To... There's like a texture behind the door. Huh. Wow. <laughs> even though those like never open. Those never open ever. That's the that's the stuff that's fascinating to me. Like why it's like why is that even there? Why the Silent Hill 3 songs? I just have a Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 playlist going because we don't have uh, game audio for this just as part of the setup. And game audio is not really necessary for this either. So Yeah, we're we're mostly just, as said, kind of going through while Neko shows us all this crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I really despise Maria following me because you... Um, let's see. I'm going to try to just disable her. Well, I mean, I could do that, but I'm pretty sure that would break <laughs> the sequence of events. I, I, I'm almost certain it would, because technically you can do that in mm -hmm. uh, the PC version by using the the quick save uh, glitch. So you, if you put text on the screen and then mash quick save in the PC version. Oh, look at her go. <laughs> if you if you put uh, text on the screen and then mash quick save on PC, you can keep uh, cutscene triggers and things like that from loading in. So what you do is you bring up some text uh, before interacting with Maria in Rosewater Park. You mash quick save and run right through the cutscene trigger where she normally would follow you, and you just skip her entirely. Uh, but as soon as you try to go to the bowling alley without her, the game breaks. It crashes. Wow. Okay. Um, first of all, I got to say, hey, Dante. Okay. Second of all, um, I've never noticed that blood down there before. Um, the blood down here that's behind the bucket. That The bucket, yeah. Yeah. Never noticed that. You never really get to see it. Yeah, exactly. It's normally so dark and just kind of so far back there. You don't, you don't get an angle to see it. But sure enough, I wonder if we can, wonder if we can see the smoke monster, quote unquote. It is a big, bloody puddle under a bucket. Very much reminds me of the the bleed out bucket in Silent Hill 3's Brookhaven. Good point. I wonder if it's the same one. We know they like to reuse things. Um, I mean, it's definitely like if you're going to reuse assets, that's the kind of stuff to reuse. That's the kind of stuff. Yeah. Not not things like window textures downpour. <laughs> yeah. The one window texture. Yeah. Or at the very least, have uh, more than one. Or just reverse it or, or turn it upside down or something. Oh, God. That nurse came out of nowhere and I'm not going to. I wasn't expecting the nurse to be there. <clears throat> As I said, my last playthrough on me at Brookhaven was in Silent Hill 3, so Don't I... Don't worry. As somebody who speedruns both Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3, Brookhaven is always confusing. My my brain always is, like, never sure what to do in Brookhaven. Like, which which world am I in? Yeah, I've had that problem for, like, multiple days at a time. Like, you play Silent Hill 3 a lot, and then you switch to Silent Hill 2, and suddenly it's like you just can't stop. Yeah, your your brain right. will just start <laughs> autopiloting, and you'll go to a door, and you're like, wait, 
why is this door jammed? And you yeah, realize, like, point. oh, I'm I'm playing the wrong game right now. <laughs> yeah. Is this code seven five five three three seven five three three five seven three three five? I I got the numbers. I just didn't know the order. Or actually, it's Uh-oh. different for easy riddle. I think. Oh, that was it. That was it. Yep. Okay. So. Go put Maria in daycare. So get out of my way. Okay, now I'm curious. What if I okay, Maria right now, I'm not entity than the Maria knows you. Um because obviously she's in a completely different I'm wondering if I spawned Maria again and walked back in here, what would happen? Let's find out. A game crash? Um, first and foremost, uh, let me just do a save state. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Good habit see. to have on this, I think, is save states fairly regularly. Yeah, for sure. All right, so let's just spawn Maria again. Quick kicks. Okay. There we should place is. bets on what happens. I wonder if it just triggered the cutscene again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm 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 just gonna go with it straight up freezes oh. and crashes. Um. I might go with cutscene loop. I'm I'm gonna go with what just happened because I feel like I'm cheating if I actually see what happened. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's um, definitely not what I thought would oh, happen. Oh boy. Yeah. Wow. Uh. She can float. She's floating on the bed. She's possessed. Oh. Call an exorcist. And She's ascending. I wonder if anything will happen if I just keep doing this. Oh, man. Do it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Make her just keep floating just go, further and further up. up. This, going up into the ceiling. Here we go. Uh, uh, looks yeah. like she's hit her height. Like. Yeah, she after, sits her apex. After like two, she's done. Okay, let's set this back to normal so she's not going to spawn again. What happens if you talk to her and interact, make that cutscene happen? It's a great question. While, while she's floating. Oh, she's she is very floaty. She is not floating anymore. I'm going to have to fix it. Uh, let me see. She looks like she was on one of those magician shows. Yeah. Oh, she just pops back down. <laughs> she just plopped right back on down. Yeah, I've noticed that. Like, when the game has a cutscene, I, I think it just automatically yeah. sets the characters to a certain position. And I need to unlock that because if I don't, she's going to try to spawn again. And there's a nurse. All right, so I need to go get the purple bull key. The lapis eye key. And I need to go do a bunch of puzzle solving now. So I yep. can go to the basement's basement. Yep, yep. <clears throat> or, or I could just give myself all the items. Hmm. I mean, whatever's more interesting. Because that's the whole idea. This does not have to be a standard playthrough where we do everything normally. I mean, obviously, <coughs> there's nothing really normal about any of this. <laughs> Correct. Okay, so what, what I'm so gonna if do you want to just gonna... like spawn a key and like skip stuff, feel free. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to load the save. Case that something. I your, it to crash in three your mic cut out a bit there. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if you can get closer to your mic, but Discord has a really bad audio noise gate. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it right. gets all of us. So if you can get a little closer, it might help it a little bit. But Discord's noise gate is just a, a thing. Okay, can you hear me? 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it just kind of it just kind of cuts off sometimes, like when you're when when we all tail off at the end of sentences. Sometimes it's just Discord. All right. Uh, yeah, I understand. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reload Dave State uh, back before I started messing with Maria. That way, it did change something in the game. It's not going to crash when I start going further. Um, so let me just reload that real quick. Okay, so now I need to give myself all of the items. <laughs> all right. What's inside the stall with the noise? Uh, that's not till later, right? That's in the prison. Yeah, that's in the prison. But when we get there, we can look. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. It's going to take a minute. Oh, you're fine. Oh, do your thing. I need to deactivate the free cam so it stopped trying to fight me over there. Okay, I think that should have given me all the items. I think so. And uh, while he's taking care of that, I, just, I put his information in the chat. If you guys aren't following his YouTube and his Twitch, there it is right there. So during this moment, you can take care of that. So I think I have. That's a lot of keys. <laughs> it's great seeing everything in the inventory, like all, all at one. once, because you never really get to see that. And so I, 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 I've, I've pretty much doomed myself to the rebirth ending now, <laughs> because it automatically gives me like all the yeah uh, ceremony items too. Did that say 535 health drinks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is that the is that the absolute max? Yeah, that's, that's the maximum. That's awesome. <clears throat> uh, so it's like, great. It, it doesn't items. get just give you everything that's available in the game. It just gives you everything at its maximum value that's allowed. Yeah, like I have five hundred thirty-five hunting rifles right now. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that's great. If there was a commerce oh, wow. it, in like, this game, <laughs> <laughs> I could just sell everything and live like a king. Okay, so let's go over here. That's not. So it's... whenever you do that and and you're putting the items into your inventory, does things like the hyper spray still work normally? Like it's based on your your previous star rank, like clear through, or can you hack in like specific versions of the hyper spray? That's actually part of a different section of a memory that controls the power of the hyperspray. Um, like the hyperspray in here, it, it's just the base hyperspray. So it, you, you just get the, the default white uh, hyperspray? Yeah. But then there's a value that you can change if you wanted to just make it green? Yeah, there's a, a value you can change. It actually determines the power of uh, not only that, but the power of all of the weapons. Like you can go around one shotting everything with the plank if you wanted to. Oh, wow. Um, so it affects everything. Yeah. It's like right next to each other. All of the damage. Um, but that's all loaded into memory. That's really cool, though. Does Neko often do this stuff on his channel? Um... Actually, yeah, I my channel was pretty much dedicated to nothing but game hacking. Um, recently, I've done like the new Resident Evil Two. I've I, I've done quite a few things, and I I try to keep it varied. 
as I've learned uh, a little bit of assembly, I've been working on Bayonetta and several other games. Oh, really? Bayonetta. Yeah, I saw some of your uh, stuff on Twitter as you were working on Bayonetta. That's really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, for Bayonetta, I made a... <coughs> excuse me. I made um, a pretty much a hack that gets rid of all of the invisible... And apparently I cannot talk and go through this menu at the same time. Um, <laughs> Don't worry. I do the same thing when I'm trying to like go into conversations or like talk about something in depth. I just completely stop what I'm doing in the game. My brain can't handle thinking, talking and playing all at once. What a good streamer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a professional. Yeah. Professional <laughs> streamer. All right. So... Anyway, as I was saying, like, um, I made uh, a hack to get rid of the invisible walls. What I'm going to start doing is just exploration packages in these games uh, where I pretty much hand the keys over to the viewer who can go explore the game to their heart's content with free right. cam. There's walkthrough walls. There's all kinds of things that just let you explore the game. So, man, there's so many things I have questions on now because you hacked all the items in. Um, normally, I'm used to, like, just the limitations of what we can sequence break through, like, the PC version through speedrunning glitches and things like the quick save glitch. And I know you can, you can forego um, the pyramid head interaction on the roof, but... Even if you know the numbers for the box to get the hair, it doesn't just let you plug them in, even if they're the correct numbers. Like, you have to see the interaction with Pyramid Head. Like, there's a trigger there before you can you can use the numbers on the box. But because you just have the key, like, you skip it entirely. You don't need to get the hair. I mean, I guess you already have it, so... Yeah, as long as it's in your inventory and the game these that you have it it's fine but everything just continues on <laughs> yeah um i was curious if that would break anything like because you skip all, all that if it would it like probably not does. <laughs> huh. i'm not gonna lie like i don't know all of the effects of everything i'm doing but <clears throat> it does affect various things like you've seen it crash numerous times and mm -hmm. that's just because i missed a trigger or something or I hit the trigger the wrong way and the game just crashed. Um, I mean, there's a billion things that could be. And I'm actually going to try to walk around the outskirts of the wall to see Laura playing with the dolls before James walks over there. No, oh, nice. There we go. And I really hope the trigger doesn't go out of bounds. Okay, we're good. And it doesn't even look like Laura's over here. Or am I in the wrong room? This is the, wrong, the room. wrong room. Ha! <laughs> I'm in the wrong room. And I, I mean, I wasn't going to say anything because I was like, oh, maybe it, it renders no, that room like when you're in the I'm, room next I'm, to it. But I'm just in the wrong room. <laughs> uh, which room is it? It's just I, the next one on the right. The next one on the right. Yeah. C2. My bad. <laughs> oh, let's see. Okay, out of bounds. Okay, and there we go. That's great. So I guess the cutscene trigger is specifically only within the bounds of the room. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's what probably is like somewhere right yeah, in what here. What is that pose? She just bounds. looks like she's dead on the floor there. Is she I, moving? Yeah, yeah she's she is. is she actually? She's moving, yeah. Um, she's yeah, she's moving like doing something with her head. Just, and her hand is like she's reaching for something. Although I don't think you could ever see that. Hold on, let me see. 
Well, that was an interesting glitch. Yeah, from from the normal camera perspective, you you can't really see her at all. I mean, you could you can kind of see her. You can't see her hand moving, but you can see her head moving. Try breaking the extermination. Oh, by the way, I do have the chat up. It's just in a very small corner of my screen because that's all I can afford right now. So if I miss any, if I miss anything in the chat, I apologize. I'm trying to read it and do other things at the same time. Yeah, I'll try okay. to. I said we're trying to relay questions and things like that as they come up. There we go. Okay, skip. God, the lighting in this scene is so weird. Like when the, the light was uh, in front of them, Laura's head didn't match and James just walked through Laura. Um, <laughs> Wide screen hacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Getting to see those corners. Uh, those sides where cutscenes are happening and the models just freeze and they're normally out of view. So what happens if I just walk out of bounds? Like, I know this room isn't loot. I'm just curious if they'll follow me. Uh, oh, and really quickly to answer Damien... Why does the Enhanced Edition mod let you have the chainsaw right away without beating the game? So that's actually not the Enhanced Edition. That's just Silent Hill 2 PC. For whatever reason, it gives you the chainsaw, even if you don't have uh, a previous completed game. It's just something specific to that version. Okay, time to take these things out with a rifle. They look so confused. Oh, oh, one got me. Get off me. Shoot. Shoot. How are you guys taking this much damage from the rifle? Because the rifle sucks. <laughs> you take that back. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> I will not take that back. The rifle's awful in this game. Oh, okay. If the if the end of the rifle's barrel clips into what you're trying to shoot, you can miss point blank. That is amazing. Because <laughs> the barrel's technically going past their hurt box. Just to simulate this part, James. James. <laughs> James. <laughs> Literally the only thing that happened. James Isaac Neutron. <laughs> so that hallway is still there. You, like, I believe it yeah. is. You can still go You're back through the wall and see it. it, right? Yep. It's all bloody and stuff. Um, Let me brighten it up. Didn't yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try to brighten it up a little bit. It's really cool getting to see this in third person. I just realized I can just do this and not have... Wait, what? Why is... Okay, my flashlight's... That's always a great thing to have. When your flashlight's... Your flashlight gets stuck in the own position. Huh. Okay. You're going to run out of healing items soon. <laughs> okay, let's see. If I could reset it and then change it back, that made it a little bit brighter. It's always just dark normally. Made that part way brighter. 
That's so cool. Sure. Even seeing stuff like that, that rain effect. Speaking of the rain effect, what happened to the rain effect? Yeah, it was there. And then it decided to peace out. Yeah, it took it took off. It was just like, well, I've done my... It, it, skip, yeah. it skipped out. ahead to the end of the game. <laughs> it's waiting for us with Mary on the top of the it's roof. Do it's doing its own speed running. I would love to know those strats. <laughs> just to skip from the hospital directly to the end of the game. I'm sure a lot of people would love to know that. Oh, yeah, I'll take a free world record. Sure. I should really just leave collision off at this point. Does that affect like how you interact with other things at all? Um, yes and no. Like it, the interactables are always there. It's just you got to hit them at a very no clipping. Oh, nice! Thank you for looking at that fan. I was going to ask. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of the only ones you see. It's the most Silent Hill 3 fan in Silent Hill 2. Yeah, it really is. It is. Well, it's it's a Silent Hill 1 fan because the big rusty fan thing comes from uh, one of the, the rooms that you can go to in uh, Midwich in Silent Hill 1. Yeah, I think it's like the the front door, the other world front door. The other world or the front, exit yeah. Door. Yeah. Instead of leaving, it's just a big fan. Harry's like, if I look too close, I might get sucked in. It might suck me in. Hmm. Also, I'm just going to space out sporadically and forget what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is totally off topic. But did anybody oh see that like remastered Silent Hill 1 intro that someone put on uh, YouTube or that used like AI to like upscale it? Did anyone see that? Yes. Uh, I saw the textures of Scout. I've seen the video. I'm going to put it in chat. It's a, uh, it's interesting. I mean, it's not perfect. It's like, it's like, I think Punchy said, it's like, it's, you know, it, it's a, it's cool for what it is though. Like it's a PS1 when, game. There's only so much you can do, but yeah, man, it, man, it looks good. When you look at the, the video by comparison to like the original source file, mm, yeah. it, it looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, let me find it. I'll put it in chat. <clears throat> um, also, I just did something pretty ridiculous. Um, even though I'm playing this in a PS2 emulator, I literally just tried to click. I saw the mouse, like the little arrow on my screen uh, for the elevator, and I literally... <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh, wait, this is the PS2 version. I I've done the exact same thing because I get so used to playing the PC versions that anytime I stream a console version and it gets to a point where there's a cursor, it's always faster, like from a speedrun perspective, to move the cursor with your mouse instead of moving it with the analog. So I've done that a lot of times when I'm playing like a console version of this and I'll get, to, I'll get in the elevator and I start moving my mouse. I'm like, why is my cursor not moving? That's the exact thought process I just had. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, did I freeze the game again? And then I realized I was just being an idiot. And I was like, all right, well. I'm glad I'm not alone in that. <laughs> definitely not alone. Okay. Uh, let's. Also, how does Maria get to the other world hospital? I from like a technical standpoint or a story standpoint both <laughs> storyline wise I mean she's a manifestation she could theoretically just kind of pop up anywhere yeah that's the easy explanation I mean it is the explanation it's just an easy one she can literally just pop up anywhere which also is part of what gives that creepy feeling as you're walking around Brookhaven and you go into a room and she's just like already there. Like she's been waiting for you. Yeah. And she looks like, yeah, she looks like she's bored. Let's go see the ghost over here or whatever this is. Yeah. This little storage area.
yeah everyone kept saying like this was like a ghost or something that was making that sound and said that that texture right there was the actual ghost and that was an actual back not a part of the texture and you can clearly see that it's, it's part, part of the wall of the texture. texture it's like <laughs> repeated yeah you can see it over there you can see it behind this wall. that is one very mobile ghost it can be everywhere and nowhere at the same time basement store but hey i mean you never know what what's going to come from that sort of like speculation and and kind of over analyzing things a lot of times it it's not accurate and and it is just a case of people kind of over analyzing stuff that's one thing that i liked uh about those recent interviews with uh tom hewlett and uh, especially jeremy blaustein i liked hearing um the recent uh void burger interview with uh with uh jeremy blaustein because he he talks a lot about the things that people myself included for a long time felt were intentional and it's just circumstance of development you know things yeah. like uh angela and angela's voice sounding older and you know <laughs> saying like oh they cast donna burke because they wanted somebody to have this older voice and jeremy's like no that that wasn't the case at all we we only had so many voice actors and actresses who auditioned and Donna Burke was just the best one. It, it, it wasn't like that much forethought into having this older voice portray this character to show her abuse. That's something that fits very well in the narrative after the fact, but they weren't thinking about that during development, you know? Yeah, but I mean, I, what I like to think of it is a happy. Like, exactly. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things in these these games that are uh, happy accidents, more or less. Things that weren't intended or were done because of uh, various constraints, um, but it it ultimately added so much to the uh, to the game experience. <clears throat> um, if I could do like one thing, if I could just see what I want to know what the original concept were behind the rooms you only see during the intro like the room where um, Laura is kicking Eddie he's sitting on the side of the room uh, yeah. I want to see, yeah like Mary's sick room like the it looks like room. a bedroom and, yeah uh, you see Angela running through the house and everything like that I want to see those original rooms yeah, same. Yep, me too. Because they're definitely they put some work into them based on the intro. It it they're makes me wonder the if there was originally supposed to be more with that. Like if those those cutscenes were were part of something larger that eventually they just trimmed down, and they were like, "Well, we already spent the time making these FMVs. Stick them in the intro." Yeah, but it's just. I figured even if they didn't use them, they would still just leave them somewhere in the game instead of completely wiping them out. Yeah. And they they didn't. They just completely erased them. And that's probably what those like ten to twelve dummy rooms are, um, like the dummy hospitals. And I wonder if it takes more work to delete stuff like that, or if it's like. If you have to go through more of an effort to delete it versus just hiding it, I would, I don't know. I've never developed games and I don't know much about it, but I've always kind of wondered that myself. Well, I mean, the room numbers, it's so strange. Like, there is seriously like 10 to 12 rooms that are not even, and they're all just a duplicate of the dummy hospital. Yeah. And huh. I'm, I'm, by the way, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Dummy Hospital, you spawn inside of the locker on the second floor and you can't interact with anything. There's no enemies. The doors work, but that's the only thing you can really interact with. And there, 
there's 12 there's i think it's 12 there's either it's between 10 and 12 uh dummy hospitals in the code of the game and, and it's between the layout for those dummy hospitals and stuff like the parts that you can see it is just sections of brookhaven right it's the exact same it's just there's no enemies um like you can't leave it acts like you haven't found laura yet um so i mean you can't even really spawn maria like i've tried to spawn maria just to see if i can trigger that cutscene and get the game progressing again yeah and it it doesn't do anything it's funny because again like the closest thing i have to approximate to like any kind of hacks or doing things outside of the normal with the game is just various things that i've come across when speed running and, and messing with like the super busted pc version because you can kind of put this floor of Brookhaven into that dummy state um, by going into the elevator with Maria and uh, during the scene, like the transition of the elevator going from floor to floor, um, normally you're not supposed to be able to move. In the PC version, you can quick save and it gives you control over James again. So like right here, you're you're stuck not moving. But yeah. in PC, if you quick save during that, you can kill Maria in the elevator, but because you're not supposed to be able to move or do anything in the elevator, the game doesn't handle her dying like a game over. Like it doesn't do what it normally would. It just takes you to the floor that you're supposed to be at. Maria will be alive once you exit on the next floor and everything will be like unable to be interacted with. You can't interact with the elevator. You can't open your menu. Uh, you can't open doors, but you can still move around. And Maria is invincible. And then from there, you can get some other crazy stuff to happen. Like if you stand behind Maria, because the nurses and things are still there too, you can stand uh -huh. behind Maria and the nurses will try to attack you through Maria. But Maria is invincible, so she sort of makes their collision not hit you. But this game also has a mechanic for the enemies where if they keep trying to attack you and they're not able to get you like if they're not in range the game will extend their attack range until it's able to get to you which makes the nurses like flip out they'll like yeah. their models will blink forward and backward and all sorts of crazy stuff starts happening oh wow yeah i've never actually seen that happen i'd love to see that happen um i think they just the rooms between the um the hotel and Maria's not Maria <laughs> Mary's sick room I think those were originally just all of the cutscene rooms that you see in the intro but instead of leaving them there they just dummy and they just took that one area of Brookhaven and copy paste copy paste copy paste that way they didn't they could just essentially ride over it and take up the same amount of disk space Right. So instead of it just being flat out deleted or anything like that, it's just it's just that sort of space filler. Yeah. It became the dummy file, which all PS2 games have. Interesting. All right. So now I'm in the basement, basement, basement. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I really don't like this part because of the whole pyramid head chase thing and i'm really curious about what would happen if i didn't go in there with maria like if i despawned maria yeah and I, I ran all the way to the elevator, what would happen like would it just freeze or something so especially on hard mode where like he, she can be killed i don't know if she can be killed on any other difficulty she modes. can it just takes much takes longer a while. yeah so maybe that wouldn't really change anything then. I'm just thinking out loud because I know it's super easy for her to die on on hard mode. Yeah, on hard mode, I think two hits kills her. Yeah, one one hit because her health I think functions the same way as uh, James's health value does, where mm -hmm. you don't die when you go to zero health. You die when you get hit at zero health. Yeah. So the first hit takes her to zero, and the second hit actually kills her. All right. So I do not have Maria. There's Pyramid Head. What's up? Okay. Did he just slide across the floor? Okay. It, uh, it looked like <laughs> it's, he did. It's, it's catching up. 
Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh God, he's like right behind Oh my me. God, yeah, he came right through the wall. Oh yeah. Is that what he just does? Whoa, he's, he's speed sliding. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look yeah. at him go. <laughs> he's sli yeah, he's, oh my God, yeah. Okay. I've, so oh I mean, God, I've I had this. For a second. <laughs> so I've had this glitch happen. Uh, <laughs> I've had this glitch happen this where cool. where Pyramid Head is running very very quickly behind you when you can see him with like the normal camera angle. Um, oh my God! Yeah. Um, oh. Maria's not handling this well. No, she is not. <laughs> I don't think anyone would be. Can you imagine your first playthrough of this game and seeing <laughs> Look Pyramid at her Head do that? Floating. Oh my gosh. Um, what was that though? That wasn't Maria's actual model. It's like just her hair and her hand. Maria. Okay, no longer bittersweet. That, that was, was great. Just, <laughs> that was just weird. But I do love this music right now, and I wish I could turn it up. Oh yeah, it's a good piece. Magdalene, I do believe. Yep, I heard it in Silent Hill Downpour, and I literally just said, "Oh yeah, on the radios in Downpour." Yeah, yeah, yep. they like doing that, didn't they? Yeah, I I always call that out whenever I'm going past a a radio or something Gosh. on Downpour, and I'm like, "Yeah, Downpour reminding me of music from games I would rather be playing." I'm, yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> But they just wanted to pray. They were like, oh, look, hey, look, we're totally fans of the series, guys. We're totally fans. We're going to uh, put music on the radios. Yamaoka um, wouldn't do the score for it, but we can still yeah. put some of his tracks in there. We'll pay him to put some <laughs> of his music in there. We're just going to ignore the texture glitching on the map. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's cool. It's whatever. So, I'm... I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to go all the way back over there and do that because I just don't want to. Um, so a little thing here. I, I don't know if it'll work. I've never tested it on PCSX2, but there's a glitch you can do here with the, the hospital music, uh, playing right now where mm -hmm. after you leave Brookhaven, if you re-enter Brookhaven and then quickly uh, do the quick turn and uh, uh, go back outside, like as soon as you can, you can actually make the hospital music play while you're outside. Of course, we don't have game audio for the yeah. stream, so even if this does work, you're the only one who gets to appreciate it. I've shown it on, on my channel uh, during other playthroughs and stuff plenty of times, though. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> Yeah, you do have to do it like really fast, um, but I, I know it works on PC, on. and I know it works on HD collection. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> who'd have thought? Yep. All right, so it's nighttime out here now, which means it's way too dark. So we need that daylight mod. <laughs> I can't oh, wait yeah. to see this. It's way it's way too dark to go wandering around. Oh, well, that's, that's nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it's mostly seam. daytime. There's a literal seam. <laughs> yeah. But it's still brighter past the seam. <laughs> yeah. That's great. It's an eclipse. And also, there's a lot of stuff out of bounds in this area that you never really see. Oh, yeah. Mm. There's so many areas here that are just, like, fenced off. Where it's like, you can see stuff, but you can't actually go back near it. Yeah. Unless I you're Neko the... Run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unless right. you're Neko Run and you just freeze the game for no apparent reason like I just did. I literally didn't do anything. I just walked and it froze. It just it just didn't like that that camera change 
when you started running around. Well, time to turn on the speed strats and hope Pyramid Head doesn't kill Maria with his superior speed strats. Yeah, we saw them on display. Oh, actually, I think I still have Maria disabled. Okay, I'm just going to keep running, keep running. Nope, she's back. She's way back there. She's not disabled. She's just really, really far behind. Okay, yeah, so and if anybody wants to see the glitch uh, when I was doing a playthrough and uh, Pyramid Head, like, sped up really, really fast, like, runs past Maria, um, look at my, uh, if you look at my channel's videos in the upload section, there's a video titled uh, Sonic Pyramid HD or something. Nice title. Because because I put in like Green Hill Zone music <laughs> as Pyramid Head goes speeding through that hallway. Yeah. Going at least 2,500 fast per hour. <laughs> see. Yep. Got to go to the historical society. I'm, I'm really wondering what broke it. I mean, the camera generally doesn't break things. It's just like random parts of the map just hate when you mess with the camera yeah it seems to be certain certain chunks of the map whenever it's rendering them like loading them in um because i notice like even when you're not hacking these games or or doing anything like that uh if you're if you're running it on like a less than optimal pc or if you're playing the hd collection um there's certain areas that are consistently like laggy and and will give you like stutter or anything like that um, so it's like the Texon station is always one of those spots in both Silent Hill two and three, where the game will lag and the frame rate will dip. Um, or you can just pull out the submachine gun. <laughs> you get that <Yeah>. everywhere. <laughs> and just kill the frame rate wherever you want. Oh yeah. You can go through the, this barrier. Yep. <laughs> How much of the town does this even render if you keep going this way? It just goes straight back over to the gas station. Because again, from from the perspective of like somebody who doesn't know anything about coding games, it's like, why would you even have this stuff pop in if there's two physical barriers to keep you from getting over here but look at that it's all still there yeah the entire there's even enemies at one time yeah there's enemies back there crazy oh whoa that was not what i wanted okay time to just go straight to the uh, historical society from here definitely <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Oh, whoa, wrong one. The sun came up way too fast. <laughs> it always does. Ain't that the truth? Yep. That's so strange. Like, wherever I activate it, it, it seems to become, like, make a steam of where the darkness begins and for some reason when I said darkness like thousands upon thousands of kingdom hearts pop in my head <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking I was like the darkness okay uh, let's keep walking your ad here you're wrong though kingdom hearts is light <laughs> uh it's it's light, but every single time it's going to be open, it's going to destroy the world. So I I'd consider that pretty dark. Um, let's see. Yeah, go to the boat. Go through if the I fence could. to the docks. <laughs> if I could, I would. Unfortunately, that's a completely separate map. Oh, is it? 
Yeah. It, like, if I just walk down there right now, I can show you. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to be walking on the air because I'm so disabled. Yeah, there's nothing past this. Okay. Except the void. The void. And me and the void are not speaking right now. The void. It calls to me. Okay, that got way edgier than I wanted. <laughs> um, it's perfect for Silent Hill 2. <laughs> Um, Damien asks if you can change your player model. I know you've talked a little bit about model swaps and stuff already, and I know it varies a lot from game to game, like what, how much it'll allow you to really do. All right. So with the player model, I'm going to say no right now because, um, it requires both the skeleton and the actual player model to be the same and i mean i can go and change the player model but what would happen is you would get a nightmare abomination of like pyramid head upside down with his pyramid on his arm or something or i literally gave one of my friends a nightmare picture of angela that looked like the grudge and a giraffe mixed so <laughs> it, it was yeah. <laughs> I've seen that. Uh, I've seen something kind of similar with Angela, where uh, Big Man Japan broke the camera for the yeah. the burning staircase sequence. Yep. So yeah, so, so when Angela to goes to the top of the stairs, her model just sort of folds in on itself. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> she's just showing her yoga poses. It's okay. Yeah. So I was gonna say she's just doing extreme yoga, DDP <laughs> <Yeah>. yoga. <laughs> Bang. Oh my god, this hallway is... It, it reminds me of Super Mario 64. So, there's there's no, like, running out of bounds and just dropping all the way to the bottom of this, or... Nope. Just run down it. Because Can you, you pull the camera you... out while you do this and get a, like, a longer look at this hallway? Exactly how long this hallway is? Yeah, give me one second. I can do that. Let's see. Because this First, is a good one to see from like a uh, an outside perspective. Right, let me. Because they very easily could have just been masking like the render distance and everything, just like with everywhere else, so that only the part that you can see is rendered in. But for this whole thing, like you, if you pull it out far enough, I think you can see the whole hallway all at once. I believe so. I just have to disable the camera again. And since my actual PNATCH file decided to go on break, I've got to do it all manually. So give me one second. Okay, good. It's not going to fight me. Okay, flow pan out. Yeah. Now that's a Maybe. hallway. <laughs> Rev up your Mario 64 soundtrack. See, it gives you a much better idea of just how like steep of a of a incline it is and exactly and how far it's going. <laughs> It's still going. It's so good. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going. It's still can't see the top. Oh, there it is. You can see the bottom at least. Still going. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is a very... Eventually, there will be a, a room up there. <laughs> I 
as said, they could have done so much other like trickery to make it seem like you're <laughs> running farther than you actually are and just reloading the hallway in front of you or whatever. But no, it's just no. all there. <laughs> That's it. Yep. It's still going, guys. It's still going. It's like over a minute of just. Ah, there went James. Yeah. There goes his light. Out. Okay. So, just for the sake of everyone's sanity, I'm going to speak. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> okay. There we go. I wasn't actually that far from the end of it with just a slow scroll. But that's still. <laughs> it's so ridiculous how far that's... that is. <laughs> yeah. That's the real deal. And it's all one long peak, too. Imagine falling down those stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I warned you about those stairs, bro. I'm pretty sure whatever was left of him at the end of the staircase would just look like maybe a strawberry milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. That was not a very good image to have him. On. I and mean, I... <laughs> it's it, you, sometimes you have to be extreme. Yeah, but with ideas like that, I should work for NetherRealm. Or Arby's. <laughs> or, or Arby's. Arby's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nether Realm's got better benefits. I'm gonna have to go. With I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> I mean, MK11 is about to be a thing, so. Cannot wait for that game. It's gonna be a good time. I, I like that you took the time to pick up the first aid. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't <You> judge gotta. <laughs> me. <laughs> no, I completely, I completely understand. It's just that instinct of like, there's a thing. I gotta get it. Oh, it doesn't man. matter that I have sixty-two thousand five hundred twenty-five <laughs> others. I needed five hundred and thirty-four tickets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Of course, it brightens everything up except for the pictures. Why wouldn't it? All right. Yeah, um, why not? Okay, let's slow this down. You can do this this exact same thing by just ripping the textures, but I just want to show it like in game. Yeah, get a get a closer look at uh, some of these these pictures and textures and things. Still too fast. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this section of the game that I would I would love to see up close, uh, inside each of the prison cells and yeah. Oh, someone okay. Someone in um, chat just asked if we could see the ritual cell. Oh yeah, there's there's I want to see that cell. I want to see the one with all the drawings, um, the the Burning <clears throat> Man drawing and all that stuff on the walls. I'm I'm sorry, but James's head is. <laughs> it's head uh, is... it's okay. We're I just mean, we're just a little bit inside James's mind. Yeah, he's you could say he's not all there. Oh wow! <laughs> when you can see like the rest of his face and just the teeth poking through, oh, oh. that's really creepy. <laughs> oh man, look at that! That I said, it's I've seen like the texture rips and things of these these pictures, but it's really great seeing exactly how close and the quality they that, still are when you get up. Yeah. That one right there. I, I, I noticed it when I was doing enhanced edition and you can't really see it in any other version, but the, the default quality of it is so good. You can see it on that one. It's all those line figures basically skewered. Yeah. And you don't, you can't really out see of, it all that well. Out, out of all of these, I've got one question. That I mean, I know that is the actual in-game model of the outside of the prison, and that's easy to tell because it actually cuts off right there at the edge. Yeah. Um. Why is there a skybox? So how do I toggle that? <laughs> right. <laughs> they they just added it in for the sake of this this <laughs> shot. Maybe it's just another JPEG just for this texture. 
But that would be great if you could just have an active skybox like that. There's our there's our beautiful day Silent Hill 2 mod. <laughs> <laughs> Special place, yeah. If I if I ever find it, I will make <laughs> That would be so good. Man, that's so cool. All right, so... And yes, we will look into the rituals. Cool, yeah. I'm not sure if she says showed these on Boundary Break, like the actual holes. <laughs> I'm not sure if he did. I can't remember. It's been a while since I watched that episode. Um, let's see. Blad asks if we can use 536 healing drinks to see if it rolls over to nine uh, 999. I believe it just won't let you do anything. Like, after a certain amount, it just doesn't do it anything. It just stops, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. 3 hours later. <laughs> no, nah, but seriously. Let's go down here. All right. So there we go. The hole is long and dark, except it's not. <laughs> yeah. But it's pretty much the only hole that actually leads into a... <laughs> I love that. James just gets laid out at the bottom of the well. Yeah, you come back and he's just Bleh. yeah i i love the the transitions nice after each of the whole jumps because sometimes uh, james is, is like i don't know it varies from uh from from jump to jump sometimes he does a superhero landing and then other, i don't falls on his face yeah he just falls flat on his face why doesn't like this break all of his bones, though? Because he has 535 healing items. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's just a one healing item. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he is practically immortal at this point. Yeah. He's just <laughs> chugging health drinks on his way down. Basically immortal. I kind of want to see, like, an old Newgrounds Flash animation of James just downing health drinks all the way. <laughs> yeah. That would be beautiful. <laughs> Oh god. Nope. Nope. This way. Uh, should I do the roach room or not? I do have all the item. And the roach room is just annoying. I think you gotta do it. I mm. think you need to go in there. But I, I mean it might kill me. There, there's it, it drains your health and I don't have any health Damn. item. <laughs> oh yeah? Okay. Fine. Well, we'll do the roach room. <laughs> I mean it's so well, you could. It's up to you, hacker. You've you've already spawned the key, and I mean, if this was me, I would I would it, just well, do the the PC glitch of skipping this, so, which you can do on on so console now as well. Legit the, though, like, w would there be anything to show in here? Like, is thing interesting about this room, or is it just meh? It's literally just the same thing, except um, the most of the roaches are just a giant kind of texture thing hmm. and it yeah they're just like layered over each other yeah you can you can see how they're layered if you uh if you pick up the key and uh replace the bulb in your flashlight so that the the bug room transition happens um if you hyper spray the walls uh you can see because it's hitting everything so rapidly it's just a huge, like, string of bug textures layered on top of each other that mm. comes out all at once. Hmm. My flashlight went out, but somehow it seems brighter. <laughs> so
So oh god, where's the bulb? So do you now have two spiral writing keys? Um, I should, but does, I doubt does it the game actually it. track it that way? I doubt it. Um, with key items, I okay, actually... yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, and I, what was I doing? I can't remember out of uh the bulb, oh, the battery, battery, or the battery. Yeah, <laughs> I was actually looking for the bulb. Sorry, my I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm I'm ready for those tasty fresh canned light bulbs. I know. We're all ready. The aluminum can bulbs. Uh, so it spawns a bunch of model and it just shifts them around on an invisible. Oh, yeah. You can just see him shaking around on the texture. Never wanted to see the underside of a cockroach, and I still don't. So why is it making me look at it? And as said, if you uh, if you hyper spray the walls, it'll make like oh. a big train of them come out. Oh, I gotta try that in a second. Let me grab the hyper spray. Also, I'm going with eight seven three. Eight seven three. Okay. Uh, I think that if the if the ones on the floor would stop running into me, that would be brilliant. I literally can't take a step without one of them hitting me. Yep, that's this room. Yep, it's quite annoying. Oh, that is that is weird and creepy, and it made him look like a giant millipede, which made yeah. it even creepier. Exactly. It looks, it's like a big train of them. Okay, how do I, how do I do the puzzle? It won't let me do the puzzle. You just have to keep trying and hope you're not stomping something. You have yeah, to be like yeah. perfectly lined up with that keypad. So we have three, seven, eight. So what did I say? 873? 873. 873? Oh, come on. <laughs> I, I clicked 378. 873. Yep, that was it. Wow. Hey. So this puzzle's not as random as it seems. Uh, you can actually see, like, all... There's, there's a set number of possible... Um, combinations of which numbers are lit up and if you get the same pattern it's always the same solution so if you ever get 378 as your lit up ones it's always going to be 873 um, so technically you can memorize all those patterns and always get that puzzle first try but it's like 30 or 40 variations so it's kind of hard to remember them all. And for the sake of speedrunning on PC, you glitch to skip this room anyway. You duplicate the, uh, the spiral writing this... key. Also, this is awesome. I just want to see what this looks like. If yeah, it this is wild. Way. Yeah, it just like keeps going there. Much more than I thought it would. Yeah. Oh, it's oh so weird because now oh it's God. like the proper perspective. Oh, man. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> there we go. This is the hallway as it should look. Oh, that's so cool. It it's looks like a shot from like Silent Hill 4's intro. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, without a doubt. It was actually creeping me out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, Silent Hill 4. It gets to me. So <laughs> It gets to everybody. Once in a while, at least. Finally, Hill 4 is the game that it gets to me psychologically. I'll be thinking about it after I'm done playing it. Dude, like, it's like I've always said, like, of the original four games, it's not the best game, but Silent Hill 4, to me, is the one that just, it's just, it just messed, just messes with you the most, at least with me. Like, it's the one, especially in the second half, when Walter starts chasing you around and you don't really... Yeah. And you don't know where he is or where he's coming from. Like, it just adds a whole nother layer of terror to it. Like, 
when you find him in the back room and, and and he's like on that little crucifix or whatever i always thought he would do what lisa does in pt i think that's why pt terrifies me so much because i always expected walter to do that so uh i thought he was gonna jump off that thing and be like boogie woogie boogie woogie <laughs> but he never did but there's lisa and pt doing it so there you go what if he actually jumped off of it and went boogie woogie boogie I, it'd still be terrifying <laughs> He could have done whatever. He could have read the phone book and it would have freaked me out. I probably would have thrown the controller across the room. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is the most terrifying haunting to you in Silent Hill 4? Uh, the uh, the babies in the wall, followed closely by uh, Henry and the people. Henry but and the, the people is what I was going to say. The babies in the wall are... Uh, when I first saw that, I was, I was like, oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy, what have I done? And uh, then the and then the Henry and the peephole is right behind it. Yeah, that one is so creepy because he's just sitting there like flapping his mouth and his he's got that bloodied like face texture and everything. And uh, he can't tell if and his he's eyes just like getting... sort of <laughs> wiggling back and forth a little bit. And he can't tell if his eyes is if his eyes are gouged out or not. It's, like it's it it is well. super creepy. One one of them that like got me specifically was uh, Baby Walter in the closet. Yeah, Walter. Yeah. In the closet, yeah. Cause I never knew about that one before actually experiencing it. And I just like turned to the left after waking up and it was just, he was right oh, in the God. closet. I'm like, you're just like, Oh <laughs> fuck, you're right there. Yeah. I've, um, that, that particular haunting has also pissed off a lot of people because I know a lot of people who have been like at points in Silent Hill four where it's after the hospital when the hauntings are, are showing up and they've they've taken a lot of damage they've run out of healing items so they need to come back to their room to get a healing item out of the box they go through a hole they wake up and the shadow haunting in the closet immediately kills them oh that would piss me off too um i've got to say the one that creeped me out the most would have to be the freaking painting that appears in your room of dead walter because it replaces the picture of the church and I did not know it was actually a jump scare to me because uh, it was me and my um, well my now ex uh, she's the one that got me into Silent Hill in the first place we were playing through Silent Hill 4 it was our first Silent Hill game mm -hmm. and she she got to that point and I knew there's a painting there the church and I just turned and it was right in my face and I literally really just had to say, nope done <laughs> Yeah. I was, I was, I was not having any more of it. That day. But she wasn't much better. She threw the controller at me every time a twin victim was <laughs> in the vicinity at all. So, oh yeah, twin victims are That's still I know the water prison. So, oh. like overall, <laughs> I feel like Silent Hill 4's monster design is one of the weakest out of the out of the first games. Oh yeah, without but, a doubt. Yeah. But at the same time, it has the but, twin victim, which is one of that the one. best. Yeah. It's so weird. Like the rest of the the rest of the creature designs in in 4 kind of not so great. I feel like, you know, ghosts could have been a little bit better. I wish more of the ghosts were themed the way like Jasper and Braintree are. Um where they have like the fire or the uh, his uh, Richard's like twitchy electricity stuff. I wish all the other ghosts had more unique things like that. That I think would have helped that out a bit. But then yeah, there's like the the burping patients and the bugs and the leeches, and it's like eh, it's not so great. <laughs> but then you have the twin victims and the bottoms, and they are so freaky. The nurses just make me laugh. <laughs> it's the it's the the very still, pointing, animation yeah. that the twin victims do. That's like, <laughs> it's just standing there pointing at you, calling receiver. you receiver, receiver. <laughs> so good. Also, we're in the uh, cells now. Oh yeah, um, and for some reason the camera was just like, no, you are not. Yeah. So, for some reason, the camera's address changed again. It's also weird to say that I'm killing a kid. I'm going to take it out back and shoot it. 
Okay, it works that way, so... Alright, it magically works! I you love when things magically work. It's the greatest. Like, yay, my code works. Why? <laughs> no, my code doesn't work. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, um... I feel like I should brighten it up in here because three different kinds of dark. Daytime. Time to turn on some lights. Okay. Lights have officially been turned on. I feel like I can speed it up a little bit. Looking at the pictures. I'm not exactly looking at pictures anymore. So. <laughs> the way the light like anytime you change the lighting effect and it even reflects like because it's making everything brighter even the hanging down like fixtures light up it really looks like you're just turning on <laughs> lights oh okay um just flipping the switch all right so let's go easy i guess yeah, there's there's a bunch of detail stuff in a lot of these cells to uh, to kind of look at. Mirrored textures. Hmm. Is the ritual monster is it in this one or is it? Oh, uh -huh. okay. Lion figure randomly. Thought it was there. Yep, you got the lying figures hanging out in some of the cells. I'm sorry, but that walking cycle just goofy as hell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it's like slightly feminine, but at the same time not. So... Um, yeah. I, that's actually one that um, Ito has commented on when he was coming up with the... Uh, the look and the way that the lying figures walked apparently was uh, another member of the dev team who was wearing a hoodie and had their hands in the front pockets of the hoodie and was sort of walking in with like kind of a kind of a strut. And that's what inspired Ito on like the movement and the look of uh, the lying figures. That's really interesting. Um, is this Walter cell? Um, because it really looks like Walter cell. Well, it's probably oh, not Walter is... cell because this is the prison from the 1800s. Like the the town's manifesting this particular iteration of the prison from the past, oh, uh, much further past than Walter being imprisoned. I've um, never seen this. So here's That's the thing, close. though. You can see all these early cult symbols, the the four circles looking like maybe an earlier iteration of the Halo of the Sun. Um, and on the opposite wall was like uh, uh, Metatron, Seal of Metatron. Uh -huh. um, so again, I think the use of all of this stuff in the prison is to show that there was the cult influence like that far back you go back into the 1800s and the cult was still there P they were putting cult members in the prison in fact and again you get things like the uh the statues um the persecution of jennifer carroll in the park showing that there were you know there was this clash of ideals of the people living in the town because there were normal people living here that followed more uh acceptable <laughs> common religions and yeah. and then the cult side of the town like not everybody in silent hill was a cultist and i said these kind of details sh showing like the prison from that time period and still having cult artifacts around uh just shows how deeply rooted like how long the cult has been here having an influence on the town oh wow that was extremely detailed <laughs> Oh, I mean, thank you for that. Hey, I mean, overthinking <laughs> it is what I'm here for. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's I'm so cool. glad you're here for that. because I... That's that's when we need Jeremy to show up and be like, none of that's right. 
Yeah. You're thinking way too hard about it. We just wanted to put some weird stuff on the walls. <laughs> well, what I what I want is like uh, the gaming music, the cover, oh, particularly. She's got a big book of symbols and everything, and I would just love for her to be actually. Was talking about like all the various real world symbols that they mixed in with it. Yeah. And she's got great content. I, I mean, I sound like a broken speaker trying to advertise for her. No, no, no. Like that's, that's the thing is like, there's, I have nothing against shouting out and advertising and, and showing respect for a lot of the people in the Silent Hill community who, who discover these things. Cause like, yeah, I myself have been spending years and years doing a lot of research on these things myself, but a lot of that research that I was able to do and the only reason I'm able to know as much about it as I do is because of discussion with other fans and like people who've also been thinking about this stuff. Like I've basically been a, a Silent Hill forum, you know, poster and lurker for years and years and years, like 2006 or so onward. You said forums, and that just brought to mind something where, um, like, someone said, like, I had too many names. Like, I went by too many names. Yeah. And I had a completely different name for the forum. Uh, I went by Pure Black Aura. Okay. Silent Hill forums. So, if it's you always see great to me to see that there's so many people that were active in the forums, like, way back in the day that are still very active in the Silent Hill community because you do have people like uh, Whitney and um, CJ uh, and uh, one of our locals, uh, Jason Yoshio-kun. One of our regulars here. Yep. In, among all of our communities. Yeah. I just went by a ton of different names and People were like, wait, that was you? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember a roller fan. He he didn't know it was me. Oh, this reminds me of a guy that, uh, pure black aura. It reminded me of something that he did. I was like, <laughs> yeah, and you're like, surprise. <laughs> uh. I haven't talked to him in years, though. He was a great guy. I've had the same name on everything for like almost 20 <laughs> years, so this is the way it is. Well, first I was Rock Ripper 54. That account got banned on. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. It got. I, I literally hacked uh, a beta on Xbox 360 and got banned for it. So, um. What, that, uh, what, what game? What beta? Uh, Gears of War 3. Ah. I hacked my way into the beta, which pissed off Microsoft. And then I hacked the beta itself and saw maps that weren't released yet. And they just said, okay, well, bye. And well, handed me the pink slip on the way out. I can understand that reaction. And I mean, that was, to be fair, I mean, it's a Microsoft game. So they, uh, they probably were like, okay, well, you're <laughs> off the service now. Well, recently I've just pissed off Capcom, so. Uh oh, what'd you do this time? Um, hacked the Resident Evil 2 demo on the PC. Mmm. They didn't like it. They gave me two copyright strikes on my YouTube channel, and I made a joke about it on Twitter the other day. Yeah, it's 17 days until Devil May Cry 5 comes out, and 17.5 days until a Devil May Cry. Five free cam and it's 18 <laughs> days until Capcom destroys my channel. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty much the way I look at it because they didn't give me a reason or anything. Just completely. Oh, no, they don't have to. The way YouTube is set up, no, they don't have to give they you a reason. They don't have to. It, it they is can totally just do slanted it. towards them. They, they don't can have just to do give it. A and even if you're completely within your rights of like what you've used for the video and stuff. Yeah. It's so rare that they will go back on those strikes. So, they almost talk never reverse this. them if it's like Konami or Capcom. Let's talk about this. This morning, I woke up and found out I got an email from YouTube. It said a copyright claim was created for content in your video. Uh, this game rules Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection. This is a video uploaded. Um, 
mm, almost seven years ago, and it was claimed for visual content by somebody named Base79EN2. And the copyrighted content that they uh, uh, claimed as visual content was, quote, my problem with Xbox Live slash messages friends list. So because I pulled up the Xbox 360, uh, uh, the dashboard thing or like whatever, when you hit the guide button, when you yeah. pull up the friends list, apparently that matched another video called My Problem with Xbox Live Slash Messages. <laughs> and whoever owned that video was able to successfully claim a content ID uh, claim on my video. Yeah, that sounds like YouTube. So now that entity is getting ad revenue off that video. Mm. I did file a dispute on that, by the way. Ooh. For the creators. Um, so, oh, yeah. So they I don't have really to They don't have to give you a reason. Yeah. It sucks, I'm too, because of the way that the, the strikes and stuff are handled now. Um, I, like, I've been getting a lot of requests from viewers and stuff to, like, put more stuff on YouTube. There's a lot of people who really prefer watching, you know, stuff on YouTube rather than just uh, a Twitch VOD or whatever. And uh, I really try to put more stuff on YouTube, but YouTube will not let me because almost everything that I try to upload that's Silent Hill related whatsoever, unless it's a speed run where I'm completely skipping like everything. Uh, and even then, some stuff will still <sighs> still trigger it. Hi, not only do I get a strike from Konami, it usually gets blocked in almost every country. Yeah. <clears throat> How do you all get a strike from Konami, though? All of my uh, downpour I have, videos... I could show you, like, <laughs> my whole... my whole uh, uh, YouTube, like, dashboard and everything to show you all of my videos. I think probably 75% of the videos on my YouTube channel are uh, copyright strict against, you know, by Konami. Like, I cannot monetize them whatsoever. Oh, wow. Um, I'm just going to knock on wood over here. As I say. Um, but I've never actually been hit by Konami. And I've got a ton of Silent Hill content on my channel. Now, just to make things clear, what, I, what I'm talking about and what Nub is talking about are not copyright strikes. They're copyright claims, which means... Um, they're not strikes, but that means that any ads that play on those videos, the revenue goes to Konami. So, yeah, that's what it is. Just to yeah. make that clear. But I know what you're talking that. about, Neko. <laughs> I know what you're talking about is an actual strike. So I just wanted to make that clear, though. Oh, no, no. What I, what I was talking about is actually Konami has never actually taken any ad revenue at all. Any of mine. I've gotten one... Um, one of those, I forgot what the actual term is, where they take the monetization away and give it to someone. But um, that, that, that's what it is, a copyright claim. Yeah, it wasn't even from Konami, though. It was literally someone took the theme of Laura from Silent Hill 2, mixed it into a remix, and then claimed it as their own. Yeah, that's what this person did. This person uploaded a video of the Xbox 360 guide and then, uh, for some reason, they were able to claim my video. That system is so fucked up. I completely agree. Um, <sighs> That's why I'm on Twitch now. Well, I don't care about YouTube anymore. I'm trying to find the original monster, and I'm pretty sure... I thought these cells above had flu. I'm not going to lie. But yes, welcome everybody coming over from uh, Biddy's stream. Thank you for the raid, Biddy. Yes, and hello here. everybody. I'm sorry I'm not saying hi to all, however many, I'm sure it's at least over a hundred. Uh, everybody who's here. I'm sorry I'm not saying hi to everyone individually. <laughs> uh, and yeah, also mm -hmm. alerts and stuff are off for these streams because it gets a little bit hectic when there's like five or six of us talking plus yeah, alerts going off left and right and trying to like say hi to everybody. So I see you. Hello. I love you. Thank you for being here. Go follow Neko. <laughs> so yeah, while, while we were, while we were uh, complaining about YouTube, <laughs> we, we were seeing uh, 
some very interesting textures in these cells. Yeah. <clears throat> and I saw a lot of religious imagery in yes. there. That's what I was about to say. I was like, I've never even noticed all. Yeah. Yeah. There's those, uh, the, the, oh, what is it called? There's a term for it for like the series of pictures of, of Jesus being crucified. I, There's like an actual I, term for what that a, is called I, in churches. As a man from Georgia, I should know that, and I don't. <laughs> oh, the stations, stations of, the, of cross. the cross. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I should know that from South Park because that's an episode. <laughs> I did the stations of the cross. I should know that from that. There's no toilet in that stall. Oh, that's... oh there's not. <laughs> there's no toilet. There's a. One second. I've got to actually turn on no clip and brighten it. Well, I mean. It's a it's a Silent Hill oh, bathroom. Wow. It's a Silent Hill bathroom. I would I would say that's not too out of place. Someone so just... why? But why is there a uh, okay? Or can you see it on the normal camera? That tank up top. Yeah. Um. One second. Maybe just barely. I actually I can't even move the camera because I have it disabled right. I'm um, just trying to imagine just opening up a bathroom stall and there's just nothing there. Nothing in it. It's like well. Uh, yeah, that's exactly my. Okay, it just turned right back around. Because there is like no toilet in this stall, and it's the same stall that is the one that cues the screamer, I believe. The. Well, not screamer, it's the same type of thing. Yeah, yeah. The, just the little yell. The little, the little jump scare. As much of a jump scare as Silent Hill tends to do. It's like a yell and and something falling at the same time. Oh, blah, blah. the uh, both bathrooms are on the same map. Yeah, I noticed that when you first came into the room. I was like, oh, you can see the other bathroom through the wall. <laughs> Guess I'll piss on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's well. that's the good old prison toilet. Yeah. Whenever we uh, whenever I'm playing the PC version, a lot of times I'll show off a glitch where uh, the last hallway um, when before the final boss fight, where Mary is saying all of her very sad things to James coming and visiting, um, Just if you this. quick save as you're trans like transitioning into that room, you're not supposed to save in there. But if you quick save right before you go through, it makes a save in there, and it breaks everything. Someone shit in that urinal, by the way. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, every, I was just waiting for you to finish. I was like, every time, <laughs> every time I see this, like even on the normal camera, like especially when I saw Enhanced Edition, I was like, somebody took a dump in this urinal. Like it is quite obvious. I took it's, a dump uh, in all of them. It's like that South Park episode all over again. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. It always comes back to South Park. These uh, pipes look really weird too. So <laughs> the textures just really stretched out. But yeah, that that last hallway with Mary speaking if you if you quick save in the room before it right before you go through that the 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 doors to the hallway itself it breaks the subtitles and it pulls the subtitles from the wrong directory uh for like text and instead it starts displaying a lot of other things mainly like prison toilet and catacomb <laughs> it eventually starts running through like saving PlayStation 2 memory card save corrupted like it pulls a lot of weird text and replaces the subtitles with it yep that sounds about right <laughs> oh come on I, I was like where is the activation for this um and if there's anything you guys like would like to see just let me know and i'll be happy to Go take a look at it yeah and likewise if anybody in the chat has something you want to take a look at or if you have any questions let us know as well hey it's the mask room where you never see the mask yeah yeah thank you for showing this because this is one that's pretty interesting something that you don't get to see without these bro these broken camera angles these masks Looks almost like twin victim faces. Oh my god. Yeah, I've never really seen those. Wow. Yeah, I said if you don't 
cam hack, like you don't see any of this stuff on this wall. And you especially don't get to see that green texture. <laughs> what is that texture at the end of that broken rifle? Oh, that's so weird seeing that texture up close like that. Huh. It looks like someone just like sprinkled Christmas confetti all over it. Yeah. It's decorated for Christmas. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a blood stain under that um, under that health pack or that first aid. And I, I'm just going to be uh, completely real here for a second. The first time I, well, actually it was not the first time I played through it. It was like the 15th time I played through it. I actually paid attention to this room and read the articles in this room about the drownings in the lake and everything. Yeah, the little baroness. And yeah, it, it skeeved me right out. I'm not going to lie. Uh, because I've <laughs> always had a fear of like deep, dark water kind of thing. And just think it said all the bodies that lie at the... Okay, done. Yeah. Okay, you got your job. <laughs> Yeah, it and and that's also where they uh, they branch off the the story, similar to how they take the Walter Sullivan notes in this game and use that to as the basis for writing like Silent Hill Four. The arcade game is doing the same thing with that little Baroness note that you read on the desk because it's like there's a chunk of pages missing and it's like. During this time, something even weirder happened. And then there's a bunch of pages miss missing. That it doesn't tell you what that weird thing is that happened. Well, that's what the arcade game is, supposedly. I've never gotten to play the arcade game. I try to, like, there's a way to get it set up on the PC. Yep. I, tr I tried to the other night, and I just couldn't get it to work because it brings up, like, an empty ROM. It's, it's very finicky from computer to computer, like... It's and very, very touchy fans. trying to get the uh, trying to get the PC port, the fan made PC port of uh, of the arcade game to work. I've gotten it to work on my computer, so I don't know. The only weird thing I have for my computer is I run Windows Seven. Yeah, I'm on Windows Ten right now, so that probably has something to do with it. And I Good look I at looked the... through all the. Um, I'm pretty sure all of that is English just written backward because that's what it looks like so yeah just... where they, they probably just took the image with the text and everything as part of it and just uh, mirrored it yeah yeah you can see like maximum right there yeah it's just mirrored Yeah, inmates, uh, maximum capacity. I'm just going to get a good view of it. That way, like, later... Employees. Later, it can just be, like, screenshot this and throw it in paint or something in the mirror. Yeah, that's cool. Because, I mean, it's like a list of names and stuff, I think, too. It's like that uh, texture in the in the little gas station that's reversed too. So they seem to have a thing for reversing things. I think it's just, I think it's just their lore Ipsum or whatever. Uh, what Valkyrie asks, could we ever do this with Silent Hill Three? Absolutely. Uh, for today's stream, we're just kind of focusing on. Silent Hill 2 and kind of discussing game hacking and and stuff in a little more general context. But uh, if Neko's willing to come back, I'd absolutely be willing to go through any of the other Silent Hill games that you're willing to hack through. Time and place. Time and place. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I love doing this and to be 
quite honest, like I do this alone 90% of the time and show it off on YouTube and uh, but doing this for a live audience, I've always wanted to do it, so this is kind of like a dream come true, I guess. Oh goodness. So I, I'd be happy to do it again. Uh Factory Davy reversed that image and put it in chat. Um that's interesting. I wish I could see it. <laughs> U, U, U.S. Penitentiary, Alcatraz, California. Oh, wow. Did uh -oh. Someone, just, someone just come yeah. in or go out? Someone just came in. Who dat? Uh-oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 who dat? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Better late than ever, I guess. What's up, guys? It's up, Ravenheart. Dude? How are you doing, man? I'm doing all right. Sorry for being so late. Nah, you're I'm good. We we here. thought it might just be uh, your internet <laughs> giving you giving you shit again. Because I know time. you're back in you're back in internet jail. Yeah, I am in internet jail, and I I, I say I I see fittingly what we're in the prison, right? Yeah. yeah how about that? Third <laughs> damn time I forgot about the flashlight. Again? Oh boy. You know. I <laughs> I don't blame you because of your you're boosting the the lighting and everything in the areas. It's hard to even realize that it's not on. Wow. I was sitting here I was like trying to combine them over and <laughs> I mean this is kind of a specific hitbox for where you can use these items. So, I would probably not figure it out immediately either. This is another part where I've done this with my flashlight off and I'm like, why is this not working? Yeah. Also, I want to do this uh, elevator section here in a second. I want to zoom out, show like the elevator's movement once I get to it. They have oh, hands. that looks super weird, like seeing the other side of the wall. Oh, yeah. can Is there full corpses in these? Or is it just feet? Yeah. It's just feet. It's just feet. <laughs> That's it's great. Just feet. <laughs> it's legs. Remember, just cats, just feet. Just feet. Just, feet. just legs. Who's that? Who's that Twitch partner that that, that just has the the foot emote? Isn't that is that J Rock? That, wait, <laughs> no, no, is it is it is it purple? I think it's purple. Not sure. Okay, turn the flashlight off. Completely forget about the flashlight again. Enigma has the leg, the leg emote. Yeah, I've got full leg, so. Dang. Bust out your enigma legs. Oh my god. <laughs> that, goes, that goes down pretty far. I love these rainbow textures, though. That's just legs as oh, well. Oh yeah. The confetti table. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? The fruity pebbles table. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's not talk about fruity pebbles. I've not had to. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did we strike a nerve? You should have a giant bowl of Fruity Pebbles after this with some legs okay. on top. Okay, fine. It's just... Okay, fine. It's just a hospital stretcher sponsored by Corsair and their new RGB <laughs> hospital. There you go. That's better. <laughs> oh. That would be great. <laughs> Barney, <Are> my pebbles! <laughs> <laughs> nice tattoo. <laughs> What friend? The hospital manager. This is just like a really dark, <laughs> really dark conclusion to a to a Fruity Pebbles commercial. That's <laughs> great. That Remember when Fred just murdered about. Barney and left him in the <laughs> <laughs> in a room full of legs? <laughs> oh God! Oh, Fred, I, I did like not expect it. I did not expect to see how much color in that. Uh, hey, look, there's two doors. I love it. Yeah. Hold on, I wanna, I wanna actually go down and see how deep the hole is because this is what my life has become. <laughs> hey, I mean Friday, that's like what we're here Friday. for. Yeah, this is our Friday night. That's where we get down. 
If, if there's no other reason to hack a Silent Hill game, it's to get a nice up-close look at some holes. Am I right? And some oh, legs. Oh, yeah. That works in two ways with Silent Hill 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on a second. Didn't we say we were going to zoom in on Pyramid Head's butt? I mean, we'll still have opportunities. There's still plenty of opportunities. We might even get, like, a dual Pyramid Head butt. That goes down Dueling so butts. far. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does go down really far. Yeah, you didn't see the uh, the foghorn hallway and how long that was. It was definitely a long boy. That here. was. He, he <laughs> zoomed the camera all the way out, and it's just a humongous it's just one hallway, giant hallway. It's great. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> if only James could backwards long jump. Oh my god. James, how did he hold on to the can? <laughs> he just holds on to the can and just free falls. Is there no way to like make it to where you have a free camera during that little animation where he's jumping in? Oh yeah, I could I could do that, but the camera would literally just freak out and not know what to do. Oh, okay. Cause I want to see what like happens to James body when he goes into the loading sequence where they're like, he like flattens out or something or freezes. Oh, that's deep cool. Post. You can see the, the shaft for the elevator before it starts moving. Actually, let me speed this up cause I'm still in painting mode over here. Uh, that hyper spray is a little off center. I guess that's fine. Why is the hyperspray up there? <laughs> I guess it's not the only thing that could piece it out. I mean, it could have joined the plank outside of Pete's Bolorama. This is all one piece, too. Yeah, mm. this is all in there in real time. Damn. It's not just you rendering know, it as you go or a f like a lot of games, they'll just do like a fake elevator <coughs> sort of where it's just a moving texture and you're in a stationary yeah, room. Kind of like in Silent Hill 3 with the with the subway. It's actually just like the same thing, like over and over. So with this, I guess, depending on how far you move out, you can see, is it moving the room like the elevator down through this? Yeah. Like, it's yeah, actually they're... functioning like an elevator. It's not moving the room around it up. No, as far as I know, it actually moves the elevator. That's so crazy. It's like, can you, can, you pan, can you pan upward so we can see the kind of like toward the top? Oh, yeah. Give me one second. I can just. Oh God. Okay. I, well, that was why I had it like that. I what now know why I, <laughs> you'll see it in a second. Camera just started rotating oh. crazily. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. Wow. Woo. That's so cool. Damn. That's badass. Look at that. Look how far that is, too. That's awesome. That is so cool. At least you don't see video games made like this. This is what it feels like to fall through this elevator <laughs> shaft. I mean, after James completely tanked the other holes, I don't see why he would need to take an elevator. Yeah, just clip through the floor, fall through the whole elevator shaft. You'll be fine. No fall damage. Yep, no fall damage in this game. There's fall damage in three. Is there? Yeah, and there's one whole place in the entire game where you can fall and take damage. 
after you're in the mall, when you climb up the uh, the ladder that you pull down with the hanger, you can just fall into the hole next to where the ladder is instead of climbing back down, and it does take away your health. But there that's is fall a damage. Room transition. That's strange. Yep. There's no like fall animation or anything. It's just like, hey, stupid! You went down this. You went down it, this instead of climbing, so you take damage. Yeah, but that's a that's a room transition. And I love it gets wider. Um, that that's just confusing to me. If it's a room transition, then how would it work? Like, would it just literally? It would detect if you went down by the ladder or if you fell, and if you fell, it would trigger the damage. I guess so. Okay, now it's got my it's got my hacker brain working. Yeah, you have something to look at when we revisit this with three. Yep. And this room is is great when you uh, look at it through a uh, a different camera perspective. I don't think I can do anything in it right now, though. Uh, you should be able to just interact with the the statue and start rotating. Oh, it didn't do it for me. I tried a second ago, and I was like, wait, why isn't it doing anything? I was like, oh, <laughs> triggered something. Okay, so let's... And yeah, the whole room itself actually, like, switches to match the rotation. Like, while you're rotating this, that room, instead of just loading, like, a different room... Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Look wow. how far away James is from the actual thing, too, when he interacts with it. Yeah, he's not even near it. I believe I hit it like three times. I'm just showing the animation. <laughs> oh, God. That's Come so on, cool to see from like this perspective. Oh, okay. Well, there's a wall. So I did not do it right. <clears throat> okay. But this is a hacked playthrough, so. Uh, yep. Yeah, if you just clip through the walls, is the staircase just always there? Can you just clip through the back wall and straight down? Just say, screw this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Game genie it. Let's go. I oh. do no clip. There's still a wall there. What? Oh, hold on a sec. So, that's a solution, I guess? Um, but hmm. it's not the actually... Still there, huh? Because you're not supposed to be in there. Yeah, oh, moving the, it. Yeah. The, huh. the trigger still works. The trigger still works, okay. No, that's good. That's good, at least. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. Camera fighting me. Camera wants to be free. Okay, back upstairs. Wait a second. I want to see something. You're alive. <clears throat> that was that was pretty good. That thing it stabbed you. Oh, there okay. was blood everywhere. What are you talking about, James? Yeah, clip in there. If Not it'll let me, oh. don't need to don't need to do anything through the bars. Version. Can't do anything through these bars. Can you clip through the wall and go around it? James is like, fuck these bars. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh shit! Here we go. There's actually two layers of collision right there. Wah, 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 oh, she's not, she's not interactable. Wah, 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 wah. That's, <laughs> that's why she can't do anything through the bars. <laughs> she doesn't have any interact prompts. <laughs> Maria's like, shit, he actually made it. <laughs> yeah. But James she's like, looks nah, at I, like, I didn't think oh, this. Oh, God, he's walking through the bed. <laughs> I am the bed. Oh, the room door doesn't. This we're, is a nice conjugal visit. 
<laughs> I was hoping I could just walk up to the. Oh, this is room two a two o eight. Why does that appear? Can you, uh, can you maybe like damage her? Is she like Pyramid Head from before, where she has collision but no hitbox? Two o eight is their uh, their hotel room number as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, wait, is that 208? Uh, yeah, I, can't, I believe I so. I can't remember. Yeah, no hitbox. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's just like, she's static right now. Because she doesn't even move, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if there's any movement, it so minuscule, I can't. Oh, it's kind of creepy. Oh, it's, sorry, it's 312. 312. Completely wrong. I misremembered. So the 208 is just like a random door texture? Well, I mean, it happens all uh, like all through the game. So. 208. Huh. Is it a like, door texture from the uh, apartments? Maybe. So what was that? Yoshio said there's an IV stand next to the bed. Wait, there. really? Okay, I'll go back down and see. Oh, oh there is. Since we clipped in, uh, is the is the um, is, are the wire cutters even gonna spawn? Um, I think they do. I think the cutscene itself is the trigger for those. And if it, even if it doesn't spawn, I've got the wire cutters already. So yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, true. You you hacked in all the items already, so it don't matter. Cheater. Or I guess you don't even need them because you can just clip through the fucking. None of, none of it matters. It's fine. <laughs> if you if you have two, if you already have a, a key item and you pick it up again, did you have two of them, or is it just like no. override it? No. Yeah, it just we we checked it. that with the uh, the spiral writing key. Oh, okay. Or is it a coat rack? I think it... I don't know. It it looks more like an IV stand. But why yeah, would there like be a coat school. rack? Why would there be a coat rack in a prison cell? Oh, why would there be a bed <laughs> and six stools? Um, six stools visits? <laughs> I, I mean, there could be people coming to in the stools there. And the IV bag, I mean, it could be part of the prison hospital or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing is like this, this is, this to me feels like this game's version of nowhere where the labyrinth is just the town, like spawning all of these different elements kind of all together nonsensically at once. I don't, what? <laughs> I, I, I completely lost my train of thought time to go get uh well i mean you've already got the great knife but we can look at that room in some different angles oh god okay well there's also a pyramid you, head pyramid. butt to go and look at <laughs> oh well, that's cool I... walked around the corner and pyramid head just stabbed me in the face that's what he does Surprise! Whoop. That's cool seeing the uh, the mandarins from like kind of a lower angle. Yeah, you can actually see their legs and stuff. I think this is it. Um, can I move the camera? Now? Hmm. Time to get a look at Pyramid Head's butt. It's that time. Here we go. It's what you've all been <laughs> waiting for. Does he have a shapely buttocks? I don't know. <laughs> it's pyramid dummy thick. <laughs> yeah, they're basically the same enemy model as the closers from three. It's slightly changed. Where did, and they where give did them that those new animations. Go? The Mandarin just like effed <laughs> off out into nowhere. Did you see that? Yeah, he, he was just like 
<laughs> I'm out of here. He's like, see ya. He's like, bye. Bye. I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm well, done there you with go. I'm done with you. There. I have I have helped the community out. I have better community showing that. <laughs> we got the camera to follow closely to Pyramid Head's butt. It's been a successful I stream. The, I think all the mandarins despawned. Maybe they all crawl off like that? <laughs> Where they just peace are, out? Are they off screen? Um, well, I could take the camera into the void. <laughs> but there's no guarantee it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just, this is just weird. They all just like, they all effed off at the same time. <laughs> Like I wonder if they're still long. like, if they're still out there, <clears throat> swinging around in the darkness. <laughs> so nonchalant, just walking beside Pyramid Head. A it's nice a stroll show. with a friend. It's like looking in a mirror. It's actually kind of, it's kind of like nice looking at him from the outside just to like see how fast he actually goes. Yeah, because you you don't get to really see any of this from from this perspective. Whoa, what was that? Wait, what? 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 He like stopped and wiggled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he probably noticed me. Like, and then I, I walk back out of bounds. And he's I like, think most, you? most people probably think that he's like, you know, walking pretty quickly and that, you know, they're afraid to get hit. But when you watch this, it's like, he's, he's really, I he got all the time in the world. It's a lower difficulty too. So he can probably walk slower. Uh, I don't think difficulty affects his walk speed. I know it affects other monsters speed. It'll it'll affect other monsters, but uh, I don't think for Pyramid Head. Okay, is Collision back on? Good. Wait, okay. I was like, what? No. Why can't I do that? Yes. This room. So oppressive. Not really. Not with the lights. Like, okay. No. <laughs> Much better. I was, I was quoting <laughs> SH4. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, why are there so many beds in this one room? <laughs> Pyramid head does a lot of fucking. All right. And he breaks <laughs> his beds in the process. <laughs> He did a lot of work, okay? Sorry, I take that back. Masahiro Ito specifically said on Twitter, Pyramid Head is not fucking. That's right. He used those words. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely okay. not. Not fucking. Like, he's, like, he like literally NPCK used the I, phrase. I, I, he's not fucking. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Ito Ito having an active Twitter account is a blessing. You guys, it's, it's the you gotta best know. Thing. You gotta know how amazing it is. <laughs> I mean, I follow him. I just never. I didn't see him say that. Do those shotgun shell boxes say crow on them? Some Lemons. crow brand uh, shotgun shells. Personally, I prefer Steel Boys. Don't we all? There's no crows in my family tree. Holy cow, I'm going way too slow. Oddly enough, the room lighting is better than my... Um... Like you know, I I played uh I played RE2 like 
four times before I realized that they said steel. Yep, it says crow. And apparently there's two in every box. No, Eden, no. They're not Raven brand shotgun shells. They're Crow brand. There's a difference, okay? Damn. Oh, uh, somebody asked what the last song playing was, the one before <laughs> this one. That was uh, Lost Carol from Silent Hill 3. Oh god, he noticed me. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna sneak up on him. Uh, he's not even noticed me yet. Then he noticed me immediately after. Okay, let's not forget that I've got to have the flashlight active to cut wires. Um, or just clip through the wires. I can't break every. Okay, I can break everything in the game, but. Let's keep part of it intact. Wait, you're saying you can't break everything in this game? I could break... Well, I've already proven I could break everything in this game. <laughs> Just gotta scroll through these... Gigantic pockets. Once you see how many items there are in this game in total all at once in the menu, it's really understandable why they changed the menu for Silent Hill 3 to have, like, categories. Yeah. Why am I walking so slow? Does the water actually affect his speed? Does it he walk should not. It feels way slower to walk. I can actually see his current speed. Actually, I'm, it might I, it might actually reduce his movement speed slightly. I'm going to check on that in just a second after I kill this. Yeah, player. you're right. It it does look slower. Uh, there's all sorts of weird things with movement speed in this game, though. For example, when when you get to the boat, I don't know if you're going to do something fancy there and like run across the lake. Um, <laughs> but can you do my, that? Yes, yes, I can. <laughs> We'll just but Jesus if you do if lake. you do get into the boat uh while during the boat rowing segment the boat speed is tied directly to your movement speed so if you equip the great knife and get on the boat the boat moves at great knife speed like it's way slower is the animation slower too like you row super slow <laughs> I, I no. the rowing animation itself I think is the same, but the boat speed is just way slower. Now are we talking final great knife speed or beta great knife? Because uh, those are two totally different speeds. Yeah, yeah. it's like final. <laughs> it's like final great okay. knife speed. Beta great knife speed is nutty. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a freaking jackhammer. <laughs> yeah. Uh I loved hacking the beta because, like, I made that weird weapons video showing, like, all the beta. And if you do it on top of the hospital, the sword literally takes about five minutes to make one complete cycle. Oh, man. There's, like, 5,000 extra frames of animation. <laughs> where you know what's just... weird? Uh, Silent Hill 1 is actually kind of similar where in demos, especially in the trade demo, the animations for like using weapons and stuff are longer. So like you're, when you fire the shotgun and when you swing the knife and like everything is like a, a slightly longer animation in the trade demo. And then for the, the uh, first like NTSC release, first actual release of Silent Hill 1, the animations are finalized and they cut a lot of the frames out of it to make the animations go by a little bit quicker. I'm learning so much in the stream. <laughs> I mean, that's what we always hope for. I'm learning a lot from you doing this. So thank you again for taking the time to, to join us t 
tonight and like show all this off because yeah there's there's so many so many cool things when it comes to these games and as said i mean i can i can read every article that's out there and play the game a million times but uh it's it's really nice being able to see things and learn things from you know the perspective of different different approaches to these games i like this this technical like minded hacking approach to the games and kind of trying to figure out how certain things are pieced together, the way that you interact with things, the way the camera interacts with things. Uh, it's really, really cool getting to see those sort of building blocks of, of how the team constructed these elements of the game. Um, yeah, so I really don't want um, because I've got the camera always stationed behind James that's the way it is, I'm going to piston animation. And this was one of the few parts I actually got to vote in that Boundary Break episode. And oh, nice. I was, like, I was like, okay, well, that's kind of weird that that's the part you will be to voice. But I did it. And slow mug cutscene. And... Look at those fleshy tubes. Yep. Silent Hill story making at its finest. Storytelling, not making. Kinda. Still such a disturbing room. Uh, like, it's it's already... Even if you if you don't make the connection of Angela's story to the symbolism in the room and the abstract daddy and everything, it's still so just yeah, visually disturbing it's pretty wild you, yeah you almost feel dirty just looking at it like staring at it for, for more yeah than a few yeah seconds, you i think know? i think it's and it just gets wall... worse the more you learn <laughs> like... yeah and the, the thing is the walls kind of look fleshy that, oh, yeah. and i think that's that's what begins that state of mind the hey guys, this, the, the squishy list. like footstep <laughs> noises yeah when right. you walk in there oh we've got another pointless door here guys Another pointless door. Why? Oh, yeah, speedrunners. <laughs> Hell yeah. That explanation, that, that fit too well, so that's what I'm just going to go with from now on. They were anticipating the speedrunners. What is the name of the key I need? Because I've got too many items. This um, would be the... I think key of the persecuted or something Key of like the persecuted, or... yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, so there it is. It's the yeah. I don't know why I'm telling you like cutscene. you're not I... <laughs> six seconds ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just let that cutscene play out. I don't know why. I was just like, yeah, sit here and watch James oh, turn the screen. It's a great, it's a great cutscene. At least James is in it. I I complain about some of the cutscenes, <laughs> like in Silent Hill bad. Three. In Silent Hill Three, when you're in the sewers and you drain the, uh, you drain the the sewer part under the ladder so that you can climb down. I'm like, why does this cutscene just? It's just a still shot zoomed in on the pulley. You don't see what the machine is doing. You don't see the door that it's lifting up. You don't see the water draining. You just see a close up on a pulley spinning. It's like, okay, great work. I just, I just what, noticed what in that cutscene and I can't go back to it now. Um, James spawns not at the door, he spawns a little left of the door in that cutscene where he finds Maria dead. Huh. Yeah, I noticed that before too. He like spawns from like the corner of the room. That's really weird. Maybe it's just because they wanted that over-the-shoulder camera angle, and they wanted it to be in that specific angle. Maybe, but that's continuity error. Because like, yeah, how the hell? It's a little you... weird. <laughs> they just expect you not to notice. There's a lot of that in this series, though, where it's like they just expect you not to notice something. Well, I mean, you you got to understand. Like, again, the the recent uh, interview. Um, 
with uh, Jeremy Blaustein really put a lot of stuff, I think, in perspective. I think I feel like a lot of fans should really watch those recent interviews with Guy Sihi and Jeremy Blaustein and Tom Hewlett because um, it gives you some pretty good insight. They all give you some pretty good insight onto kind of the different aspects and things that are kind of going on behind the scenes when it comes to developing. And the stuff that I like that Jeremy brought up a lot was elements in the games where it worked for a final product, but it wasn't something that was in their mind like intentionally uh, during development. So yeah. the example oh, I brought oh, up oh. earlier that, oh. that Jeremy talks about, uh, one of the things that he talks about is uh, like Angela's voice uh, being Donna Burke. And like a lot of fans who speculate like, oh, they picked Donna Burke because she has this more mature voice and it fits this, you know, abused character. And it's like, nope, that was not their intention. They hired Donna Burke because they've worked with Donna Burke and she was the best person who auditioned. It didn't have anything to do with giving Angela like a more mature tone. She Isn't was just the best Claudia's actress too? that showed up. Isn't Donna Burke Claudia? Yeah, yes. she's also Claudia in Silent Hill 3. She's also the eye droid in Metal Gear Solid 5. Hold on. She's no, also no, no, no. the English voice go, yeah. for the bullet trains in Japan, the Shinkansen. Oh, so, you said don't go. Whoops. So if you go to Japan and you ride on the trains and you hear the voice pop up and be like, the next stop is, you know, whatever, Kamakura. That's Donna Burke, you know, telling you what your next stop is on the Japanese trains. Hey, thanks, Donna. Oh, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna make a joke that Walter wasn't in the, wasn't in his grave. <laughs> a little societal <laughs> four continuity. <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> um, foreshadowing two games away. That's how Silent Hill rolls. <laughs> oh, the, obviously it was the reference to like you know the there was a hole here. Obviously Silent Hill four reference. Ugh, duh. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's another thing that, you know, gets brought up a lot where it's like they they didn't have all these games planned out from the very beginning. So blood. it's Mother really interesting, blood. the stuff that they did take and sort of utilize for future stories that they wrote after the fact and try to tie things together. We're just going to stare at this bloody hallway for a second. I mean, this it's a really cool looking hallway, especially seeing it from. I like how, this perspective, uh, I, yeah. I like how with the lighting changes, it, it you could see like it's like almost like a line, like drawn, like you know what I mean. But like in the when you're just playing it with regular lighting with the flashlight, it almost looks like it kind of fades into the red. But like if you look at it, it's more just like, like the, there's a hard line where like the, the blood just starts. It almost I, looks like I, a little, mean, like, like it, someone exploded a can of tomatoes over here or something. I, I mean, to me, I'm looking at it from a Silent Hill symbolism kind of way. And I feel like because we're getting like closer and closer to Eddie, it's like we're getting more in Eddie's mindset and all of the people he's killed is just covered in blood and everything. Yeah, yeah, so, I totally agree. Because the same thing, like when you approach Angela with the burning staircase, we're, we're seeing little glimpses into kind of the Silent Hill as it's being experienced by these other characters because for the most part everything we see is only through james's eyes but then we see like little bits here where it's it's the blood and the corpses and stuff are are sort of what eddie has been dealing with for him he hates people making fun of him so the town's manifesting people to like torment him to make fun of him or at least what he perceives as that and we kind of see little mixes of that element of his his experience but we're also seeing the James model, the mutilated James model corpses, which is like part of James's entire thing with that desire for self-punishment. So it's like layering the two characters' respective nightmares on top of each other. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. With um, Angela, it's the same deal with the burning stairs. Uh, again, <coughs> James doesn't see the fire. He, he comments on the heat. He says, it's hot as hell in here. He doesn't freak out and say, holy shit, the stairs are on fire. He yeah, says, it's right? hot as hell. <laughs> and Angela makes the assumption, you can see it too. For me, it's always like yeah. this. So it's like, that is that glimpse into what Angela's been sort of dealing with while she's here. We have the rust and the corpses that look like James and 
uh, you know, things that are reflective of James's sort of mind if being I painted onto the reality around him by the town. But for Angela, it's that. For Eddie, it's this. All the hanging meat that's shaped like Eddie. And it's got, like, the cloth hanging down to look similar to his shorts. I never noticed that. Too. Um, I will say, like, some people say, oh, Silent Hill 2 is, like, completely different the way, like, everything manifests from Silent Hill 1. But if you think about it, it's really kind of the same, but it's just different sources of, mani like, the, of, of, like, where the manifestations come from. Like, it's, it's kind of like the mental influence or the emotional influence of different characters that causes the manifestations. Right. So, it, it's just, so it's, if, if anything, it's very similar to Silent Hill 1. It's just different sources of those manifestations. Different emotional, mental sources. Yeah. I mean, they definitely futz around with the rules because, hey, it's made up spiritual power. So, they can yeah. kind of do whatever they want with it from game to game. They keep it relatively in line with, like, what the extent of the town's power is. Um, but I do like that shift from, from one to two, where one is like, it is a personal nightmare, but everyone is experiencing one person's personal nightmare, Alessa's. It's not like Kaufman is seeing his own monsters yeah. and Harry seeing his own monsters. Like, no, everyone is seeing Alessa's monsters. It's two because is Alessa's cool. power like, is so much greater than everyone else's. Her influence is so much greater because she's special like that, I guess. Well, just, maybe, just yeah. Just enjoy this view when it gets to it. <laughs> just enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. <clears throat> Bam. Oh, my God. You can see it from here. That's so cool. Oh. Is it a tiny model or is it the full model? It's just far away. That's the full thing, just far away. Uh, yeah, Alcamilla asks if you can see the island. Um, you can. It's a little off screen. I could run over to it, though. We'll go take um, a look at it. The church with its exceptionally tiny door. <laughs> what does that big yellow sign over there say? The um, one that says, like, uh, be wary of prisoners escaping? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to... I you can you can actually read that sign with the normal camera. There you go. Persons procuring or it, concealing though. escape of prisoners are subject to prosecution. <laughs> One second, activating something. Um okay, so let's see. Maybe it'll help if I reactivate it. That water texture is always when you're in this map. That water texture is always below James. No and I can go right over. And Bang! That's yeah, it's, awesome. It's the full hotel. It just doesn't have the uh, front of it loaded in. Because I have the maximum draw distance on right now, and for some reason it. It draws the furthest thing away, but doesn't draw what's in front of it. That's so cool. Is there anything on, like, the opposite side of the building? Do they render, like, the back? Or is it no, just, like, an empty texture? It's just, um, it's got back face calling. Okay. Okay, so let me get out of bounds and just run across the lake real quick. Even seeing this, like the dock leading up to the doors and kind of the building behind this that doesn't match anything that you just went through. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so so should I turn the mini map on now? Or Yeah, go for it. Yeah, if you want to, yeah. All right, mini map coming in. There we go. By all the means. I mean, let's let's talk a little bit about that. We were talking about it before the yeah. stream, but let's talk about it so that everybody can can kind of know more about it because that was something that you had discovered. You know, you said like a couple of years ago that that yeah. the mini map was something that is in this game. This is not like a hack or a mod uh, that's been put in after the fact. This is something that 
is in the game in all versions. Yeah, and it was even like people thought it wouldn't be in the PC version because it's not activated the same way, but I actually did the version two. Um, but yeah, I found this. Uh, there's actually a toggle in the options menu for it. Um, it's not a, a screen toggle. Like there's nothing drawn to the screen to say, hey, turn this on for minimap. But it's located with the rest of the options, like with the extra options where you can set the bullet adjust and everything. Um, it's right below that. If you keep going down, you can change one byte into a one and suddenly this. <clears throat> so um, it popped up and I showed it on YouTube. And then uh, later on, Big Man Japan, he found the... Uh, he found the actual... Like, I found the string for save anywhere. He found the actual command to do it. And then Punk came in later and he found the actual... Uh, the actual commands for both of them. Uh, like, not for the... I don't think for the minimap. I think it's for just save anywhere. Uh, anywhere. I, I, yeah, because I thought he was the one who found the commands. Big Man found the, the clear conditions. Because even though this is this is basically a, a cut uh, extra sort of thing. It still functions like something would normally uh, if it was like an unlockable where there were certain conditions for like, you need to have the dog ending and stuff like that before the inputs would bring this mini map up. So it still has conditions. It still has like the hidden inputs. Uh, it's crazy that there would be something that, I don't know, interesting as like a mini map that for whatever reason, despite all of its functionality still being there is cut out of like any sort of normal gameplay. Yeah. I remember this was like a very hot topic in the sound hill speed running discord when it was posted like on social media and stuff. And uh, like nobody on console was able to do it. Yeah, because a lot of people were trying to repeat this and replicate it, it different versions and uh, things like that. But <laughs> it it definitely is there. And at this point, I think it does work on all versions. Like it can be brought up in with the right sequence of inputs on, on any version. There's the rebirth area. Yeah, the rebirth island. I said, I love this church with yeah. its tiny little door. How yeah. tiny is the door? One second. I got over here. It actually spawned in. So now I can activate the free cam and go. It's really tiny door. But yeah, for those of you that may not know, this is the thing that is shown in the rebirth ending. Yep. It's the only time you see this, this little section, this little island with this church. <clears throat> but there you go. And, and this is an actual, <laughs> this is an actual place. This is like a real church, um, in Spain. I don't remember where it is. That door uh, is really tiny. So it's like a picture they took of the door and like turned it into a texture. Yep. It's like a little doggy door. I mean, church, sorry, door. Yeah. Jiminy Cricket. <clears throat> and there's more of the and we even get a reflection of the tiny church weird because it doesn't even make sense considering something that high up on the yeah you're not going to see it that's crazy the upside down plus oh my god yeah I didn't know that was under there even <laughs> if <laughs> even if it had proper reflections, you wouldn't be able to see that church because it's direct. No. So, your mic's cutting out a bit again, yeah, Echo. Your, your mic's uh, cutting come out. On. Okay. Um. Better. Yeah. I mean, I mean it, you just gotta I mean, keep it talking. Sounds fine. It's just gonna keep cutting out Discord. If, it's if Discord. Really, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, and thank I you, Alcamilla. Uh, San Pedro Church in Avila, Spain is the, the real life place that this is, uh, this texture and everything's taken from. 
Let's go on a journey with James and his water. It's Jesus, James. <laughs> it doesn't even look like water. It looks like a, like a ninety, like a ninety-eight speaker graphic. Yeah, it, it looks like one of those like Windows Millennium Edition like screensavers. It yeah. really does. Oh, like an Jesus. old Winamp visualizer plugin. Yeah, Winamp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did it disappear when I got closer? Okay, let's zoom out. Oh, until. Take a nice stroll across the. Man, Toluca Lake is big. <laughs> it's a special place. Oh, and it queued the cutscene anyway. GG game, GG. And then he still rose up on the boat. Yep. We don't need, need you, stupid boat. Oh wait, maybe we do need them. Yeah, yeah, Just maybe. It teleports over. Yep, there it is. There's that HD water. The wavy psychedelic carpet. Um, what's that bloody in the back there? Um, oh, never mind. It's not blood. It looked like blood. It's actually a lifesaver or a life preserver. Oh, like in the corner of the boat there? Yeah. Yeah, it looked like blood. And I was like, Mary already loaded. <laughs> it's a floaty. <laughs> it's, it's the pillow. <laughs> the pillow. <laughs> Just a bloody pillow hanging out in the boat. Ooh, okay. Um, game. We're about to have words. If you don't uh -oh. stop with the static cutscenes, or not cutscenes, but the static angles. Okay, there we go. And also, it's really bright. Let's just tone that down a little bit. Well, it's gonna change as soon as you get inside, right? Actually, the the lighting I have it transfers with the map so oh okay quick question uh before we get in here does uh we've been live about uh, almost five hours now does anyone need to take a break real quick are we 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 good or what i mean um, I can take a quick i can take a quick break i just want to grab a drink real quick like maybe yeah. three minutes yeah do, uh, do a little fiver yeah um unfortunately i do not have a green <laughs> um enjoy james's animation oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah we're good we'll keep the music bumping oh good. i mean i can i can put us over to like a break screen if everyone wants to take a minute i could definitely uh take a minute here to yeah. get the rest of before we get into the final stretch i was just saying we've been on for about five might as well just get up kick yeah out we've been on for clock. five but we also probably only have like an hour left yeah there's not much left but we'll just take our one break i think one break's good enough yeah so we'll get so, up and stretch so um I'm going to go ahead and uh, bump us over to a break screen. All right. And, and I'll be back in just us. a minute. And I got I to go and get another monster. All right. <laughs> so we'll take a yeah. minute. We're going to hit up our, our respective prison toilets. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back to break the last little bit of Silent Hill 2. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully they actually have the toilets and not just the. The tank in the top. <laughs> yeah. The... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, be right back. Back in a bit.
And we're back. We back. Yes. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry. We're back. We're back. Yes. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> we just wanted, wanted to make sure. Neko might be back. No, we're back. <laughs> uh, I'll be back at five. And again, <laughs> well, and again, you guys, uh, seriously, we would not be able to do this playthrough. And this is all thanks to Neko Run. This is all Neko Run's gameplay uh, going through, hacking everything. You can see right there in chat, uh, link to the YouTube. Go subscribe. Hit that bell. Whatever they do over on that <laughs> on website. <YouTube> Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Hit then also bell. a link to the, the Twitch stream. Definitely go follow if you enjoy game hacking. Yeah, I do this all the time. Um, I'm, I'm mainly active on my YouTube channel. But... Um, when I have nights where I'm free, I can actually stream. I just have to do it pretty late at night because it's kind of loud at my house, though. Oh, everyone here is used to that, so don't worry about that. We're all vampires around we're here. All, we're yeah. all night callers. That, that works for us. This is way better than waking up at 6 a.m. for three dogs. <laughs> oh, God. Dude. For three dogs time frame. I love three dog, but holy fuck! Oh, so do I. That's why. <laughs> I that's why I fucking suck. To do that. That's like, why all of us were work. still fucking there because we like were all so excited for it. But it was yeah. the exact opposite of our usual hours. I was like, oh my god, I feel like I'm going to work again. What? Is this? Yeah, I almost died on that one. I remember I had to eat McDonald's. I thought I was going to die. I'm like, I know you <laughs> ate it. You ate it. What? Three days in a row. I, I, I I, that was a great the, playthrough. That was, that was the tipping point where I realized, like, I need to, I need to go on a diet. <laughs> yeah, because you were, you were, you all of a sudden dipped when you had that McDonald's. You just whatever you had just went away. Sorry, I had to turn on the lights. Yep, and... turn on all the hotel lights. There they are. Go over here and so see that. there should be something you you can probably show off here that I'm kind of curious about as far as like differences between the way the console loads areas and the PC. I, I assume it's handled the same way. Um, but after everything in here with Laura, um, maybe you can try taking the camera out of bounds to see some of the stuff that you see when you go out of bounds on the PC version. Because for the PC version, you use the quick save glitch to go out of bounds from the little downstairs area. Um, and you basically run out of bounds all the way until you hit the stairwell that connects to the uh, the basement floor, the employee floor. Oh, so you're talking about like different zones like yes you can see the different rooms of the hotel in various places like loaded in but like way out of bounds yeah they also have no triggers or anything i was actually going to show that off the apartments but i'm not gonna lie i jumped from that abstract dad in my own <laughs> zone and it just no okay it's um, it's it's still like because of the stream <laughs> delay we're like still getting to it i'm like oh i want to see <laughs> I like, just ah. you, you you just see me completely. Yeah, just stop. James goes and then stops <laughs> and looks at that like, huh, that's not good. All right. Anyway, as I was saying, like I was going to show it off in the apartments early, um, because um, because when you first walk into the apartment, uh, you'll see the area with the save point and everything, and you could run directly behind to the staircase and everything else. Um, and it's actually loaded in behind it. It's just got no triggers in it. Like, yeah, nothing works. And that's how most of the rooms are for the hotel. But that's luckily like the stairwell is the only thing that has active triggers. The stairwell that connects the employee floor to the first floor um, that you don't normally get to until after the employee elevator. Uh, like putting all your stuff on the shelf and doing all that. Um, but if you if you run out of bounds from the first floor, uh, 
you can get to that stairwell and the doors in that stairwell can still be interacted with. Like they still have triggers. Mm -mm. Do you know which side it's on? Because I mean, I know it's probably quite a while out of bounds. Yeah. So if, if you go, uh, if you go downstairs back, uh, like into the hallway where the, the doormen are and then downstairs to the hallway where the, uh, the paint thinner is usually picked up Mm -hmm. on the opposite end of the hallway from the paint thinner closest to the stairs. You should be able to just keep going out of bounds that direction and see some rooms or keep pushing the camera that direction and see some rooms. I swear if these enemies from around corners, it's been forever since I played this game. (laughs) And to this point, I should say usually I would just hack it and move on. But, like, just to actually play it, I forgot where it was. And it's just got me jumpy. It, it could also be the tons of monster I've drank it, making me jittery. All right, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Oh, so I'm downstairs... Ouch. I'm downstairs where the paint thinner is. Yeah, um, so... Uh, of course, with the delay and everything. So go to go to the end of the hallway where there's the, the doors that you can interact with that are closest to the stairs. Okay. So, like, I just saw you pick up the thinner for an idea of the delay. Yeah, you're a good five, six seconds behind. Yeah, I said it's not too bad, but there you go. So so facing that that green box... Like, right where you're at, uh, if you just kind of keep pushing the camera that direction, you will uh, you should come across uh, some of those rooms and stuff out of bounds. All right, let's go see what we can find. When you stare into the void, there's back. Oh, there we go. We hit a loader. Okay, there we go. You can see like how it like stopped for a second when it was loading the zone. Yeah. Cuz uh I don't know if it the, the camera will change it because yeah, as you run through, oh, that's wonderful cuz you can see this because of the the longer draw oh, distance. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. That's perfect. So that's you can so run cool. straight there. And then, yeah, you should be able to interact with the stairwell door. Stairwell door. Come on, camera. Work with me here. Oh, come. The camera. Oh, it actually does have trick. Oh, wow. Nice. All of the doors work. I mean, at the very least, for, for the sake of a speed run, the, the stairwell is the important one. Yeah. I'm just checking all the doors. If I can, you know, not get James, work with me here. I was about to say, I I, I don't don't think we wanted to come down here the the traditional method. You know how long it would take to put all those items away? (laughs) (laughs) Too long. Every single item in the game. At least it doesn't make you put health items on like individually. Oh god, imagine if I made you put every single box of ammo with 535 okay. health drinks. Nah, one bro. at a time. And then that All many right, med bro. kits and then um nah, bro. everything else. So I, I actually have something about this I want to share. Um okay. just just watch okay, the command doesn't say anything right now. Now it does. So I can still make that dream come true. Something's happening. Just look at the command menu now. And it says put on shelf. Uh, even put on shelf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Don't I, do it. Oh, my God. I can huh. literally go through every. That doesn't exist. Does, because if you go. Go ahead. Uh, does does putting the command there actually function? Yeah, it functions. It just doesn't put it on that shelf. Because that shelf is only stored in that room. Putting on a shelf, you can't access it. Oh. So just going to the void, it yep. disappears. You're, you're putting it on an <laughs> invisible shelf. 
in this hallway. Yep. Put it in the bag of holding. <laughs> That's wild. Wow. The mannequin was just right in my face for no reason. All right. So should I go back or should I just keep exploring? Hmm. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, yeah, at this there, point, there's going to be more rooms. Yeah, there's definitely more rooms and stuff that load in. Uh, if you keep moving out of oh. bounds. Well, we can look at the Easter egg, the, the Johnny Easter egg. Oh, yeah. Since, since we're, we're down here with the flashlight. Aw. <laughs> or not. Uh, actually, actually, it loaded the boiler room. So. Oh, well, yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, there you go. Interesting. But I think this one will not have the ability to interact with the door. Yep, it does. Huh. So are all of the triggers active all of the time in this section? Possibly. Well, the... I saw the little loading, little little like so freeze you got there. So maybe it, it had to load them in right there when, when that, that little freeze happened, that little like stutter happened. That so happens in the no matter what. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, that's just loading the zone, like all the models and everything. Because um, it's essentially just loading like map tiles, right? Yeah, pretty much. It's just it's loading the various chunks, the models and everything. The only thing it doesn't load are the triggers, and that's primarily what the doors are for. Um, oddly enough, and all, why is there just a mannequin standing out in the middle of nowhere? Because why not? No. Well, no. well, if you think about it, it's a lot like a, it's pretty much the same as in Silent Hill Three when you when you can clip out of bounds in the New Game Plus uh, <laughs> speed speed run. <laughs> you interact with the beginning stream just caught up so the mannequin in the void <laughs> yeah I see it <laughs> just chilling okay let's go this way actually I think this way is back into the normal part of the hotel but with this extended draw distance I mean you can see it immediately popping that's actually how I found the dog in um the leave ending room and everything. Yeah. They're all, they all share the same place. Uh, just want to point out <laughs> comment in chat there. Ink ribbons saying uh, silent hill Two randomizer, 10 pyramid heads spawn around James. That's a thing. That's a thing yeah. that exists. Uh, it is a thing. Uh, another hacker modder member of the silent hill community named jokey made a silent hill three randomizer and then eventually extended it to also function as a Silent Hill 2 randomizer, uh, enemy randomizer. And you can actually set like which enemies you want to spawn more often. Like you can change the likeliness, like the percentage that a oh, particular wow. enemy will replace something else. And you can set it to where it's nothing but pyramid heads that spawn. So every enemy in the game can be replaced <laughs> with pyramid heads. <laughs> No oh, thanks. I have a question. Can we go into the uh, can we go into the bar area? It, you know, in the, in the kitchen area of the bar where they has the can of bulbs, and can we like see if the bulbs are actually in the can before they before you take the top off of it? Yeah. Is, sure. is that stupid? Is that something? Is that a stupid request? <laughs> I, I'm gonna There's go no ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and guess no on that. Um, I would I'm, imagine I'm just... it's just like a it's just like a model swap. There's like a model of it closed. And a model of it opened. Well, so when you, you see it well, when, when it's you... closed, and then you see a cutscene where it's being opened. Yeah, and it's not really a cutscene. It's like just two images, and they yeah. fade into each other. So, so this entire room did elevator. Nice. I mean, that is strange. <laughs> Actually, it's great because you can still see the room on the mini map. Yeah, but the exit of the room is not making sense to me. Because the exit would be over here. Yeah, well, it should be 
on uh, if you're facing out of the elevator, it would be on the right wall. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because like the cabinet would be over here. Well, the cabinet the... is directly to the left of the elevator. And then the door is like right about opposite of it on that other wall. Yeah, but the door is actually down here. That's what's weirded me out. I'm like, why is the door not in the right? Wish I can interact with it, but I can't. I mean, I'm interacting with it. I'm I am walking around in the. Yeah, um, it's just that the cell didn't load at all. It's just the elevator. Yeah, the it bumps me like away from the door. That's really strange. And I I do not remember the room layout. Elevator doesn't work. Okay, let's just keep running. See if anything else pops up. Yeah. Because I think you can just kind of keep, pick a direction and run. And eventually you hit a loading zone and something will load. See, I've always wondered if there's any, like, unused. I'm, I'm pretty sure they would show up in, like, the... Uh, Silent Hill 2, and like that, um, what's it called? It's the editor where you can actually go through and look at all the maps on the PC version. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can use, like, the map viewer, model viewer. Yeah. I I'm just curious because, I mean, I know that it doesn't work the PS2 version, so could there have been some zones that were lost between the PS2 and the PC version? Uh... Maybe, but from what I understand, as far as like what Creature Labs did for the PC port, they they didn't mess with things that much. It was a very quick and dirty take the PS2 version and make it work on PC with like a few little tweaks for functionality, but I don't think they would have cut any rooms or anything like that for any subsequent release of that. Yeah, in my opinion, the PC version was is pretty much a broken mess. So thank God for the en enhanced edition for the people working on the enhanced edition. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Yeah, it was uh not good. I remember when it came out, it was uh, unfortunate. Not like HD collection, but it just had a lot of problems. You could tell a third party company handled it, and not the actual team. Which is like pretty much the exact opposite of the Silent Hill Three PC edition, which uh, yeah. it takes a little bit of tweaking to work. But well, once you get it good and you can upscale the graphics, it looks freaking beautiful even to this day. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Konami's track record for PC ports is not great, so I usually don't uh, expect it to be anything spectacular. You can only hope for it to be functional. <laughs> Apparently, uh, there's too much commentary here for Johnny Fleischman. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Johnny. Wasn't going to give him a verbal spotlight, but... Uh... <laughs> Well, we did it anyway. Sorry, Johnny. That's all right. I've heard Johnny's one hot guy. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to these wonderful new Twitch moderation tools, that is their first ever comment in your stream, Nub. And boy, oh, was it a memorable one. Wait, what happened? It was just someone. Uh, Johnny Flyspeed. Showing up Apparently. saying there's so much commentary. Apparently we're talking too much. Jesus. It's always funny to me because I get I get comments like that on a lot of my YouTube videos where they're like, <laughs> shut up and just show the game. I'm like, do you Poor. know how to type no commentary in a search? Why don't you go play the game? <laughs> if you don't want commentary, <laughs> go play the game yourself, dingus. You guys looking forward to the pachinko hacking session? God. No, we're not. No. Oh, no. my oh, I, God. I would love it. Yes. I would love it. That's been yes. that's been the goal from the very beginning. Maybe at some mm. point, Neko can help us out with that. Uh, <laughs> that's... <laughs> oh, boy. What have I, I mean, got myself into? <laughs> en Enigma has a pachinko machine. I've got one. I would love it if somebody could hack it 
and take all those video scenes and audio and everything from the machine and basically rip it and have it on computer somehow. Or at least or at least articulate to me how to do it. What if we hack it, we hack the machine and we learn how to make it like where we can win every time and then we can find a, like an actual casino with one of those in it and actually like make a, a lot of money? I mean, and then go to prison. First, first, yeah, I was gonna say. First off, that would be horribly illegal. But second of all, uh, I actually have fiddled with the with the odds on the machine. There's a there's a setting that you can take it all the way down from one all the way up to six to increase the odds of winning, and I have it all the way up to six. So uh, you will. Win oh, ooh, of it. <laughs> ooh, um, I have a crash. Uh -oh. And oh. this time it was a full crash, like oh. crash the entire emulator. Oh damn! Oh, wow. Too much commentary. Too yeah. Much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Johnny was right all along. We we should have heeded the warning. Please tell me I did not just save over that. Please uh oh. Uh oh. Yikes. Yikety yikes. If I, if I just hit the wrong button and saved over that, uh -oh. I didn't. It's just not responding. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just not responding for some reason. I got to restart it again. We're going to be just fine. It'll be all right. Oh, yep. Yeah. Um... I've got a feeling I've just got to completely disable everything. And... Try this again. Because it's crashing on the title screen now. Like it's just crashing. on... Like just on it, startup? It, yeah, like I get to the title screen and it crashes. So I think it's just a PS... Uh, PCSX2 thing, um, but give me just a second to look into this. Yeah, Brain and Black in chat uh, says Pachinko machines are really hard to hack. It will most likely involve breaking open the chips and reading the ROMs directly, if that's even possible, and that would definitely destroy the machine. So we're not, we're not, we're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I paid a lot of money for that. All right, I'm not going to do that. I just don't know. Like I've actually, I've opened the thing up and looked at the inside at all the connections and everything. And it's definitely going to be something like that. It's not something that it's just got like a cable that you can hook into it. It's what just, uh, okay. Oh, see, that's what I was hoping would be possible. Dude, man, is that we could figure out which wires inside the machine are basically the video feed. Cause it's not like a typical console or, or anything set up. It's, it's, it's not wired that way where it's a really obvious like, oh, this is the video. Let me just take the video and hook it into a capture card. Like it's it's not a standard plug of any kind. Yeah. Uh, at least not that that we have experience working with. Wow. Okay. Um I had it there for a second and then I'll go. There we go. I think or, I'm back. I think or, I'm back. Or yeah, like Factory said, we could do the old DSP thing where we just record it with a camcorder. See, people upload. have done that. There, There is video out there. It's not a lot, and it's pretty shitty quality, but that's the whole point. It's it's shitty quality. We, we could absolutely just record the machine, but what I would like is direct rips of all the visuals on the Pachinko machine so that they could be archived somewhere. Because most people are not going to get to ever see or play those machines. And there's yeah. entirely new cutscenes and things that were made for it. Um, yeah, they, so they, it would be they great did. to archive that stuff and show it somehow. Yeah, and if you've never seen it, they they did some work on that machine. Like they did a whole bunch of stuff for that pachinko machine, which is extremely frustrating. But uh, there's a lot of stuff there that's worth looking at. It kind of sucks that you'd have to trash the whole, uh, like one of those whole machines just to make a ROM of it, just to make an emulate, yeah. emulatable ROM of it. And we're not going to do that. <laughs> That's definitely getting into some some territory. I wouldn't, as cool as it would be to make like 
an, an emulated version of the of the the pachinko machine. It's so weird too. It's it's not pachinko or pachi slot at all. It's, not. it's literally just a slot machine. Like there is no pachinko elements to that machine at all. You put tokens in it, you pull a lever, or you hit the lever, or you push the button, three reels spin, That's and it. things happen. There's no balls, there's nothing like that. It's just a straight up slot machine. No balls. No balls. But yeah, it's a straight up slot machine. So But they have to like advertise it, classify it as such because of Japanese gambling laws. Yes, I came all the way back here for this. <laughs> Good. Hell yeah. Good. Gotta take a sip of drink. One second. There's a heater here. On the back in small letters, it says, I'm Johnny, one hot guy. Says, also, too Johnny, much commentary. Too much commentary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Don't Johnny. tempt me. I will I will literally go. And Edit the text. The text. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, oh God! No. Please, no, you don't have no. to do it like during the stream. <laughs> well, but it, but I, at some well, point, if you could change the text and and screenshot that for me, well, put it on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I'm Johnny. Uh, <laughs> That's too much commentary. Apparently, our Johnny friend has already. Dream, according to Pace. Well, sure, right? that's usually what happens when you call out trolls, but <laughs> we gotta make gotta a meme out of him. Sometimes you gotta do it. Uh, gotta have fun with it. Of... Hmm. I and can't remember how to progress in the hotel. I know you have to go up to <clears throat> room three twelve, but that's pretty much where my memory ends. I mean, you, you have all the the, the keys, you have the all the items, so yeah, you, you pretty much can just go straight to, you can just go straight to the room. You don't technically have to do any of the, uh, of the other stuff. Even if you were going to go do the actual music box puzzle, you've got all the music boxes. Yeah. So this yeah. is more so just wandering around for the sake of what can we just find. Just looking at things. What can Actually, we look at? I, I've made it back to the kitchen. Yep. I've got to see if there's bulbs inside of <laughs> Yes. So now we can look at the can. <laughs> I'm going to have to set the free cam to really, really low to be able to see that. Um, let's see. Yay, okay. my odd request. That's what I always say on my channel. I'm like, yeah, there's no such a thing as a, a stupid request or anything like that. Um, because, I mean, I do this thing to explore and to have fun. So if I have a question, I want to see it answered. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I mean, there's you and you've helped us out a lot with stuff like that, where uh, like with the Silent Hill 3 intro. When uh, when you were helping us out, because like seeing the the head that's floating there. Angela's head just like floating in the diner uh, when Heather wakes up from the nightmare. Yeah, I actually pissed some people off by doing that. I'm not going to say names, but I pissed oh. some people off by showing what? that. How, yeah. how would that piss anybody off? Who would be pissed off? Well, I, I, again, wall. no names. Yeah, but <laughs> no names. <laughs> but yeah, I, I pissed like three people off because they it was one of those I want to show at first that I was talking about earlier. Oh, that's petty. Anyway, I don't, e I don't even I don't even understand that. <laughs> like what? Oh, we're zooming in. We're zooming. Here we go. <laughs> Why would anyone get mad? Oh, it's go. <laughs> you broke no their way. immersion. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm just going to say here. Dun, dun. And... Oh, it's got a bulb. No oh! fucking way. <laughs> are bulb, you though. are you kidding me? Holy shit. <laughs> there, there is actually go. a goddamn light bulb in that thing. I would not have. I would not are have expected it. I figured they just have two me. models for the can that they swap. There's during the no cutscene. 
why even actually put it in there? You'd never see it. They actually did it. That's great. I cannot yeah. believe it. I think it's the item <laughs> sprite or something. Kind of like the key you see in the drain earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Except you'd never see that, so. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. I'm glad I had this idea. I'm, yeah. Ding. That's great. Wow. That's unbelievable. I would have never thought. I wonder if it's still there after the can opener. Let's do it. But first, I have to go through 1,400. All right. Who in, <laughs> who in chat's going to get upset over this light bulb being in the can? Who's upset? God, God damn it. Yeah. Is Johnny going to come back? Too much Breaking my immersion. Bulb. Too many too much, light bulbs. Too much light bulb. That's like something I can see IGN say. <laughs> IGN. It would be a game about light bulb. Uh, I'm sorry, but that that Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby that review just had me laughing real, really freaking hard. I haven't seen that. That's where that meme comes from. Like the, uh, what was it? Like, it was either eight point seven or seven point eight, something like that. And it said too much water, and the like. It takes place on islands, and I'm like, really? There's <laughs> too much water? In a chain of islands? Oh wow! So it's just too much was... water. Too much and... zombies in Resident Evil. Too much. <laughs> yeah, they kind of get repetitive. I mean, put zombies in. Put zombies outside, maybe a few in the police station. After that, nah. Oh, okay. Well, there's way more bulbs now. But it's not the same bulb. The first bulb had a bulb family. <laughs> oh, man. But it, and they even have even... them, like, way down in the bottom of the can. It's not even the same model though, because the, yeah, the other one had like the little, <laughs> wow. The other one was highly detailed. Oh, wow. James, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but your, your shirt, the cloth just kind of attracted me over here. I'm weird about detailed cloth and video games. This is unbelievable. That's okay. I'm I'm the same way with a lot of uh, fabric textures and things. That was one of the first things that like, anytime I I do like downpour playthroughs, that's always one of the things where I'm like, okay, this game has some good elements. Look at these wet cloth textures. Dude, I I started playing Kingdom Hearts three when it came out, and I literally just sat there and stared at a shirt, like just the texture of the shirt. I was like, that it, the threading looks so real. It's just amazing and um my fiance was like are you going to play the game? stare at a texture <laughs> i was like well uh, i'm just going to stare at the texture yeah <laughs> <laughs> i eventually got around to playing the game but that texture had me it's a nice a shirt <laughs> take your time appreciate it someone took the time making it look that good okay let's go take a look around here can you actually go through the door since you have the flashlight? Or do you have, still have to put the bulb in the light? You still got to put the bulb in. Cause, really? Yeah, because even on the PC version, when you uh, use the out-of-bounds glitch to get down here without using the employee shelf, you have your flashlight on you. So flashlight light is not good enough to open that door. You need that fresh canned bulb light. <laughs> Look at those fish lures. Yeah, that's great. So many little details. All the stuff on the walls, little posters. Yeah, what about all the little, little signs and stuff above the thing? The labels on all the bottles. That is a reused up. texture. You'll see it in a second. Um, in the actual light, it uses the bottom of the bulb texture. Like you've seen in the can a while ago, like it uses the same texture, just... Huh, yeah. Pete, just like repeated... Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So I, I saw a whiskey bottle that said woodpecker on it. it, it was that supposed to be kind of like wild turkey or something? I don't know. Get a good look at that woodpecker. 
I'm pretty sure that's the only bottle you can read. Um, I'll go over here and see. <laughs> oh, look, it's Woodpecker, except like mirrored. Lovely. Big fans of Woodpecker whiskey. LT Harp or LT Harp, something like that. All right. This so, reminds me of a Milk Your Solid 2 uh, uh, Sons of Liberty in the tanker when you can see all the bottle, the alcohol bottles and the little mini bar in the, in the tanker. And you can shoot them all. Yeah. And they break where you shoot them. Yeah. MGS2 is still <laughs> so cool. just just like with Silent Hill 2, Metal Gear Solid 2 is another one of those games that impresses me with how much attention to detail there is. What does it say on that clock on the wall over there? Like red red uh, I'm ash? sorry, I'm losing I'm losing my mind at some of these comments. It's beautiful, like the donkey voice. That's just a nice shirt. <laughs> <laughs> red fresh. Red Frash. What the Red Frash. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, sure. there's also a poster in in Brookhaven in in Silent Hill Three that says "Gonna Beach at the Sea." <laughs> so there's a lot Red of nonsense Frash. writing and stuff that's around. You gotta love good old English. Um, let's see, brown trout. <laughs> um, <laughs> gonna catch some brown trout this fish is very hung hungary that's not that's not you're oh hungry. my god you can actually read that <laughs> this fish is very hungary is it from hungary like the the country <laughs> something something oh i wish i could read the rest I'm pretty sure it's possible. It's just really blurry. But the first one is but. The first one on the second line is but. But it is. But it is. Ever. Ugh. Yeah, I can't quite. It's, it says something and. The last word is fish. We're sitting here trying to read a blurry texture about a fish in the background of a Silent Hill game. Specifically for brown <laughs> trout. Which, by the way, is, is a joke name for shit. Oh, maybe that'll help. Should have done that from the start. Um, fish is very hungry, but... And... Strong fish. That's this fish is very hungry, but it is never and strong fish. <laughs> there we go. The brown trout lore. Been lore. Is that Pepin? Pepin lure? Is that what it says? What? Okay. Um, guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear you now? I, I, I can okay. hear you guys. Um, I had to leave the call and come back. That was... Can you hear me? I can hear everybody now. Uh, okay. Weird. Okay, Discord well... Weird. <laughs> Just Discord's freaking out. I was sitting there talking to myself for a second. And I was like, what? what? I was sitting there talking about uh, peeping lure, and I was like waiting for someone to make a joke or something. Peep and lure. Peep and lure. Pepe lure? <laughs> yeah, the Pepe lure. Pepe lure and the brown trout.
Ooh. I wonder what this says. I can just move straight up. I'm not sure why I'm not. Nature spirit. Looks like we have another alcoholic beverage over here. Oh, it's a beer. Good old nature spirit. So now we have nature spirit and woodpecker. It says something else under the nature spirit text. Let's it's like more faded. Let me get closer. <clears throat> um, yeah, I can't make that out. Oh, I can make out the last word. It says bland. Is it supposed bland. to be brand? It, it could be bland or brand. It, it looks does like look bland. like bland. I think it's supposed to be brand. <laughs> like like Blookhaven? Nature spirit. <laughs> something. Like, something ort. A brown bland. trout mod. Can, is it can't like. It's like, a, is it a Y? Xenohort so bland. bland. I was about to say Xenohort bland. Xenohort bland? <laughs> we we have nature spirit. Xenohort bland. <laughs> <laughs> we found out what Xenohort drinks, guys. And it was all, it was a Silio 2 all along. There we go. Secret lore. All right, so let's find that magnificent bulb. Okay, now we can walk out. Yep, get that fresh light bulb light. Poor bulb never see his family again. <laughs> I know, yeah, right? It's extra floating. sad now that you know there's a whole family of bulbs in there. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tad. <laughs> Just a tad. Yep, there's a whole family of bulbs just floating in a can. There's a family of light bulbs. <laughs> Sin on Natty Blend? <laughs> That's as good as anything. <laughs> so what I could do, since I have the dog key, I could just end it here and... But nah. Why would we do that? <laughs> Why would we ever do such a thing? There's definitely well, still some things I want to see. Can we find the room with a dog in it? Like like that loading cell? And like, lo like, like go yep. into it from out of bounds? We definitely can. Let's um, do that. Do you guys want me to do that now, or do you want me to do that like at the end, like as a little extra? I That's mean, whatever. you can go ahead and show it now, because there's we're still going to be uh, going through like the rest of the game. At the very least, there's a few more things I wanted to see. I'd like some different angles uh, for the uh, Angela stairwell for okay, sure. So I'm going to make like two backup saves here because to do this, it requires me to start a new game. And let me see. Oh, I just went full screen. Wow. Good job. Oh, wow. Did I start something about cage three? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. it it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, you guys want a Kingdom Hearts 3 spoiler? Donald and Goofy are still useless. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Do they still and waste all your like items? A, this looks like a great place to find some ingredients. <laughs> Get, I still haven't played 3 yet. Three seconds. <laughs> well, I just spoiled the entire game. It's oh. a great place to find some ingredients. All right, rip. so rip, rip, rip. Um, I haven't played any Kingdom Hearts game. Never played one. Well, oh, this uh, is familiar. Ravenheart. Uh -huh. Do you like Disney? No. Do you like anime? Well, what do I look like a weeb to you? Well, then you <laughs> probably like Disney anime. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. 
Look at this room we're in. Yeah. I know, right? Just turn the lights on and everything. Yeah. Now, can you go out that door? Yeah. Or is this like nothing? Can you just walk through everything? Oh, you just walk through everything. There's no okay, collision. Yeah. Here. It's just, yeah, no collision. Oh, there's a picture of James and Mary on the wall. Yeah. I was actually just about to get to that. Yep. That's second. so cute. I want to see. Oh. <laughs> and and just like with some of the other rooms, there's there's still way more to this room than I thought there would be for as little as you see it. And there's yeah, like two those cups. pictures on the wall. Now, I wonder if this is actually rendered in engine and they just took a screenshot or if they actually got somewhere to draw that. It, it almost looks like it's in engine. Yeah, I'm going to say that's in engine. Except for Mary's pose. It's like she's leaning. That's weird. But yeah, that looks like in game stuff. And there's the hotel. James just doesn't look like he knows where he's at. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, does he ever? Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. Who took the picture? I wonder. Also, uh... he's, isn't it great that like this is supposed to be? I mean, you, you know, it's a tourist town. There's people around. You pay him, they take your picture. Um, but also... isn't it great that James wears the exact same clothes? <laughs> So does Mary. Really? Likes well, it. I mean, <laughs> he loves that bomber. Okay, jacket. like Mary, I'll give a pass because you know whatever. It's a ghost Mary. It's it's a dead Mary. So that's fine. But James is wearing the exact same things that he wore when he was there with Mary the first time. Apparently, also he, where he just always taken? wears that. Because I don't remember anything looking like this in Rosewater Park. Also, there is no background whatsoever there is no beautiful skybox this time yeah, yeah well it's so. also pixelated and like small so even if it were was detailed you probably wouldn't be able <laughs> to see any of it still wondering where it's located <laughs> i just rotated the camera and james has got this look on his face like are you done yet <laughs> <laughs> Well, remember, Mary says he's a little surly and doesn't laugh much. Yeah, he's surly just standing over there like, come on. He works with the public. That's normal. James it's is like, James okay. is like too much commentary. Come on. Okay. Oh, there's no light bulb in the teapot. Darn. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> look, how, look how highly detailed the little like the little like. Yeah, the are. little the little crusted wood at the bottom. Oh, on yeah. The, on the bed frame. The pattern <laughs> on the rug and the pattern on the tea kettle. So highly detailed, and even the the little pattern on the little chair there, really right, highly so detailed. Here we go. We're gonna walk into the middle of nowhere and get to the dog room. If it loads in, which I hope it does, because it should be loading in any time. There it goes. There we go. Okay. Hey. Okay. Room. Uh, you, now you we're in control. <laughs> so did you hear Big Man Japan's theory on the mini map? I don't know nope. if he was serious or joking or not. It's hard to tell with him sometimes. Um but he he made a joke like that the mini map cuz look, you you have Mira watching James and Maria on like a view screen on a map. So what if the mini map is what <coughs> Mira's looking at to track where James is? <laughs> I feel like that's a joke. <laughs> but like part of the conditions for putting in the uh -huh. inputs to bring up the mini map requires you to already have the dog ending. It's the only ending you have to have for those inputs to work. <laughs> if you look over there on that little like like machine on the wall over there, that those levers are like they, they look like they're like flat textures. Oh, they are. <laughs> they're completely flat <laughs> textures. 
Um, also, this map has me a little curious because it doesn't really look like Silent Hill. Um, and also, what's with Maria's face? Or James' face? You see the UFO thing on the, over on the side, the little UFO model? Yeah. <laughs> yeah what's it, up with Jesus' face? He's like, whoa. Yeah. Uh, I, I just want to get a close up of that because that is that's just too good to pass up on. Yeah. Make a good wallpaper. Just put that on my computer monitor is just a nice big shot of that uh, with their faces. Because then it's like I'm Mira. Oh, God. We're all Mira. It was me all along. <laughs> okay. This does not look like Silent Hill that I've ever seen before. <laughs> and Maria's face is really good. Yeah, what out. is this map those, actually? This... Those need to those need to be emotes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at this like, yeah, that that map does not match up with Silent Hill at all. That is not like Toluca. I mean, she looks stoned, honestly. <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm Canadian now, motherfucker. <laughs> James looks like a concerned father. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I was about to We're say it looks <laughs> like Silent Hill 1 graphics. It almost looks like Silent Hill 1, the CGI. Yes, please make these emotes because that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just just for some emotes that'd be great they have to have the red and blue outlines on them too though yeah yeah like with the the outline and everything <laughs> oh, so boy. since we're not we're not going the dog ending route this is pretty much the only the only way we're going to get to see this room and this playthrough so um also there's no other rooms like i've already went into the void and looked for literally about three hours trying to find any other rooms that may be in the darkness. Um, these are the only two. Okay. So it's just this room and, uh, Mary's bed. Yeah. Um, trust me, if I'd found Angela's house or the other cutscene rooms, yeah. I would have I had that plastered all over Twitter and YouTube. So, all right. So snap this back. And I guess let's go back to the actual playthrough. That was a fun little detour. Oh, yeah. Can we get a camera view when we get back to the regular, back to the real world, back to the hotel? <laughs> the real um, world. Can you see the VHS tape in the VCR after putting it in? I'm curious if it's there before. See, you guys are making me think of things that I wouldn't be thinking. About I wouldn't have. Otherwise. I wouldn't have thought what to it's even ask that if not for the fucking light bulbs. <laughs> now I'm questioning everything. Who knows what's we're, inside? We're, we're anything. Look inside this VCR. There's going to be a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be a brown trout. <laughs> well, I mean, I would laugh like really hard if that was true. <laughs> You'd just probably hear me fall to the floor and just hear the headset crashing. <laughs> All right, so we're zooming in on the TV, apparently, because I'm drunk with my camera controls. Uh, doesn't look like anything is in the VCR. Spoilers. I know you're behind. <laughs> Spoilers. Oh, well. It was worth a look. It was. Oh, well. However. What if there, there was a light bulb in there? There are a pack of something over here in this ashtray. And it looks like it says Rocky or Reiki or something. Oh. I that, have no idea. I would have been... Very, very pleased if that was somehow a pack of Hemingway lights. <laughs> oh, God. I think this is Rami, actually. R or Rahi. Rahi, maybe? 
can't tell. Oh, that's a nice attention to detail right there. Tommy. Oh, I, I love that. That just little detail you can see on the carpet where the trash can was before. Or oh yeah, it like it's been. There's a stain and it's been moved. Oh my gosh! Holy shit, dude! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Little details they make a big difference. Damn. Oh wow! This is so weird. That's crazy, dude. I'm so glad I didn't actually explore every single nook and cranny of every room, because, any, I mean... Is there any change between the cushions? <laughs> if there... Didn't if look there like were, it. I, if there were, I would just completely stop playing. I would just be like, okay, Kami, you win. And <laughs> just that, note, that notepad looks a lot like the one from Silent Hill 1, except yeah. it's like black. Yeah, they look very similar. Oh, only 35 cents. Hmm. Not enough for a pack of Rommies. <laughs> also, why are the vents at the top of the room? That's kind of strange. I'm used to seeing vents and hotels like at the bottom. Um, I mean, I've I've been in some hotels and stuff where the the AC is just kind of like a vent in the wall like that. And they actually gave... They connected the wire. Why? <laughs> Why? Really? It's connected connect to the wall? It's wow. They like, took the goes... time to put the wire. Like, you Into never can see It doesn't this. connect right there, but it connects directly to the back of the phone. But, That's like, so cool. again, you'd never see a wire at all from any given angle. Other than doing this, that's nutty. Playboy tape and VHS would have been great. I agree. I agree that would have been hilarious. How much of the uh, the balcony and stuff is out there? And this is in... What, why is this in Celsius? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See you zooming in on the, uh, the thermostat. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Here we go. <laughs> There you go. Continuity error. Continuity. I mean. Okay, well, we gotta just we gotta stay here for a second. Just wait for the stream to catch up because there's gonna be some comments about this. Okay. I mean, I mean, I already see it. It's it's on. <laughs> I mean, not that the bulb. Oh, it's just oh. <laughs> oh my. There's a bulb. Well done. There's another fucking light bulb. <laughs> another bulb somewhere where you would never see it. Silent Un Bulb. Believe. The stream. <laughs> <laughs> Silent Bulb the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's two over here. There's two over here. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We're shedding a lot of light on this on this game, aren't we? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Lord. Please laugh. All right, so Neko Run, you're replacing on. Raven in Team Silent. Look at that. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> also random red at the end of the texture over here i have no idea why but it's a thing so also it's i love that little filter it puts, it puts yeah. over yeah kind of makes it dreamy looking Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a double sided texture. Is it? <laughs> We're waiting. You'll get to it. Oh, Just... yeah. oh cool. <laughs> it, in what case the... you want to watch TV from the balcony. <gasps> oh my god. Why? Did it... Why? Why is it double sided? Well, you'd never see the back anyway, so. I'd never it's see It's amazing these light that there's anything anyway. there. So, just in this room, we've discovered that the lamps actually have lights. The telephone actually is hooked up. There's nothing in the VCR. There's a pack of cigarettes in the cigarette ashtray. There's a, there's a spot on the 
carpet where the trash can used to be, and for some reason, the TV's dual screen. So <laughs> wow. it's very advanced for its time. Oh yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Why did okay, but why did they only put part of the texture there? I don't understand that. Like, if they put that texture there, but they didn't put the texture, like, they called the back face of the bottom out. Why? Yeah, it's only that. that they didn't think you'd see it. They pay so much attention to detail on other things, but like, other things, it's like, eh, they won't see it. Also, for some reason, the thermostat isn't celsius because and the rest of the world uses celsius but this takes place in maine so. yeah <laughs> well they don't know that as a continuity error and i have lost a little bit of faith okay let's get back to james over here and see if that's actually in the also no plug What's in the wardrobe? It'd be like Mary's dress or something. That'd be or a amazing. light bulb. Or a light bulb. Or another light bulb. <laughs> Just have floating light bulbs everywhere out of bounds. Yeah. 100%. Do I have to have the flashlight on or something? No, this one's just a very specific... You just have to stand right in front of it where you trigger the uh, text. Yeah, you're, you gotta be a little more lined up with it. So that's highly specific and yep. quite annoying. It's very fun missing that on a speed run. I imagine so. Or or is it broken? Because I don't think it's this specific. Nah, it is. Oh, there it goes? Okay. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to let this play out uh, because I want to I want to see if I can make it actually let me control the camera in the cutscene. Uh, question in chat. Did we, ever, did we ever see what was behind the hole he sticks his hand in? We did. We... Yeah, we did. Go what back about there? four and a half hours in the VOD. <laughs> well, what was it? Come on. It was a key. It was, it was a key. In there was a shiny key. model key in the back of the hole. <laughs> Even after you get it, it's still there. I was going to say, Venera is one of my moderators. Don't make her mad. Okay. Don't make her do work. <laughs> <laughs> because lore. That's the best explanation. Yeah. Also, this this scene was not censored very well because you can still tell exactly what's happening. I mean, they kind of wanted you to know, but they didn't want to outright give it out. But they cut the audio. Yeah. Why? Why cut the audio if? Oh, what just happened? Uh, nothing. Okay, and I've also got control in the cutscenes now, kind of. I mean, sort they of. cut. I mean, they just didn't want to make it overboard, and they probably didn't want any like death noises or struggle noises. They just, but it's very obvious. Uh, oh my god! How, how creepy the... would it be if, like, I zoomed the camera out and Mary was standing right behind James or something? <laughs> oh, uh, Alcavilla Hospital took the time to go through and do the text edit. Here we go. On the there back, in small letters, it says, "I'm Johnny," and there's too much commentary. Uh. <laughs> Is, is James just going to set like this forever, or is there... That is amazing. Thank you so much, Alcamilla. I'm, I'm just going to go out here and... Oh, there's Laura. She just pops in out of nowhere. And so did James. He just disappeared. Hey, I was about to say, is Laura just out there? Yeah, she literally spawned inside the door. There she is. Oh, yeah. dang. Oh, come on, camera. Stop that snapping. The door is still open. I just want to mention that. Laura, were you raised at a bar and you left the door wide open? 
I mean, in in the cutscene where you're in the the room with the piano, uh, sometimes she'll just phase right through the door instead of opening it. So later on, we got to see Angela collapse all weird too at the top of the stairs. If we yeah, can. for sure. So you just got you guys want to see her do like a uh, super intensive yoga? Oh, for sure. Got to show that off. Everybody wants to see what's at the top of the stairs. Where does Angela go? She goes to Silent Hill 3 to become a dead body in the floor and a head and a cut. <laughs> a floating head in the with, diner. <laughs> with different shoes. No, she just goes to the top of the stairs and folds inside her own asshole. <laughs> and then disappears. As, so. as you would expect, yeah. <laughs> as you do. I mean, I was I was thinking about trying DDP yoga, but after seeing something like that, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, but the flexibility she shows is just outstanding. <laughs> yeah. She's got some moves. <laughs> okay, where does Laura go? My money is on. Oh, it just stopped. <laughs> and she disappears. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah, nope. without a doubt. We're catching up. Yeah, she just stops in the middle of the room. She teleports to the door. Hey, she closed the door on the way out, though. Oh, that she didn't teleport. That was just the door changing. The door literally just changed animation states into it was closed. Yeah. Again. Laura just went boink and disappeared. Awesome. I will check the wardrobe before I leave this room. Mark my. Forgets to check the wardrobe. <laughs> gotta gotta find those light bulbs. Okay, it's like so a scavenger hunt. Now that all of that's taken care of, let's go back here. Have the <laughs> camera do its Damn thing. Damn it, dude, man! It's like book of memories view. It's exactly what this is. Oh uh, no! <laughs> it's got our You're mini right. map. It's top down. Oh no! <laughs> this is Silent Hill Two book of memories mode. Mm. And it's now I'll still go make way a mod better. To where the camera stays there the entire time. Call it book of memories. You hate to see it. <laughs> that would be the one video I get like literally two views on. <laughs> it's just because it says Book of Memory in the title. I don't know. People people are interested in seeing Book of Memories because very few people like saw that game or played it. Not many people had a Vita and even fewer people that owned Vitas had Book of Memories. So what do they call that? Schadenfreude? Where they like to watch other people suffer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There is nothing in the wardrobe. I am so sorry. Oh. No. Oh, no light bulbs. No Worth Narnia. Checking. <laughs> I love that. Every time I turn around, James is just looking. He is so disappointed in me. <laughs> he is just like, I'm trying to get, have a coherent story here. Yeah, he's like, the fuck you doing? Oh, yeah. One more look inside the VCR. See if the tape's there now. Oh, wow. Wow. They they did all of that extra detail, but they couldn't bother making the bottom of the pillows. <laughs> no, they wow. couldn't. Just wow. I am disappointed. I know. There should have been like a sweat stain where somebody <laughs> laid there once. Well, I mean... Later in the series, Anne does come to this room, so at least in is the... that is that flat static image on the TV on the back of it too? Um maybe that, that static gif. Nope, it is not. Still nothing in the VCR. Guys, you don't understand. Like, these guys in the comments, they don't understand. I actually love Downpour, so I would be more than happy to... I've hacked Downpour a lot, so I'd be more than happy to start a Downpour hacking stream. 
Don't even tempt me. Oh, I mean, I do not love Downpour, but I would be happy to see it hacked and, like, still look and see, like, all these things you wouldn't normally see. I'd love to do this for any game. Like... Um... Oh my god. Why is James's shadow low poly? Oh, that's really strange. James has a low poly head and it looks like Harry. It's, like, it's just like the PC version, the character shadows. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so ugly. Where they had the, the, those like sharp claw hands. Yeah. Know? Okay, I want to go check the door and see if there's anything on this door it just looks like a map of sorts except for some reason it shows that we're in the middle of the hallway and we're not whoa whoa oh that's trippy that's trippy um the light switches the texture changes when you get close to them like it's off and then it's on like when you get close to it oh wow the That's switches true. move. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Because Team Silent is very, very I mean, good at attention to detail. I mean, we've been joking. Parts. We've been joking this whole time about, like, increasing the brightness. You're just going around turning lights on. I didn't think you were actually flipping switches. <laughs> oh no, my secret has been revealed. <laughs> yep, you've been exposed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um <laughs> I was like, why am I suddenly here? Oh, okay. Um Oh yeah. If I did, huh. If, if I why are you it, suddenly here? <laughs> because I, st I I still had the room modified locked in. Lol. Okay. You can just so, jump to another area. Yeah, yeah I'm just, I'm just going to skip all this if I can actually. Um, Let's see. Videotape, videotape, videotape. No, I do not want to use the knife. Why would I use the knife on a VCR? Okay, I maybe can pick the tape got stuck. <laughs> maybe, you, maybe, you, maybe you don't like what it's showing you. I've had some VCRs break and my tapes get stuck and I'm trying to do everything to get that tape out. Pry it out with a knife. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, 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 I had like a visual, like a mental image of someone just stabbing a VCR with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Don't show Jesus. me that anymore. Push the button and nothing happens. As with most things in Silent Hill. Except for, yeah. you know, flipping light switches. Yeah, right. <laughs> That are not even interactable. Oh god! Oh, look so at that. Bright. There's no bulbs in the hallway lights. Wait, <laughs> are you are you serious? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I, as you ran I, past I, him, the camera went into the uh, the little lights on the side of the hall. Like no bulbs. Oh my god, that is so bright! Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh, oof. My eyes. Okay, they decided oh. to go with the UFO ending where the sun was too bright. <laughs> you know, that was like one of the actual suggestions for the joke ending when they were kicking around like, what should we do for like a joke ending? And they took submissions from everybody. And someone's suggestion was that the sun was too bright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see why that didn't go through. I don't. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh, okay. We'll just let you believe that. Oh, okay. Can we do the little scene where you could see that what happens to the phone and every, I mean, for the headphones and everything? Where he doesn't actually put them on his head? One second. I have to kill a bunch of things to be able to do that. Here is where you would, if, if we had proper game audio stuff, you'd hear... Uh... Dennis Fault, <laughs> aka Walter Sullivan, mm -hmm. reading That's these Wall lines. He's Mary's That's doctor. Wally boy. That's Wally Boy. Oh, that was lovely, James. Oh, that was another thing that Jeremy <laughs> uh, mentioned. Um, 
in one of those recent interviews that Dennis Fault also was uh, he did like a bunch of extra voices including I think one of the was that the oh, I don't remember now was it the doctor the unnamed doctor in Silent Hill 1 what what about him because there's 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 two other people in that room right when Kaufman is uh, talking to yeah. Dahlia about Alessa and like you know uh, oh yeah you're talking about the, the yeah. guy who's like there's the guy who's like he sounds like this okay so there's the two one. voices there's there's one and one of those will take is time. it's I'm thinking of something else that's not Dennis fault that was um, um, Michael Gwynn Harry himself as one of them. And the the other one, the the voice that's like, yeah. half the soul is lost. Half that I always kind of like lost. make fun of the the intonation on it. I think that's Harry Inaba, because he said he did a voice. So I think that oh, was yeah. Harry Inaba. Is that his real voice? I mean, it, presumably. It might, speaking English, it might be. But the other guy is clearly Michael Gwynn, because he's like. And what remains of that husk? That's clearly Harry. Yeah. In another <laughs> inflection, but that's clearly him. I'm trying to think what was the other there was another voice he mentioned Dennis Fault did. Oh, the game show. He's the game show host on the no elevator. No way, I didn't know that. Holy shit. Hi everybody. That's Walter Sullivan saying his own name in another game. <laughs> you know what I think about it? That, that does sound familiar because like when, when I hear like Walter talking in Silent Hill 4, I think of when he's like, he's like, you're it, the last of the 21 sacraments. That voice does sound like that he makes right there does sound very similar to the game show host guy. Except Walter's voice is a little dreamy. <laughs> Yeah, he always I don't sounds kind of sleepy. <laughs> You're it. The yeah, last it. of the 21 sacraments. I always loved that line. I, I was just like, I loved the delivery of it. The final sign. The receiver of wisdom. I always like, hey there, little Walter. <laughs> just a little longer now. Just a little longer now. I wish He's such a good voice go actor. I love all of his his character voices. Now Let's that I know how many he did for this series. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. If you see it freezing, I'm actually freezing it over here. Get rid of all of these things so I can move the camera. And I actually need to speed up the camera a little bit. I should have done this earlier during cutscenes. I really should have, but I just didn't think of it. Oh yeah, it's time for some some extreme DDP yoga. <laughs> and we're not talking about like an Origins where Travis can pick up items with his butt cheeks. <laughs> I'm just going to stay up here and wait for her to walk up the stairs so we can see the full thing. We'll just watch from the top down. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Now this is how you watch this scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's much more dramatic this way. And also, why why does the fire stop at a certain point? Oh, and then the fire spawned up here. That's just I, how fire works. I mentioned it and another little spark just started at the top of the stairs. Unpredictable, man. Fire can do whatever it needs to do, man. <laughs> yeah, there's the little <laughs> the I one, the one little stray up. flame. Okay, well, let's just <laughs> This is why do these scenes these scenes seem to take forever with there's when there's no audio? Oh, I know, right? When when you're actually watching it and like hearing all the lines and going through it you're you're a lot more invested in it it's 
So yeah, you just don't realize how long these scenes kind of go on. There's a few lines by Angela that I absolutely love. Like, no matter how cringy they are, like, are you afraid? I mean, I love that line. Yeah. The way she says it. I like this one, too, when she's like, that's what I thought. After, like, confronting him, like, you're going to be the one to take care of my busted ass? Yeah, and she does <laughs> that think little... think so. She was like, huh, that's what I thought. She's like, huh. Or, or, or what about Laura Bailey in the HD collection? She's like, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> You're flipping the script on him. Oh, uh, the HD, the HD collection voices, I will say Silent Hill 3s have warmed up to me, but I never like Silent Hill 2s. Like, like, I'll be, I, l listen, Yuri Lowenthal didn't really do a bad job as Vincent. He sounded like the only one that like really sunk his teeth into it. But uh, everything else is rough. But I Yuri Lowenthal did not do a bad job as Vincent. I'll give him that. I, I Initially, I didn't like the new Heather, but I warmed up to it because I realized Heather is a teenager. She should still act that way and sound that way. And I don't like how she, did, she took liberty with the, with the lines, though, and she just added whatever. It doesn't even match the subtitles. <laughs> well, so that's something that got mentioned in those recent interviews with like uh, Tom Hewlett and uh, Jeremy Blaustein, Jay Blau, um, where they were they were talking about the script changes and they like Tom consulted Jeremy like with those changes and Jeremy was like, okay, here cool. comes Angela, here comes Angela. <laughs> oh, it's time, it's time for some extreme DDP yoga. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> here we oh, go. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Coming up the stairs. Here she comes. <laughs> Tim and Eric. <laughs> here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> here she comes. Ah! <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> oh! Doing oh, a robot. She's doing it. She's doing it. <laughs> Show us your moves, she, Angie. Show me your moves. She just like literally freezes up here and she doesn't. I, I don't even think she's alive anymore. Do your impression of luggage. Wait, Angela. so she just stops like this? Yeah, she just stays like this. That's very oh my, different from what happens that, on PC. That's different from Big Man Japan's thing that he showed. That. Oh her hair. Whoa. 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 Oh my oh god. My god. Oh my god. Oh, look at her legs. Oh, oh god. my god. I'm just saying her leg is twisted in a way that brings me great pain just to see it. <laughs> well, I mean, did you see that robot she just did? Jesus. <laughs> Hold on. I want to do a really slow zoom in on her face. That way I can get all of the details. I'm uh I'm gonna take a moment and pull up the uh, Big Man Japan video so that you can see the the difference what she does on PC. All right, you should so... timestamp it if you can. Yeah. Someone earlier said gotta let it out yeah that will make cry yeah that's me <laughs> i've got that song embedded in my brain right now what is that behind her ear right there uh, that. Uh, what, wait, what happens to her hair and the in her face it's like mm -hmm. it gets dirty it's funny because that's closer to like what she looks like, what her head looks like in three, because her hair and stuff's not all on it correctly. I think it's supposed to be a hair clip behind her thing. Oh, yeah, like what is I ref that? I refuse her to cyborg that's implant. A hair clip. It's like a Bluetooth <laughs> headset from 2000. She's like Mr. X. She has that little <laughs> thing in the side of her head. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, nope, uh, she is a tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> She was secretly controlled by Umbrella. Wowie. 
the crossover we didn't so, know we wanted. So that link I just put in chat. If if people want to see what Angela's model does at the top of the stairs on the PC version, it's very different. It's much more athletic. That's what I was expecting. And Interesting yeah, to just, see that the console to, doesn't do it the same way. Just a reminder to those of you that don't know, this is actually the uh, the original black label PS2 version. So that's what we're running this on. Um. Okay, I'm trying to find collision so I can walk up the stairs. Actually, I know what I can do. Uh, I had to do this for a video, and I, luckily I saved it. So what I can do is I can actually go into my menu, and I can restart this room. Like, I can go into my menu, toggle this right here, um, and then it'll reset the room. Except now the fire is gone. Huh. So I can actually... The collision for the fire is still there, but the fire and the damage is actually... Um, one second, that way I can find this collision. Wait, do you actually take damage from the fire? I thought it was just a... I thought it was just a knockback. It's not actually dealing damage. To be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure. I just know it knocks you back, so I... Because I tried seeing if you could die there and if you just keep running into it enough, and I'm pretty sure you don't. Okay, let's just go walking up the stairs. Angela's not up here, but... We can actually visit this part of the room. Nice. I like how all this stuff shows on the mini map too. Yeah, something tells me it. I I really don't think it was meant to be a player on. I mean, it it is a player unlock technically, but at the same time, I don't think the devs ever intended for anyone to find it. Yeah. Okay, let me just turn that back normal. I've got to reload. All right, there we go. Oh, well, that flashing light is a bit annoying. And apparently my flashlight is dead. Yep. The flashlight stops working after the you play the uh, VHS tape. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I would just try to press it to change it. Yep. Is that is that a waiter like dolly thing or is that a is that a gurney? Oh, it's a waiter dolly. Yeah. Like the little table. Never mind. I'm tripping. I'm wondering what's going on with the lights right here. It's a uh, bad wiring. <laughs> I thought it was something on my end that was glitching, and I was like. I don't remember doing that strobe effect. I don't remember. No, the strobe effect is not supposed to be there. <laughs> oh. <one. laughs> nice rifle shells. I didn't know they were there. <laughs> or I probably did, I just forgot. Why am I picking up things again? You'd really want that 10 star rank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not going to get it because I didn't probably up. not, but yeah. commend you for trying. As said, that is just the natural instinct of survival horror players is like, there's a thing. I'm going to pick it up. So Doesn't I'm matter gonna, if I have 999 of them. I'm just going to save it here because I've, uh, like, when I was playing this by myself i was trying to figure out exactly what zone uh, the final battle takes place in and it actually takes place in the same zone as um well as the zone i'm in right now so give me one second i'm gonna disable collision 
And I'm gonna run through the wall and go to the final. Oh battle. man, James's head freaking out, trying to look at that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> trying to look at the Mandarin. He looks like a lying figure the way he's twitching around. Yeah, he's got his. He's doing the twitchy head thing. He saw Jacob's ladder. Yeah, that still freaks me out. Like that happened. They did that same effect in uh, Stupefy by Disturbed in the music video. Yeah. And it, it freaked me right the hell out. I was like, okay, nope. I, I love this song, but nope. You know that effect also, uh, they use it in um, some uh, Aphex Twin videos that uh, Ito was very fond of. Oh, I was like, <laughs> okay, what happened? What what is with that lighting? It changes. Weird. Jacob's Ladder is one of those movies that like no one's really like if you bring it up, no one's really seen it. But it's it's like somehow so influential on like so many like I've so many. It. Um, yeah, I'm sure I've most of us have seen it. But. I've seen it like two times, I think. But it's definitely influenced a lot of uh, psychological horror, both in literature and in movies and TV and of course games like Silent Hill and yeah it, it really I was a, I heard someone's working on a remake of it too yeah or, or they're thinking about it yeah I think that's still happening I hope it doesn't yeah it's kind of one of those <laughs> things like why I mean whatever people are gonna remake everything it doesn't it doesn't take away from the originals like you'll always still have that original to go back to but it kind of does, if you think about it, because, um, like, what if someone's never seen the original, and the original, like, they did something completely different in the remake that completely screws it up? Then they can so, still watch the original after the fact. And at the very least, when it comes to movies and things as a media, like, it's it's all it's all the same thing, right? It's It's not like the availability of a game. Because when it comes to, like, remaking a game, people might not be able to, like, Silent Hill 2, for example. You know, this game's on PlayStation 2, this game's on original Xbox, this game's on PC. So you might not have any of those things. So your only option is the HD yeah, collection um, on, like, a PS3 or a 360, up. right? So that yeah. sucks. That situation sucks because there is no other option for that person in that situation to see the original for comparison. But if you've got a DVD player that you're watching or a Blu-ray player or something that you're watching a remake on, you could also just pop in the video for the original in most cases. There's also the internet. <laughs> and the and, internet. Yeah, but I mean, there's still that thing like first impressions. Like if someone didn't like the remake, they're probably not going to go back and watch the original. And it, it's one of those things like right now the remake anime movie your name can I hell out of it and it's completely changing the plot and I know most people wouldn't be like well that's an anime movie I'm gonna watch that it's only for like a niche audience but the people who are not gonna go and watch the original they're gonna get all of their opinions about your name from that movie even if it's a complete bastardization of the original plot. Fair enough. Fair that, enough. That, that is true. Because uh, I definitely know the... some some people like with the Halloween movies where I know some people who like they never saw the original. So the first time the first Halloween movie they saw was Rob Zombie's remake, which is interesting in its own ways, but it's definitely very different from the original. So your opinions on the characters are very different because of that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you're definitely you're definitely right on that. It, it'll influence the way people think about what they see next, especially the younger audience. Exactly, and like it it kind of hurts the it kind of hurts the original fan base especially with anime and things like that that they keep making live action uh, film adaptations to it 
hurts the original fan base because it's instead of bringing in new fans it's just like oh you mean that stupid netflix thing yeah and it, it divides fans more than anything exactly leave us both the hell alone what happens to maria after everything happens like did, does all that disappear up there yep it all disappears um can you even <laughs> see that area i guess from from here um let me go out of bounds because pyramid head is going to keep oh yeah yeah you, if I you can a little bit saw it up there um let's see i think there's a timer in this <laughs> yeah so. algabella we know no no teeth eyes in this version have to have to hack the hd collection at some point <laughs> which i've actually already started so. hey, hey, hey there you all go all right somebody asked about that earlier i think about hd collection and lucky for me they didn't change like the rooms or anything like that so i was immediately able to grab things out of memory that i had memorized from the original. that's good so it's easy to transfer over, and I, I've got to do a, a hack stream of that eventually. Awesome. And, and prove why it's the superior version. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just to spell it out. <laughs> because someone out there is going to be like, Deco Run said it was the superior version. That is, that is fact. That, that person who's only ever played the HD collections, like, finally, someone agrees. I actually did a review of it um, during ancient times on YouTube. And yeah, me like, too. Oh, God, I don't even go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did a little one, too. Still love Downpour, though. Uh, let's see. You can go up here. As said, as much as I don't like downpour on its own, like for what is it, what it is, there's a lot of things to downpour that, like outside of the the game itself, that I have like some respect for. That's why oh I, like, when we did our team play uh, uh -oh. of downpour last time, and we went through the uh, uh, the comic book alongside it. <laughs> you followed me out of bounds. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Pyramid Head. He's, like, He's I'm cheating. Gonna get you. I'm gonna get He's you cheating to get you. Oh my god, that was <laughs> terrifying. He's never done that before. <laughs> but yeah, that stuff up there despawns. Um, we can see the symbols really well from up here. Yeah, that's cool. I'm just worried that he's going to clip back through the boundaries and kill me when I'm not looking. True terror with Pyramid Head can clip through boundaries. <clears throat> We've already seen... Oh, they're going to do the animation to kill themselves over here. They're like, screw this. I'm out of here. Oh, there they go. They start twirling in circles. I love it. They're dancing. Okay. Well, this is definitely a creative way to defeat the two pyramid heads. Absolutely. Just, just, just clip out of bounds and wait for them to give up. Yeah. I, I literally bored them to death. <laughs> Got them. They're like, fuck this, bye. They're like, too much commentary. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Old Johnny Pyramid Head didn't like that. <laughs> Mm -mm. Johnny that, Pyramid one, Head. If that person that wanted to see, like inside Pyramid uh, Pyramid Head's helmet, is still in the stream, I can totally do that. Right. Now. Oh, you should, sure. just, do, just do it anyway. Oh no, Ito is gonna be pissed when he finds out about oh, this. Yeah, he's gonna be furious. <laughs> Not really. Oops. Someone's hey, gonna I, I was surprised to learn recently, like somewhat recently, that there even is a head. I was under the impression because of the making of Silent Hill 2, like many fans were for years, that uh, the pyramid was his head. Um, but more recently, Ito has tweeted about that to clarify that there is supposed to be some sort of head inside the pyramid, not 
you know, well, I mean, on the Edwin, model itself, and it's something that he never intends to reveal in any capacity. What, what if it's just another light bulb? <laughs> <laughs> it's a light bulb just sitting in there. Okay, well, I had to put the. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so if it's another light bulb, um, <laughs> I'll gift a hundred just... subs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if there's a light bulb in that head. <laughs> oh God! Oh boy! What if they just actually use light bulbs for placeholders in this game, and like there's a <laughs> light bulb in everything? <laughs> Okay, so we went through James's head. I'm I'm tempted just to like go modify them. That's that's very <laughs> symbolic of you to do. That we have to go through James's head to get through pyramid heads. Head. Mm. <laughs> oh, here uh, we go. So, what in the world is that? Oh, what is that a bolt? Okay, I was like confused for a second. I'm sad you there you can't even see like the uh the tongue. Cause yeah, uh, he's got that bolt sticking out of the side. It's nice seeing that up close. But then he's also got his uh his little tentacle, his little tongue that, what that he sticks that out whenever he uh whenever he does the choke attack. Is that the spear? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Pretty pretty visceral, huh? Yeah, and I didn't actually think it would go up in his head. Um, let's go check the other pyramid head for light bulbs. <laughs> Never know. Like sometimes they put light bulbs in light fixtures, and other times they don't. Um, let's see. Nope, no light bulb. I think only the pyramid head model. The one with the tongue. And I could have got a really good shot of that when I was visiting him in the apartments. Like when I was right beside of him. Couldn't have done it then. Didn't think to. Yeah. It's pretty cool doing it now. Even just getting a, you know, an, an up close look in game of these textures and models is great. Cause yeah, again, like you can you can grab like the model viewer and stuff, and look at all the maps, look at all the the creature models and stuff up close. But something about just moving in and looking at it during normal gameplay, very cool. This door or these doors, I should say, are really evil sometimes. Like they've got certain triggers you have to hit to be able to get through them. And sometimes, even after you put the eggs inside of them, they still don't open. So. Really? I've never had any problem with these doors. It's usually only when you're hacking it. When you're breaking when you're, the camera or yeah, something? Like, when you're skipping various triggers in the game, sometimes it's just like, nah. Huh. <laughs> always like what if uh, during here. the fight the model is different since it's now a non-moving thing do you know if there's multiple uh pyramid head models the same way you were talking about the multiple james models for different situations mm, well actually in the game files it's just under red and it looks like there's only like one model that just got his weapon. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And also, um, does anyone know where Pyramid Head name came from? Because he's just called Red Pyramid Thing. Open up yeah. your inventory. Look at the great knife. Read the description. Yeah. Is that really where it came from? Yep. That's yeah, where it's a, mentioned in game. Head. There's a few other. There's a few other too. Like if you examine the dead pyramid heads, he'll say pyramid head won't move anymore. Yep. That's really strange because like everywhere else, he's it's like red pyramid thing. 
Everyone That's refers true. to it as Red Pyramid Thing. Ito himself refers to him a lot as... Uh, and and uh, I think there's something you can examine in the room where you get the great knife where he's like, this is Pyramid Head's room or something like that, if I remember So is correctly. Pyramid Head like, like a localization th thing then? Uh, I mean, we could ask Jeremy. Say that. Even like the little figurines and things sold in Japan, like the Figma, they're actually just called Red Pyramid Thing. So that's it's always been really weird to me. I'm like, why is he both called the Red Pyramid thing and Pyramid Head? Why can't they? Yeah, I'm I'm guessing I don't know, just maybe a localization thing. What do you want, James? Red localized thing. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Yeah. See, this is the hallway. <laughs> if you uh, if you make a save. Uh, on the PC version, right before going through this room. Uh, prison toilet. You get the busted subtitle text where he's like, prison toilet, catacomb. <laughs> catacomb already. Catacomb already. <laughs> I think Discord's bugging out again because one just went wrong. Oh, me. We're almost there. Okay. Home stretch. Time to break the game, so uh, it's going to make me reset the entire playthrough. Okay, so first and foremost, save. Save state. Um, I'm also really curious about why the texture is so dark. Oh, that's why. Okay. Oh god. Okay, well James just went nightmare. Um what We'll we'll see in a moment, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Okay. Oh yeah. You guys just like go Whoa. quiet on me and I'm like what? Dark Pit. <laughs> oh shit. So we're just gonna be playing with weird bugged out James for the rest of the playthrough. Gonna, I'm fine with that. This, oh my god. This, oh, uh, you... It looks like the James texture they use for the dead body, so we're just going to call this dead James. Yeah, that's awesome. I had a glitch uh, when I was playing the original Xbox version on 360 where I got into the, the room where you fight Eddie mm -hmm. and, like the first time, and the game put one of the dead corpse textures on Eddie. Oh, so that Eddie crazy. was covered with the dead James corpse texture. It, it was strange. so cool looking. I was like, oh man, this is boss Eddie. <laughs> Shit. He leveled up. Huh. There's actually a floor below here. Why? And also, this is like a really extreme wave pool. Yeah. You notice too, when you first load into an area with water like this, the water is really very still and then it slowly gets more and more like wavy. The wind picking up. It's like the hotel swimming pool. I wonder how far this texture goes out. Give me one second. I want to see if it actually goes beyond the boundaries. It does not, and I am genuinely surprised by that because most of the time the water textures actually go out of bounds. Yeah, um, every other time that you've showed it, it, it just <laughs> continues on past the confines of the room it's in. Ah, oh, but not this one. The one room I show off has to be like, no. So, uh, oh. I still don't get why it's doing that. Like, so for some reason, the... Okay, there it goes. It brightened back up. Um, it's calling upon James's uh, brightness for the walls of the room for a while. And what the hell? Okay, just watch the rain in a second, guys. Okay, now we have finally healed down for. Oh wow! <laughs> the rain really kicked in. Does that mean more monsters are going to spawn? <laughs> <laughs> Enemies are going to yeah. become more aggressive? 
we have more aggressive enemies, more enemies to spawn, and more likely corns getting ready to start playing in the background. <laughs> this looks like <laughs> HD collection rain effect. Well, we're going to be playing with Dead James and HD collection rain effect then. He's moving, so he's more undead, James. Fair point, fair point. Why is it so bright? And why, what is happening with the fog? Okay. Oh, oh. Well, that's neat. Um, Ghost James. Hmm. I can actually do that too. <laughs> what does Mary I, look like? I, I'm more curious about why the fog is freaking out. Like, the fog is super bright now. What happens if I change? Oh, apparently that's the lighting what and stuff for this is uh, just all well, different. I just disabled the rain completely. Um. Okay, let's walk over to Mary. Okay, I was like, did it freeze? Oh, well, that's terrifying. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what a lovely day to have a cup. Yeah. In in the middle of a void. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna stand out in this fog void and have a chat. <laughs> I just love how we were like, boink, and just was over there. Oh, that is a lovely... Both of them with, like, the black and red textures. That is a lovely shade of what the hell, Mary. <laughs> hell, Mary, wow. Whoa. Oh, okay. It looked like they were, like, tiny there for a second compared to everything. I love this. This is art. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> so... Oh this, my is, God. this is the best thing since uh, Homecoming turned orange. Yeah, it's like a Homecoming glitch. Okay, because I'm going to pause this for just a second because I'm going to break out what I call the quote-unquote fun table. And it's literally just the table I use to mess around with. Um... So let me break that out. And I, I just want to test Ghost James in this area. All right. I've literally never showed this table to anybody because it's literally just my little table. Like, I'm not doing anything serious. So we've um, got a very first for everybody to witness. Uh oh. The cheat tables <laughs> that Neko doesn't tell anyone about. Primarily because it breaks the game in two. So. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's just make James's pistol a long boy every. I can control the length of the gun and everything. In order to make the inventory faster to scroll through, we should have put some stuff on an invisible shelf. Oh God, that's not what I intended. <clears throat> of course, as I said, like this is just a four fun table and it's making the screen go all kinds of crazy. Primarily because of what I did. Before oh, okay, cool. Whoa, I like it. <laughs> oh my god. I like this. <laughs> it's like a virtual, oh virtual boy. Where, the, where is it trying to drag break. you to? What, what's going on? I'm actually breaking my computer. Thank you for your for your sacrifice. For the sake of our entertainment. Holy shit. Stop it. Stop it now. 
Seven FPS of four. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> My computer was actually stuttering there for a second. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, back to the other table. Fun table is not really fun, right? Now. That's enough fun table for one day. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Yikes. This is art. <laughs> it really this is, is art. art. Gaming art. Baby. <laughs> Whoa. My computer froze. Uh, okay. Like completely? Well, we can still hear him. We can still oh, hear you. Oh, I, I oh, think or, Discord or, might still be working. Or can we? Neko? Uh oh. Okay, okay, I'm here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> rip, he rip, rip. Okay. What was happening there is the game was literally crashing my computer. It was eating all of the RAM in my computer, and my video card was literally dying. So. That's enough of the fun table, I guess. <laughs> Unless you want your computer to burst into flames. It doesn't sound very fun. Yeah, and now I'm kind of worried about doing anything because I, I'm actually worried that as soon as I unpause the game, like I've got it paused using Cheat Engine. Um, if I unpause it using Cheat Engine, I'm afraid it's going to start stuttering and everything again. So I'm actually going to use Task Manager to close out the window and go back into this normally. Okay. All right. That's just the safest way to go about this without. I mean, we made it to the end of the game and we showed all this stuff off. So <laughs> if your computer bursts into flames <laughs> as a finale, I mean, <laughs> it'll be hell worth of a it, way though. to go out. It's <laughs> a way to go out. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be like me just setting my guitar on fire and start banging it into the stage. Yeah. yeah the classic, the classic Nirvana concert ending where yeah. they just destroy all their equipment. Yep. Of course, they regret it ten minutes after the show, but oh no, they <laughs> uh, no, they were rich. They just bought more stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna end task. Hopefully, this doesn't break anything, except for maybe like cheat engine. It breaks cheat engine, that's fine. Um, it didn't even break cheat engine. Good, good. Okay, so let me bring it back up. Um, this time, let's not do that. And also, why is that still paused? That's weird. <clears throat> yeah, fun was detected, so the game had to ruin it. <laughs> <clears throat> the game detected, like, what was it? It was uh, too much commentary. Yeah, too yeah. much commentary. The game, <laughs> the too game detected too much commentary, it. and. Yeah. It started breaking my computer in half. Damn it, Johnny. Why is it called the fun table again? Because it literally breaks the... And I have fun with it when I'm not streaming. <laughs> when I'm streaming, it's not a fun table. When I'm streaming, it's the bring hell upon Silent Hill 2 table. Does it normally break your computer that hard when you're not it streaming? Does not. It does not. It, it would never affect it. What it would do is make James's textures translucent and he would look like a crystallized statue just moving around oh wow yeah I'm gonna have to record that later and show it off because obviously the fun table doesn't really like the stream no fun allowed sonic memes <laughs> okay so Let's go up here and deal with Mary. And the fog is still all kinds of messed up and the lighting and everything. I wonder if they're going to teleport into the void again. <clears throat> Are we on the right scene right now? Yeah, we're just... Oh my god, for... James is... James... Oh, wow. Why we standing there? Look like... We were just standing there. We're, we're just seeing 
like the little PCSX window. Oh, it might not be right. capturing correctly on your stream. Yeah, that figures. Um, one second. My bad. Um, it's all good. Glad you guys said something. Blew up. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it it did this before when you uh, when you reset uh, earlier, and then it went back to normal after a bit. So. I wasn't sure if that was going to happen again, and we're just waiting for the, uh, oh, the stream yeah. delay to catch was, up, you know? Earlier, I was actually messing with it, trying to get it to show the actual screen. So that's why that took a while. It's working now. I mean... Yep. Kind of. They're, they're foggy ghost people. All right, so shoot her a couple of times oh god get off me moths be gone <clears throat> that mini map is interesting <laughs> this is a lot it's going so on there yeah this is this is a very busy oh man it even shows you like where the bats are like it yeah. just puts one point one centralized where, point for where they are moving around. Shows you where shows you where Mary is, is what, or Maria, whichever. Is there any way you could turn off the 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 collision so you can't get hurt, and we could see where, like, the the tentacle? Does it go like inside of her body, or is it just like there? Like, like um, where, where, not... I never got a chance to really look at her model. Well, I mean, right now the game is freaking out and making it super foggy in here for the final battle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give me one second. I'll see if I can toggle collision really quick. And, and I can also just set my health to like the maximum and freeze it that way. Even if even if the moths decide to take flight on my face, it won't do much. Um, let's see. Well, that's a nice round health number. Uh, oh, that's why the fog is freaking out <clears throat> what what was it um pretty much it was trying to set it to zero for some reason and it couldn't set it to zero so freaking out okay um hopefully that fixes it sometimes you have to reload an area but hopefully that fixed it all right so let's get this collision it's all Johnny's fault. Damn it, it Johnny. is. Johnny Pyramid Head. Okay, so I'm going to go out of bounds. I don't know if the moth can follow me out of here. And they can. Alright, so... <clears throat> what I'm scared of is I'm going to be looking at her model and then see... The uh, model is going to clip out of bounds and start fucking James over here. Yeah. I mean, that's, what that's great that the moths chase you out of bounds. Is this actually even damaging me? Or are they just a nuisance? Uh, oh, I mean, they do, they do damage. Oh, well, there's people up now. That's lovely. Um, yeah. This is the time of day where the dogs go outside, so there's going to be dogs in the back. I may radio silence for a second. All right, so I've got that taken care of. Let me speed up the camera. I love this. Just James standing out in a void. Yeah. Waving being, off being the pestered moths. by mods. We'll just go through and cut some uh, some euro bead under this. Well, that animation is totally not creepy. Yeah. Wiggly head. Wiggly tentacle. 
gaping mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Mary's having a seizure. Oh my god. I'm going to have to mute my mic. Uh, just give me a minute. I, I mean, we're almost there. Don't worry about it. We can uh, we can deal with dogs for the last oh, yeah. five minutes here. Hell yeah. And again, Neko, thank you so much just for yeah. taking the time, taking the trouble to, been... to join us, to show all this stuff off. Once again, again if you guys haven't followed Neko on YouTube, make sure you guys take the chance to. He he doesn't just do Silent Hill. He does all sorts of other, other games just like this where he showcases all sorts of cool hacking stuff and uh, changing the values of different games and like just showing all sorts of cool stuff outside, outside the boundaries. See, chat wants to know what kind of dogs you have now. See, they're interested. What kind of dogs do you have? There are. Um... I think you might cut out. Yeah. Uh, the figures. Um, there's a uh, five, 12, five, pip. I think you said chihuahuas <laughs> and pits. Are, are, can we, can we come back to James? He's still being harassed. Okay. So is discord being discord again? Yep. Yeah, you were you were so. cutting out again. All right. So pretty much there's a five chihuahua feist and a pit bull in the house, and the chihuahua feist never shut up. <laughs> and it gets the pit bull barking, and the pit bull's bark you can hear from a mile away. So yeah, it's like dominoes. I'm just gonna keep shooting her. Oh god. Of course, leave it to a Japanese developer to make the final boss have a tentacle. Mm hmm. <laughs> Boom. Okay. And have it choke you. <laughs> yeah. The tentacle, in, down. the tentacle in Silent Hill 1 just grabs Harry by the foot. Yeah, this one straight up chokes you. But then right. again, that does make some sense thematically. Mary wanting a little bit of revenge, choke James right back. Maybe that's what they're into. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know their private lives. <laughs> all right. Okay. So someone ask Ito on Twitter. Rebirth. Because we had all the items in our in our <laughs> inventory, so we automatically get rebirth. <laughs> Not even think about that. <laughs> let's, let's just go over here and see Mary. And her disease, disfigured form. Have to keep track with the boat. Hey, there she is. Well, Hanging she's not in, the, in boat. the car. It's like a Viking funeral. Do the funeral pyre. The tele freaky dude. What happens to James' model as it pans out? I wonder. I have no idea. I've never controlled the cutscenes this much before. Um. Oh God! Sorry, Mary. Ooh. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just got way up close and personal with her. Okay. Look at that loading face bit. on James. Yeah, I'm boating. Oh yeah, there we go. <sighs> Mary. Getting right up in there. He's still rowing. <laughs> <laughs> James, where are you going? Is he going underneath <laughs> the island? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Just keep going. laughs> yeah, that's great. Just keep going, James. You'll get there eventually. You're rowing through the island, but you'll get there. The You're almost out. out now. <laughs> he is serious, but oh, here we go. There it is. Well. Is this butt rock music? Do we remember? What is Rebirth? Uh, Rebirth, Rebirth, has, Rebirth, Rebirth has like arguably the best end credit song, I think. Wait, is which one is Rebirth? Is that the theme of Laura or um is Rebirth <laughs> the one where, where it's like the, the you hear Laura talking like backwards? Yeah. Yeah, she's saying the prayer backwards. Yeah. I think also, one, yeah. I wish I could find this JPEG of James. 
with just, just like the, the shadow without the background video and stuff. Yeah, just because this could be used in so many different ways because it's got translucent or transparent parts at the exact correct spots. It just makes it like you're looking into his mind. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like that trans the the the, the transparent trick I do with, with my dark cam. Where it's like I, I I just put the black thing behind me, so like you can't tell that I, I just make parts of my face like see through. Mm-hmm. It's a good effect, but right, uh, so. that's Silent Hill Two hacked. Everybody, yep, hacked all yeah. apart. Yeah, this was wish, this was a lot of fun. This was. I wish super I could have cool. got here earlier. Yeah, this and was that, super that cool. Was just I, the tip of the iceberg, actually. So. Man. Oh and yeah! Just, and just from that, we learned so much. Yeah, that just probably cool. not even scratching the surface of, of 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 anything that could be found in a lot of things. I mean, like even hacking wise, this was just scratching the surface. This was just like no clip and free cam and stuff like that. Yeah. But I mean, on my quote unquote fun table, there's a lot of interesting things that I can do with the game when I'm not on stream because I don't want to break my computer in half. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, Donna Burke. Um, uh, S Force. I hate S Force because decompiling the audio for this game is a nightmare. Um, that's a too nice much name, commentary, Scott though. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, Neko. And like, what? Uh... What other games are you working on, like at the moment, or what are you planning on working on, like in in the near future? Um. Well, actually, right now I'm focusing on uh, PC games primarily. Like I've been learning a lot of x86 uh, assembly, and I'm just trying to perfect that while I'm still on the topic, instead of just flip uh, swap. Hopping back and forth with MIPS for the PS2 and x86 um, because I tend to forget, like, if I don't complete what I'm doing, I'll completely forget what I was doing. Like, earlier, I completely forgot what I was doing in the playthrough. Um, so I'd rather just see that to completion, and then after I get finished with x86 and hacking Bayonetta, Tomb Raider, and several other PC games... Um, I'll probably just turn my attention back to the PS2. Um, there's quite a few other PS2 games I am wanting to hack. And I've also got to finish up the free cam for Silent Hill 4 for Boundary Break uh, for Halloween because there's always a... Uh, it's become a tradition for October Silent Hill Boundary Break, so i got to awesome. finish that up. Hell yeah, dude. Cool, dude. Awesome. But yeah, yeah, really looking forward to it. I would absolutely be down to uh, to do this again sometime. Go through some some other Silent Hill games and see what other interesting stuff we can you can show off. And as said, it's it's great doing this stuff, being able to to learn. Also, great boat time. <laughs> I was yeah, just right. Right. super Dude, fast. Wow, That's a dream, World dream record. time. Uh, world record easy dude i didn't even touch the boat (laughs) so (laughs) that's great that it doesn't uh it doesn't count it (laughs) but yeah i mean um i do a lot of hacking over my channel like it's really laid back it's like this except there's way more uh retro wave in the background and everything because when i'm hacking i literally just turn on music and go to work I don't have any of the sounds on or anything. Sometimes I'll do a casual playthrough, but hey, that's all right. Usually, usually when I'm hacking, I'm just working at it. But if you guys want to, you feel free to stop by and say hey and yeah, dude, watch me hack some stuff. Follow follow him if you have not subscribed to the YouTube and yeah. follow the Twitch. It's all there in chat. Um, so I guess like <laughs> a lot of your right button and ring the bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I mean, Get I guess you put a bail. lot of the uh, a lot of your your final uh, sort of end results. You, you're still putting together videos and putting stuff on YouTube. Uh, you're still active in all of that. 
And then I guess when you're streaming and stuff, it's more when you're uh, just kind of actively working at stuff. Yeah, it's pretty much when I stream, it's the stuff that it, it's what I'm working on towards the YouTube video, the YouTube video, the final product, the Twitch streams are actually getting to see the process of me working on it. Cool. To get to that final product. Well, that's nice. really cool, man. And again, a lot of, a lot of respect for you for how much work, uh, you put into, uh, joining us for the stream, hacking this game live and how much work you put into hacking games in general. Uh, again, we were talking about it earlier, but sort of the, the impact on, on gaming communities, what we're able to, to learn from these games and, and, you know, things we would not know otherwise, we would never see otherwise, uh, if not for your hard work and effort, the hard work and effort of many other, uh, hackers and, uh, you know, people in that community around the gaming world. So again, it's, it's awesome. It, it really is impressive and, uh, cannot thank you enough for showing all this off. Yeah. Once again, it's no problem. I am, as I said earlier, ever since I figured out about like team silent, I've been dying to like actually hang out with you guys and it's been a <laughs> fun. So thank you so much for having me on. It's oh, been yeah. really fun. I hope to do it soon again. Yeah. This that was, was backwards, this was a lot but whatever. <laughs> I was like soon again, or again soon, whichever. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it'll be great. And, and I'll try not to, make make you wait like a year <laughs> oh like yeah, i figure well, we could do something maybe this summer or something like that we could definitely yeah. do it like, you know, maybe this summer yeah i mean i'd be down for that just let like, me you know i had a time for sure oh, for sure uh get it quiet in the house hopefully <laughs> that was like one of my biggest fears if someone was gonna walk out and just start yelling because that happens in my house too often so <laughs> Well, we made it through. It was a successful stream. Showed a lot of amazing stuff. Thank you so much. No problem. Um, uh, would you guys mind if I uploaded this, like the VOD of this, to my YouTube channel? Absolutely. Go ahead, dude. Absolutely. Sure. I'll I'll I make sure and get cool. all this to you. Uh so that you can upload this and share it. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure like there were several people who wanted to be here tonight, but they couldn't be because yeah. of like another. So, I mean, I kind of said, yeah, I'll just, I'll redirect you to the VOD so you can see it later. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thanks so much again for being here. Thanks everybody Absolutely. who came by and enjoyed the stream. Mm -hmm. Again, definitely make sure to follow Neko Run. Follow the rest of these guys here on Team Silent as well. Uh, you can type exclamation point team. It's already in there. Oh, you can I follow Neko Run and the team on uh, on Twitter as well. If you guys have a Twitter account, you can uh, get notifications as when we're going to be live and things like that, what we're going to be doing. Uh, Neko Run also posts a lot of cool, like, like little, <laughs> like, Twitter, like, little highlights of the videos he's working on and things like that I, all the time. So make sure you follow him on Twitter as well. And also um, be sure to keep an eye out for and I destroy techie at downpour later on. Oh. <laughs> boy, I'll be looking boy. forward to that. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm down for a downpour race. Down, I like it. downpour. I get back into it, but once I'm, once I get back in the groove, <clears throat> I'm going to take the crown back because at one point, I was really close to world record, so... Well, Starwin has pushed it down substantially, but uh, there is absolutely room for improvement. I can mm -hmm. I can share some of the, the tech that I found in that game, spending time running it, so... Yeah, I've got to get up to speed on all the strats, and i got to play through the game again, memorize everything again. Most of the time, I'm playing Downpour, I'm hacking it now, so... Just like this game when I forgot the puzzles and everything. Um, yeah, I just got to go spend some time with Downpour and not hack it, which is going to be incredibly difficult. 
I know, right? <laughs> That's how I feel whenever I try to do casual plays of Homecoming, and I'm like, don't clip through walls. Don't clip through walls. Don't clip through walls. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to clip through this wall. I just have to. <laughs> and death. <laughs> Damn it, that was the wrong wall. Now I'm in the death. <laughs> just when I play RE4, I have to skip the, I have to clip and skip the, El, the dual El Hagantes, and I have to skip the minecart. Because both those parts of the game are just dreadful. Yeah. The same thing with Origins. Whenever I get to the theater in Origins, I'm like, I'm not going to get both tablets. The door opens with just one. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, speaking of Origins, like, there there actually is a specific model that you can call up. I've actually been working... Uh, I've actually not said anything about it recently, but I've been working on a model for Origins. And I got it working one time, uh, and I was carrying Burned or like Chartalessa through the streets of Silent Hill with me because that's a completely separate model. And <laughs> what? Okay, um, I'm getting Discord notifications. Anyway, um... oh yeah, it's popping off like crazy. <laughs> um, anyway, like the. Chartalessa model, where Travis is carrying her, is a completely separate model from normal Travis's model. And I found a way to swap them, and I was just running around with Chartalessa the entire time. Completely <laughs> broke the game. Because <laughs> you couldn't pick up any items or anything. That's awesome, though. Chartalessa run. Like that. <laughs> Good luck. That That's just like on Downpour trying to swap into a another character model because none of the interaction prompts appear and it's like okay well what do i do now <laughs> especially since when you walk over the uh the tree at the beginning of the game you can walk to the wall and the cutscene will automatically start playing but you cannot get any higher than that prompt to jump over the uh railing so you literally have to just do this whole thing where you have to Climb up a wall, pretty much, and go around an invisible barrier to continue the game. It's crazy. Sounds a lot like Homecoming runs. <laughs> <laughs> so be right. ready to raid somebody. Yeah. So again, thanks everybody so much for coming by and watching. Thank you so much, my team and Neckle Run for coming by mm -hmm. and. uh doing this awesome hacked playthrough. I said, that was so cool. So many things I've never seen. I love it. Um, but yeah, we're going to call it here and uh, go send some of this love over to our good friend, Catlink, who I think is just playing like random horror game demo things. I don't even know. We're going to go find out together. Detention or something. Anyway. Oh, devotion maybe. Oh yeah. Or she just so. played that. So maybe something else similar. But either way, Kat is a wonderful person, wonderful, super entertaining streamer. Uh, she does a lot of speed runs for Silent Hill, for Resident Evil, and a lot of other stuff. Uh, and tends to, to play a lot of survival horror stuff in general. So definitely go check her out and uh, show some love. But again, thank you all so much for being here. That's going to be it for us. And uh, take it easy. Yeah. Have a great night or day, whatever time it is for you. It's morning 6 30 now. 6 a.m. for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Same. 6 30 where I am. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, everybody. And we will see you next time. Peace. Yep. See you later. Thank you. Bye. See ya. Bye.